In 30 minutes, broadcasting's finest duel will hit the airwaves. And prepare for the incomparable Obi and Anthony Show. Only a show this big could have a pre-show this good. Welcome to the Obi and Anthony Pre-Show with Sam Roberts. Welcome to Thursday. It's the Opie and Anthony pre-show live here. Counting down the minutes before the Opie and Anthony show begins once a day. Once a day. I guess we do do the show once a day. Once again, on this Thursday, call the show now. 866-WOW-1-WOW. That's 866-969-1969. The Opie and Anthony pre-show is live with yours truly, Sam Roberts. That's insane. Opie just got here. He's just trying to have his coffee. He's opening his morning newspapers. We broadcast the pre-show, if you don't know by now, through the little uh, closet studio next to the big Opie and Anthony studio. So we can see through the window what's going on in the big studio. Opie is here. And Roland, we've talked about this before on the post-show, that Roland gets in way too early. There's no reason except that he can't ride the subway by himself and needs Sal who also lives in Brooklyn, to lead him everywhere he goes. So he gets in now at like 5 o'clock in the morning and sits around and bothers people. And now Opie just gets here, and Roland is already in there pitching guests. I mean, you think Opie, I mean, he, woke, he probably woke up, honestly, Opie probably woke up 20 minutes ago. And he's trying to just figure out what's going on in the newspaper. He's trying to drink his coffee. He's saying good morning to the day. He's starting his day the same way most of you do. Except you do it with the pre-show, and he does it by getting his head in the game. And Roland's in there pitching guests. Oh, Roland. 866-WOW-1-WOW is the phone number to call. We're going to be going over everything that could be happening on today's Opie and Anthony show, as well as recapping and pre-capping everything that happened on yesterday's Opie and Anthony show. Of course, the big question that we find out today is, does Lady Die make it to the fourth day of her five-day paid internship. I don't think anybody's expecting her to make all five days. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sure people hope that she does, because to say that she provides content is an understatement. But we don't know for sure if we can rely on her to be here all five days. We'll start with Nick in Niagara Falls. Nick, welcome to the pre-show. Hey, Sam. I uh, just need a Lady Die update. Should she end up going to TGI Fridays yesterday after work? Well, these are the kind of questions that everybody has. Did she take care of herself after work yesterday, or was she back at TGI Fridays? We started the show yesterday by going over how close we were to having Lady Die banned from the building because of her behavior on Monday or tu- and Tuesday. She left the bathroom in such disarray multiple times that people around the office were asking, why is there a crazy homeless person in the bathroom right now? And I said, no, no, no. That's Lady Di. She's not homeless. She lives with some shithead named Bill. <laughs> uh, Lady Di, I, I don't even know where to begin. We started, I'll, st- I'll try though. We started talking to her. Uh, we found out an employee found her in the bathroom Shitting with the stall door wide open. Wide open, like an animal. Like a kid who just learned how to how to shit by themselves. Lady Di, a 55-year-old rotund woman, was in there with the stall door wide open and her pants around her ankles. And uh, as Lady Di came in yesterday, we asked her why she behaved like this. Supposedly you were shitting in a stall with the door open and uh, all, yep. all the shit wasn't getting oh, into the wait, toilet. Wait, wait, and then wait, you threw oh, up. no, that's not true. I'm just telling you what they said. And what was she muttering, yeah. Sam, allegedly when the... I got to get this out. I got to get it out. You, you were saying I, I got to get it out with the, the stall door open while you're making a duty. Yeah. Well, the reason that the stall uh-huh. was a little bit open uh-huh. is because <laughs> of this way I could, you know, the... The seats are so low, yeah, and I have a hard time getting up from right. low things, uh-huh. okay. right, because of my weight. Right. So what I do is I, I hold on to the stall and I get myself up. So you left the door open basically as, as a way to, to help yourself up. Why not use yeah. the handicap stall? I, you know what? I didn't even think about that. Yeah. So, yeah. so, Lady yeah. Dad, let me, let me get this straight now. Yeah. You don't sit on the ball. 
Yes, I do. You squat over it? Oh, come on. I'm just saying, of, of that's how he made it sound. Bowl. Well, did it you, sound like you hang like a monkey from the fucking... Nah, nah. Uh, did you notice people were in the bathroom when you were there? And you didn't care? Yeah, um, you didn't care that the door was open? She has no concept of shared uh, space. Uh, I know, huh? I have no clue what goes on in that woman's head. I've never seen... We have dealt with uh, alcoholics. We've dealt with the mentally ill. We've dealt with the homeless. I have never seen an adult behave like this in my entire life. It's beyond comprehension. Tommy in Texas, welcome to the pre-show. Morning, Sam. How's it going? Good morning. I was just wondering, I know you said it's exhausting dealing with Lady Die. Couldn't be more exhausting. It's the longest week of my entire career. <laughs> Is it also that same feeling you get trying to understand what Shamu Rowan, when he speaks, <laughs> trying to understand what he says? No, Rowan is not as exhausting as Lady Di. Oh, really? Are also, you, do you think she's a product of inbreeding? Maybe her parents were brother and sister or first cousins? Now that, that I wouldn't be surprised of. That would be one explanation if she's some kind of product of inbreeding. Because Lady Di, as a human being, was not produced the way a human being like you or I was produced. Obviously, there's something genetically seriously, seriously wrong. Uh, we continued... As it turned out, and, and, and we can't follow her in the bathroom because she goes into the women's room, and we're not women. So we have to take her at her word. She goes in and says, oh, no, I'm just going to go to the bathroom. And she comes out and goes, oh, everything's fine. And everything's not fine at all because we find out that she went into the bathroom. She puked all over the place, all over the sink, all over the floor. It was absolutely disgusting. People around here were complaining, and for good reason. And this was Lady Di's explanation as to uh, puking uh, in the sink. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. And you got you got physically ill, you vomited a couple of times. In the sink? Yeah. Why in the sink? Because I don't like to vomit in the toilet. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because there's only two things that go in the toilet. Uh-huh. Right. Number one and number two. No, and vomit. And vomit. How is it how is it I, I, We've all puked in a toilet. So you think it you think it's cleanly a time ago. You think it's more clean? To vomit all over a sink and stop it up with vomit. You think that's like clean because it's not a toilet. All right. Well, I apologize. I'm oh. not going to no, do but that I, anymore. Do you, what do you do at home? Huh? Because this, this is not, this is something that obviously I happens. I watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> uh, hold on, can I just uh, enjoy the greatest answer uh, ever? And that sums up Lady Die right there. A lot of people, when I try to explain the story of exactly what's going on with Lady Die. A lot of people say, who don't listen to the show, they go, well, why don't you just ban this woman from the building? That doesn't sound like a woman who should be there. And you know why? It's for answers like that. It's because we need her on the air. That's why we fought so hard. You have no idea how hard this entire staff and the interns worked to completely contain Lady Di like she was some kind of animal yesterday. Um, let's go on uh, and hear more. Oh. Oh, wait till you hear this story. So Lady Di was sent into the bathroom on Tuesday to change to take her underwear off so she could show it to us. We paid her $140 for her underwear. Ugly Betty, aka America Ferrara, walked into the bathroom while she was in there. It's a celebrity, it's a television personality. And she came out and said, There is a crazy naked woman in the bathroom. We tried to figure out why America Ferrara television personality saw Lady Di nude and Lady Di explained it to us. Did you notice uh, people were bothered by your bathroom habits yesterday? Uh, well, I apologize to everybody. No, I'm asking, bothered. but did you notice? Uh, one person told me to shut the bathroom, the, the, the stall. <laughs> that might have been Ugly Betty. <laughs> Ugly Betty. <laughs> Ugly says, Betty. Remember the show Ugly Betty? No. Yeah, I do remember, remember that was that her. Show. She, she was, was in there, there yesterday uh -huh. when you were in there. She was showing concern. Okay. So she basically, asked, right. you were. She, she asked who the crazy naked woman was in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> why? <laughs> why were you bell. naked in the bathroom? Does she get <laughs> naked? Well, that was also when she was uh, uh, showing us her panties. Oh right. Uh, yeah. So I guess she walked around a little bit, completely bottomless, in the bathroom. Were you doing that? Is that a possibility? No, uh, I did not change in the stall. Okay. I changed. I changed by the sink. <laughs> Why would you do that in a shared space? I don't know. Why, Why wouldn't you go, would you go in the stall with some privacy? <laughs> what? 
Why would why? you? Do that? <laughs> I'm really putting my foot into this this time. Yeah, no. well, yeah. Why would you do but that? Why would you do that? Why? I don't know because if there's more room by the sink. But than there's there is people the around. You're not supposed to all do right. that in a. You don't public care about the people space. being around. Like how does that all right? All right. Listen, listen. Okay. If I if I ever have to take off my underwear again, I'm going to do it in the stall. These are lessons we this learn is... at four years old. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. You're not right. at 55 or whatever. It is. And that that is the behavior that I was talking about that is completely unexplainable. How anyone's instinct could be. No, I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna change right by the sink where everybody just walks around. No, my vagina's hanging out. Yeah, no, that's fine. Peter in Florida, welcome to the pre-show. <laughs> Funny guys, man, great show, man. Hey, I guess uh, if you guys want to keep, I guess my best suggestion is uh, hooking up with her with a party, party, party John. I mean, for the bath, you know, whatever military used to use. Yeah, maybe oh, crap, we need huh? to. Maybe we should. Maybe we should just install uh, a porta potty. Right on the sidewalk here in Midtown Manhattan, just so she has somewhere to go because she can't handle herself in an adult bathroom at all. Uh, let's go to Cameron in DC. Hey, good morning, professional b- 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 broadcaster. Oh, good morning, Cameron. Uh, hi, sorry about that. It's okay. uh, you know, first of all, uh, this has been kind of a, a, a good thing for me listening to Lady Die this week because I'm I'm 30 and I was questioning my own alcohol uh intake and between the george went interview and the lady died this week i'm considering giving it up all all together uh, I, I, this, this is what happens to you after that much abuse it's not worth it it isn't worth it i mean this is the greatest this is the greatest one week long psa uh, that the opie and anthony show has ever done this is basically charity yeah, I don't know if you saw, you know, there's there's some YouTube videos uh, that that repost uh, the the ONA show, and one of them has a five picture sort of retrospective of Lady Di from that that eighties picture with the satin Budweiser jacket up until now, and it really is harrowing the, the progression. Well, there's actually uh, a, a collage. If you go to ONA show on Instagram, and we can also, if that's not on our Twitter, we'll post it up on the Twitter now, ONA show on Twitter as well. You can see uh, we put together a collage of Lady Di, and I think it's what you're talking about, and you can see the way she's completely degenerated physically. It's really, it's alarming. It, it really, it's, it's sad. She's W.C. Fields now. Uh, and, and the last thing I'll say is, is I've, I've been in that building, in, in, the, in the McGraw Hill building, and I, I cannot imagine other people who work at serious, uh, not serious XM, but serious companies yeah. dealing with what, what amounts to this. It would be the same thing if an elephant were walking through the, <laughs> the building, just shitting and puking everywhere. And the same size, too. But... I mean, you're talking about uh, 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 bankers and and big media companies, and it is it's it's crazy. Thank you, Cameron. We go to Lady Di's best friend, Marion. Marion, welcome to the pre-show. Hi, Sam. How are you? I'm good, Marion. How are you? I'm good. Uh, listen, we have to do something with Diana. I love her. She's my best friend, even though we don't hang out that much. But still, she we got to get her some some help. Well, I'll tell you I, this. I hope she's I hope she's in better condition today. Marion. The big announcement is that Lady Di is indeed here. She showed up to work on time today. Uh, she's still, of course, quarantined off when she's up here. She's completely banned from the bathroom, so she has gone on her first walk today. The intern okay. took her out on her first will, walk, correct? I will tell you one thing, though. She did not go to TGI Friday. She did not. She did not. She went straight home. That's good. Well, it's because she because spent she, all her money yesterday, though. Because she had called me yeah. when she got home and said she was home. Well, so I will tell you, she did go home, and, and I guess she went home and went to sleep. I really don't know. I talked to her last night, and um, she told me, and I'm glad that she's there. And I'm glad she's there on time. I know. And we're having fun with this. Yes. But No, you know, there, I, is, there, is, there is definitely a need for help. And here's Marion. Uh, Opie tweeted last night that uh, Dr. Steve will be part of the show today. He's going to be calling in today to talk about what's actually going on with Lady Di. Hopefully, put some fear into her so she can get some things checked out. But moving forward, if if Dr. Steve uh, wanted to get the ball rolling on helping this woman, you'd be there to, you'd be there to help us all out? I could try. Right. I've tried it many, 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 many times and many years. And I could try, but what's yeah, been what's yeah. been the most? What do you think has been the most embarrassing thing that Lady Di has done this week? 
Oh, God, shitting all over the place. Probably, Speaking right? Speaking all over the place. Yeah. Oh, God, and coming here. And, and, and actually, like, really stopping off at TGI Fridays <laughs> and drinking before, I mean, she drinks, she has to have her alcohol in her, or, or she'll get the shakes. And the shits, the too. Thing, exactly. Yeah. But with her... I mean, she must have been embarrassed Monday and Tuesday. And I guess, but then, and, I like, mean, like one minute she's embarrassed, and the next minute she's announcing she's wearing adult diapers. So that's embarrassing too. Yeah, it really is. Do you wear adult diapers I ever, Marion? No, I don't have incontinence. You don't. I know she's got incontinence. Congratulations, congratulations. So, she's got incontinence. so let me and ask you this. Let me I ask you, Marion. You, how do you? Can you behave yourself in a public restroom that's intended for adults to use? Yes, I can. Congratulations. Congratulations on that. I always took for granted that people could do that, but Lady Di has proven us all wrong. I mean, I, I hope she behaved herself last night and stayed away from the booze for a while. All right. Well, tune into today's ONA show to find I'm out all the information. I'm going to try to listen to it on and off, okay? And yeah, and give us a call at some point today. I'll try. Okay. Thanks, Sam. All right, Marion. I'll talk to you all later. Right, bye. Oh, Marion, she's concerned, and we are we are working on something in terms of helping Lady Di. Uh... But I think this show, I mean, seeing this happen is kind of helping people. Jeff in Philly. Samuel. What's up? Good morning. Hey, I went to grab a beer last night, and I literally put it back in the fridge and decided that I am not going to drink any beer at all during the week just because of, you know, the way Lady Guy acts. Well, yeah, I mean, and that's the mo- That's the, one of the craziest things is that is that all these health problems are obviously happening, and all she's doing is drinking beer, a lot of beer, but it's not like she's sitting there drinking hard liquor. It's beer. Yeah, yeah and I also want to say that Marion is insanely maddening. I mean, she's probably <laughs> the most frustrating one out of the bunch. Just because she's so interested in, you know, serving herself, but she doesn't want to say it. No, 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 no. All right, thank you, Jeff. Talk to you later. Uh, we'll get back to Lady Di in a moment. We were also talking about the uh, Bell Knox interview on yesterday's show. Um, and they kind of broke it down. I guess ONA got criticized on Twitter and stuff like that by a few people over the way they handled Bell Knox on Tuesday. So they started yesterday's show talking about that. Uh, here's how they began talking about the fact that they were accused of being a room full of white knights with Duke porn star Bell Knox. So. Yes. Who are we? I yeah. mean, we asked all the questions. She answered them, but, you know. Aren't you a disgrace to your family? Who cares? And well, these dummies well, that like, had... that was White Knight. It, what, what? White Knight. Well, I she hate. She was nice. She was honest. I mean, she fucking was sexy. What, what, what? Sweet, sexy girl. I hate when uh, some of these listeners take some of these terms and things we come up with and then use them wrong. I, I know, yeah. That wasn't a White Knight situation. That was nothing like a White Knight. <laughs> She's <laughs> not even close. rescued. Nothing. Right. You know, we talked about our parents and her father and stuff. Right. It is funny when they turn against us using our own language. <laughs> we introduced White Knight into the vocabulary of a lot of people who listen to the show. And then those people turn around and accuse Opie and Anthony of it. It's not right. Uh, they went on. Let's skip track two and go to track three. This, to me, was one of the more insightful comments of the whole Bell Knox breakdown. Um, Opie talking about the fact that uh, of course she's going to say some stuff that's a little uh, uh, stupid at first. Uh, let's play track three. Uh, people have to realize she's 18 years old. These aren't words of wisdom that's coming exactly. out of her. Yeah, it's, Take th- anyone else at 18 and, and put th- their words out there. That's why I joke about it. Yeah. She's in the opster years. Oh! <laughs> I thought I could rule the world <laughs> the at her age. The opster years. And then you look back and you're like, ugh, what a douchebag you were. Be a good TV series. The Opster years. <laughs> the Opster years. <laughs> but that's what she's in. Yeah, yeah. You know, you think you just know more than your elders, uh-huh. know more than your parents, I just know you. more than anyone around you, and then yeah. then only time takes care of that, and you look back and go, oh, uh, what God, was what was saying? I thinking? That right there. I mean, the Opster years is the way to put it, because we've all got some Opster years when we were younger. Sal's going through his Opster years right now. Everybody's got some Opster years where they look back and be like, oh, yeah, I was a douchebag. I wish I had known it then, but I didn't. I thought I was the fucking man. E-Rock, you went through some Opster years, right? Sure. Everybody does. And that's what Bell Knox is going through. And it's not up to, maybe it's not up to the Opie and Anthony show to say, Bell, who do you think you are, the Opster? Uh, speaking of newsworthy people like Bell Knox, uh, we also uh, had a newsworthy gentleman on the show yesterday. The guy who was in the news 
because he rented out his apartment and walked in on a gangbang. Stopped by the show yesterday to talk about what uh, went down and how he walked in on his apartment. Uh, let's listen to it. First, he thought I was one of the guys coming to the party. It was clear because he's like, oh, they're shutting us down. Oh, and then I'm like, shit. well, what do you mean? And then it registered that I don't look like the rest. You know, one of these uh-huh. things is not like the other. And this look of horror on his face was, uh, if it wasn't real, you'd, you'd shout, overacting. Uh-huh. Um, and I see the super uh, sitting in the front of the building looking pissed. And, and that's the way every super always looks. But he's in the front of the building on a Friday night, and that's not a good sign. Right. right. So I walk in. I see the front door open. I see people walking in and out. Uh, I come in there. There's another uh, eight to ten people, and they're carrying my furniture out the back door. Holy uh, uh, there's two guys like carrying a table, and uh, my first thought was they're 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 just robbing me. Like this was clever. <laughs> oh like you God. look up a, a nice apartment, you see the stuff inside, and, uh-huh. and you you pay a few hundred bucks and you steal thousands of dollars of stuff. Second thought was. You can't find movers this efficient right. when you're paying. <laughs> you know, next time you got to move, just throw an orgy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and then and then the third was they've really opened up the space. For for a couple of months, I've been thinking about moving the couch. But sure, I'm, sure. I don't, I'm not. You know, Maybe I'm not. They were just I'm, doing I gotta, a I gotta like ask my friend how to thing. how to dress me. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know how yeah. to move furniture. Uh, yeah, it's a feng shui moment. Feng shui. Except for the the moisture and pubes they oh, left all shit. over. Um, and then I noticed that they had flipped the the signs. Uh, every, like I had Eric Clapton albums up. I had a uh, Carl Ryder and Mel Brooks and and Carlin albums. Like you know, that's that's really uh-huh. the only thing I, I care. I got that, and I got like an invite from Obama from years ago for the the Hanukkah party at the White House. Um, and uh, I think it be a black orgy. That's the thing you do. <laughs> oh yeah. But uh, but uh, they flipped them over, and I thought, okay, this must be a filming yeah. thing, and they're afraid of trademark. You know, I was thinking about like that, that time like Hamas had a knockoff Mickey Mouse, right? Uh-huh. And Disney went after them and shut down Hamas's like hate channel. It was, like the only organization scarier than Hamas is Disney's uh, yeah. attorneys, I'm guessing. And uh, so, I, but I didn't see any cameras. And the guy goes, "Oh no, no, we're not filming. We're not filming. There's, but this is not a filming operation or something." And uh, I was like, "Well, I got to call the cops." Sperm and pubes. What are you gonna do? You know, it's New York City. Come on. Uh, a lot going on today on the Opie and Anthony show. Call up 866-WOW-1-WOW if you want to be a part of the pre-show. We go to Super Fan Eric. Professional broadcaster, Sam Roberts. How the hell are you? Great. How are you? I'm all fired up. Sam Tay, first day of spring. Lady dies there, four for four. I'm on my way to work to make hoagies. I work in Philadelphia, as you know. I make hoagies. I don't want to tell you where I work. But I've got the cheap plug all got the fired up, the energy. My Flyers beat the flag up. They beat the Penguins over the weekend. Tonight we got the Stars. I'm all fired up for some freaking hockey. I this ten lady guy out of Philly. The place I work, we got one lady's room. There's only one stall in here. She can't stand up that pain. If she does, I'll give her mom. All right, super fan Eric. Always a pleasure. Thank you. And if he's fired up now. Wait till you hear what else we got planned for the show. First of all, of course, we'll celebrate. It's the first day of spring. I don't know if you knew that, Sal. But today's the first day of spring, and we've been covering this plane thing from the beginning. Australia is now claiming that they think they might have found a piece of the plane in the water via satellite photos. I looked at the satellite photos, and to me, they don't look any different than the Courtney Love satellite photos. But... It's Australia, so it's a little more credible. Uh, so we'll get into the plane thing. Rick Harrison from Pawn Stars, the ball guy who always gives people less money than he should be giving them, will finally be on the Opie and Anthony show today. We've been talking about Pawn Stars for so long. We finally have uh, Rick Harrison coming in today. Um, and one of our interns might have brought in some items from their home to be assessed. I'm not going to tell you which intern it was, but let's just say she's an alcoholic that can't use the restroom properly. I don't know. It's just a hint. It's just a hint. So uh, uh, it's going to be a huge, huge show today. Also, there's an update on the uh, Satan Cat story that we may get into. Let's go to Jason in Chicago. What's up, Jason? Mr. Primetime, is there any way we can go a whole show without talking about vomit and shitting so I get my appetite back? Uh, uh, yes, and in terms of getting your appetite back, we will now play the clip from yesterday's show where Lady Di announced she was allergic to condoms. Let's go to track nine. We're going to take a break, I think. Okay. Yeah, why don't we Colin, do that? where'd you lose your virginity, by the way? Oh. Yeah. In a van in Manhattan from a, uh, a purchased, when I was about 15, from a... A purchased uh, person. 
How was it? It was good. Did you wear a condom? Yeah. Oh. oh. Mm-hmm. Wait, was it a bunch of you guys who came in and to get no, the job done? I don't like condoms. Yeah, whose van was it? I can't, I can't wear them. I mean, I, I can't I'll wear them. <laughs> so, sorry, Colin, but em. Lady Di just said she can't wear condoms. <laughs> you did just say that, right? Yeah, I did just say that. Well, well, if you can't wear condoms, you're no know girl I'd want to go out with. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, are, there, there are Wyndham condoms, you know. You let Colin talk for a second. Go ahead. I know, she's bringing up some new implements. Some, it's kind of hot off the presses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're well, there condoms. Are, I think there are wi- women condoms. Seriously. Yeah, there are. I agree. Nowadays, yeah. there are. She's so, on top of the news like me. Uh-huh. Yeah. But um, uh, what, what I was going to say <laughs> is I can't, I can't have the guy wear a condom because I'm allergic to them. Oh, yeah. What? I'm allergic to condoms. You're also yeah, allergic yeah. to alcohol, but that doesn't stop you. That's right. right. That's true. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I get a burning sensation down there when when a guy wears a condom. Where? Ah. You know. In your puss? Yeah. I get a burning sensation. Now, how about in your hiney? Oh. No uh, condom there. No, huh? no, no condom there. Well, you let them just raw dog in there, right? Yeah. He just blasted. It hurt, it hurt though. It hurt. <laughs> it hurt, huh? It, it, it hurt, yeah. It did, huh? Uh, was he still... the first one to ever give it to you in yes. the ass? Yes, he was. And the last one, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting word that Lady Di is in the office getting very upset with me for playing these clips and discussing her intimate moments, but I don't know how she could be upset with me as if I'm the one, like, I'm the, I'm the puppeteer. Let me tell you something about Lady Di. There is no puppeteer. You know why? Because there's no way strings could hold up a puppet that heavy, okay? What the hell? What the? Oh, God, come on, Sam. <laughs> Denny hey, Sam. in North Carolina. What's up, buddy? Hey man, I listened to that um that news whore podcast. You were great on there. Oh, that was really good. Thank you very much. And I wanted I wanted to quickly mention shout out to DJ Dennis Falcone and one more thing. What a terrific call! And I do feel bad that Dennis Falcone has been lost in the in the in the in the mix because of how much attention Lady Di has been getting. Uh, of course, he was talking about the news whore podcast that I did. Uh, you can find that on. Uh, iTunes and stuff. That's Mandy Statmiller's podcast, who is in here with Bell Knox, who we were discussing earlier in the pre-show. Um, we were also that was Colin Quinn that you heard on the phone. Real quick, let's get into uh, Lady Di with Marion and Di- and diapers. Uh, let's go to track eight from yesterday while we still have a minute. You she wearing adult diapers? Uh, I don't know anything about that. Well, she Diana, is. tell she her. Is. Tell her. Yeah, I am. I'm wearing adult diapers in case I have an accident. <laughs> Diana, you're 52 years old. 90 people, not you, people wear them. 90 year old people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, 90 year old. Why are you wearing them? Why do you wear them? <laughs> because I keep on having accidents. Accidents. We know because it's your bladder. No, not that kind it's of accident. Your bladder. Because no. you don't. Marion, you don't know how to do stomach. Marion, like stomach exercise. Not that kind of accident. Not a not a tinkle accident. The other kind. She's having duty accidents. Number two. But yeah. she was she was peeing herself yesterday as well. It was yeah. coming out from both ends yeah. yesterday. Well, or, or, or all three ends. Yeah. yeah. What three ends? Oh, Ma- oh, mouth, yeah. ass, yeah, and okay. Look vagina. Why you have an accident. Look why you have an accident. You don't do anything. You sit. You don't exercise. You don't move around. Wait, you're saying though, if she does stomach exercises, that'll help the bladder situation. That will help her bladder. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Marion has a 1930s answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Actually, you know what? Do a few what? jumping <laughs> jacks. <Some> calisthenics. <laughs> I do love that Marion's advice to Lady Di is maybe you'll stop being incontinent if you work out your abs a little bit. I don't know where that comes from. Lady Di is here. Day four of her internship is about to begin. Rick Harrison from Pawn Stars will be in studio. We're going to get Dr. Steve on the phone to talk about maybe some of the more serious issues that are going on. And ladies and gentlemen, in the studio, as we speak... Is Opie, is Anthony, is Jim Norton. And in the studio, I'm looking right at him, is the man that put this internship in motion from the beginning, the man solely responsible for everything that's been going on this week on the Opie and Anthony show, in studio to start the Opie and Anthony show, Colin Quinn. Colin Quinn is here in studio, starting the Opie and Anthony show, which begins right now.
1994. From the murky banks banks of terrestrial radio, a new hope begins to rise. Opie and Anthony are radio shock jocks known for setting up outrageous stunts. People sure are listening. Two Long Island natives who together would one day change the world as broadcasting's greatest duo. After 20 years, these children of the 80s have arrived. Their hugely popular radio show is not just in New York anymore. Opie and Anthony show. The hottest show there is. Through 55-gallon drums and wiffle ball bats. Hold You're pushing in until you're comfortable. From mayors to mayo. It was an April Fool's hoax by two radio disc jockeys. With bottle rockets and bra bombings. <laughs> and wieners and pigs. Opie and Anthony got their hands on the photo and tweeted it. Two men that have taken a box of cocks further than any. Well, these people will definitely stop. Guaranteed. Oh, Lift okay, up this the co- <laughs> <laughs> They've met friends along the way. I have a raging heart on right now. Can I please put my dick in your donuts? And through fines, scandals, suspensions, cancellations, and terminations, it's the one show that remains unscathed. Striking fear into the hearts of management everywhere comes a radio show that after 20 years remains above all else real. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the oh. show on the road. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great idea, right? Jesus. Uh, Colin Quinn in studio. <laughs> the mastermind behind the Lady Die internship yeah, yeah. program. He's uh, responsible. Yeah, apparently. No, no other radio show in the world would have the balls to have pulled this off <laughs> and done this it's... and committed to it the way you guys are doing. <laughs> We know it's going to be a bust by the end of the week. That We're going to lovely, run out of steam, but... That lovely little thing just brought me a Diet Coke. Yeah. She was wearing a tight red sweater today. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. She was very happy to it's, see you, Carl. It's filling out well. It shows off her boobs. Yes, her bubs, her boobs, her boobs, or boobs. Whatever the Whatever heck. she calls them, the boobs. The boobs, right? I noticed Jimmy giving her a little glance. I, I actually did check her ass out as she walked out. <laughs> Were you checking her ass out? I didn't even know I did it until Colin reminded me. that you just, oh I just looked God. at her ass. I'm like, yes. And I noted that the sweater was too long for a good view. Uh, <laughs> looks like mom jeans. It looks like she might have uh, took, you know, took a bath or showered uh, two days in might, a row. She may have showered. Yeah. Her hair looks, you know, <laughs> not as greasy. Not as greasy. It was good yesterday too. It was, it was it full was, of bounce and luster. Yeah, right. It's wind blown. Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> it's wind blown. <laughs> Maybe she's uh, feels like she has a purpose now. That she yeah. comes in. You know, when you're just at home like that, just drinking. Yeah, it's and depressing. Hang- yeah, it's depressing. Now, she realized after the, the first day was a complete disaster. Mm-hmm. The second day, <laughs> No, the second worse. day was yeah, yeah. Yeah, worse. Oh, okay. believe me. I'm like, the first day. Complete- I don't think the first day was a complete disaster. I think day two was the complete day disaster. Two, well, we'll she was bad day one. We just didn't realize it yet. Right. And then day two, <laughs> she was even worse. Uh, we and think- we saw what was going on. We think she went through some kind of uh, withdrawals or withdrawal, something. Withdrawal, yeah. Some alcohol withdrawal. Because now she's... She's she's a little, she's definitely better. She was better yesterday. Yeah, she slapped yeah. herself together a little bit, and now I think she's back on the road to recovery. I think so. It's the O and A, a one week uh, Make rehab. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's kind the, of a stop in rehab, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get some tough love. You're fat. You're ugly. Kill yourself. <laughs> then you go home, and the next day you get more of it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this thing is taking some twists and turns, though. Oh yeah, it was all fun and games, but then it kind of got sad there for a little while. Colin, what's your thoughts so far on this whole thing? Have you been listening? Yes, of course I've been listening. Yeah. What are what are your what are mm. some of your highlights? My highlights, highlights so far is the is the <laughs> the way she was peppering Bell Knox for her uh, you know how oh, much yeah. money she made, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Marion with the tough love oh, session God. yesterday. Oh yeah, favorite. Marion, boy, can she just plow through anything? Yeah, can't what, she? what narcissism? <laughs> the name babble. She's <laughs> got to turn it around and make it about herself, no she's, matter what it is. Yeah, she's talking about moving to Florida in five or six years, like yeah. that. Uh, you but know, she, you know, guy, that I'm moving to Florida. I'm gonna retire but, with money and. Stuff. But right. she talks about it like it's happening next week. Yeah, it's five, well, six she's years got away. Five year plan. But she, she, she uh, keeps saying how many times she said, it, like, how many times have I told you? It's like, all right, you said it. Uh, you get the credit. Hey, right. <laughs> yeah. 
And then, she of course, on a couple of cruises. Yeah. And, well, then I was going to say the lady die eighties. Uh, oh my God, that was a real. She, she had a hell of a time that was in the eighties. Oh, oh, just after the shift, <laughs> the guys, like, come on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I bet she knew. I go, what kind of car? Olds. She and remember that car? The oh, Olds. Of course, oh, she remembers. Yeah. She of knows. Course. When yeah. you when you have to get uh, smell those leather seats, and get it up the ass every day, uh, every weekend. You know the car every weekend yep. in the eighties. In the eighties, yeah. sure. power windows right next to your ear. You oh faces. yeah, power <laughs> windows. That's it. Oh, there's the um, collage. That yeah, here I she's a little cutie there. She had that eighties jacket, that little. Uh, oh yeah, I the satin that. jacket yes. thing going on. Sure. Mm -hmm. She. Uh, a lot of people are saying either Tina Fey. She yeah, had a Tina Fey look, yeah. or a uh, uh, what's her name from uh, Edward Scissorhands? Winona. Winona. Oh, a little, yeah, a little, a little bit. Winona Ryder thing going on. She definitely was not bad. And no. then uh, she's about a five and a half, six. <laughs> <laughs> but then there's the, there's the one Downs hair doing the top right that really fucking wrecks the entire collage. <laughs> you only see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, if you recall, that <laughs> is when we used to give her the mustache. The the uh, Laurel and Hardy. Oliver Hardy mustache. Right. <laughs> we give her the Oliver Hardy mustache because she had the hair and everything. Yeah. But and in magic really marker, like they were huh. painted in magic marker, put an Oliver Hardy mustache on her. <laughs> and we thought it was bad then. Well, we got something for today. <laughs> now, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. A, little, a little makeover. Yeah, oh. yeah. A little makeover's a little going makeover down today. A little bit. Wow. Where is she? She went to get her pocketbook. Oh, yeah, she went to get her pocketbook. Yeah, she she come disappeared. Back. Oh, no. we, she was supposed to come back. She had something to say. That was a while say. ago. Wait, she, was she's a probably dialing up a little bit. The bathroom. I think she's dialing up. No, she can't go in these bathrooms. Sam, where's it's the guy loud. that uh, brought her to the Starbucks? Because I heard he has a story to tell. <laughs> uh -oh. Her her walker? Yeah. yeah. I'll, bring, I'll bring him in. Yeah, Colin, she's not allowed to use the bathrooms here. She has I to know. be taken for walks like a, like a dog, a little puppy. After the, she went to Starbucks, they had no toilet paper. No, to, no toilet paper, because she used it all the, the, all the whole day. After the ugly Betty incident. Yes. That's my, that's my favorite highlight. I didn't know if we were allowed to talk about ugly that. ugly Betty. That's my favorite. It's the best. Saw her pretty much naked. Yeah, she, she was naked. She decided she would change all her clothes outside the stall. And throwing up. You want a TV series for like however many years Ugly Betty was on. You're yeah. doing, doing movies now. She's in the Cesar Chavez movie. Like, yeah, you kind of be treated like the, whatever's the best facilities right. you get to use. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I got a PM at Sirius Silas. She walks in and sees that thing. That's great. There it is. And she was vomiting in the I love that she vomits in the sink and it wasn't even an accident. So that's right. just where no. I like to I like up. that she was going, yeah, come out, come out. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh come out. Oh, yeah. we, no, get no, no. Gotta get, get it out. out. I gotta get it out. Gotta get it out. Gotta get it out. About her turds. <laughs> like a sorcerer her. chanting. <laughs> I gotta get it out. <laughs> talking about her duties. <laughs> oh, here she is. Lady oh, Dye. Wow. What's she wearing today? Why don't you, why don't you take the seat of honor? <laughs> take a seat over there. Uh, Wait, it looks or... like you're eating today. That's good. That's a good sign. Wow, that I'm is hungry. a good sign. Oh, you're hungry today. You're hungry. Yeah. Drinking That's a good. Schweppes. Wow. Yeah, you look better. Thank you. You look better. Did you? Uh, yeah. What happened after the show yesterday? Did you go right home or? I went right home. You didn't go to Talking TGI to Fridays. I was, uh, what I did the other day, I was, I felt so bad about that. What, spending, spending all spending that money? Most of the money in one place. Oh that boy. That wasn't right. Yeah, when you desperately you know? need money, it's probably my mom, not the smartest. Uh, my thing. mom used to have a word for that. It was a certain oh, type boy. of rich. Oh yes, boy. it was temporarily rich, I believe. <laughs> yeah. I know what the word is, but I ain't gonna say it. Okay. Oh, good, so you, good girl. I've been called that too. Ah, right. <laughs> what are you eating today? Yeah, what did By the you? person that oh, I live with. Oh. That's, that's the one that called me. That. Bill's okay. a, a lot of people concerned too that Bill is an abusive uh, roommate. Nah, we would have saw the bruises. I don't know. He might uh, maybe like old he, Tina Turner he abuse. He be like that. He hit her with phone books in the body so you <laughs> couldn't see the bruises. Yeah. Oh well, wow. I mean, not physically, just mentally. Did he beat you when you collaborated with Phil Spector? <laughs> <laughs> we got to get Doctor Steve on the phone because he had a long talk no. with Lady Di on the phone yesterday, and Bill was yelling and screaming in the background. Really? Yes. Oh. Oh. Was he yelling and screaming in the background? He basically was yelling, she needs rehab. Oh, okay. Get her in rehab. Anthony, okay, that's fine. Well, he likes that. <laughs> well, Anthony won't let him. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to be, touched, be touched He's afraid of his rubbed. feelings. I don't get touched or rubbed by anybody that's, I would say, probably 30 years or older. <laughs> At least he's honest. <laughs> yeah, you are being honest. What are you That's doing? Put, put your pants down. What are you doing? You're, 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 oh, you're, look you're at those the, pants. You're in the spot of honor. And what, put your stuff down. What's in the TGIF bag? 
Oh, it's uh, just some stuff that maybe this person that's coming in will be interested in buying. You know, some two things. Oh, we yeah. have. Uh, he the, might oh. not. I, it doesn't oh, matter. Oh, you have some stuff for the, uh, the the porn stars guy. Porn stars guy. We uh, we asked her to bring oh, in yeah. a couple oh, valuable uh, things uh, today, uh, Colin. Uh, they're, they're, oh no, they're, Rick Harrison is going to be thinking, in. Like, what can I bring in? I told what, her yesterday what? that he only carries a hundred thousand dollars cash on him. Right. Uh -huh. So that's as high as he'll be able to buy any. Yeah, but he spends. He's he's known to spend this guy. So 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 he brought two valuable things in. Well, they're, yeah, they're sort of valuable, yeah. All okay. right, that's well, good. Before we go there, though, what happened after the show yesterday? You went right I home? I went right home. And then what happened? You have a few Natty Ices? I had a few Natty Ices. <laughs> How many? Um, A few, I would say three. Then I took a nap, mm -hmm. you know, and... Uh, Hard day's work. <laughs> yeah, you're up early. <laughs> well, hey, getting up at a three, uh, oh, a quarter to four in the morning. That's true. That is a hard it thing is. to do, I'm especially not... when you're not used to it. Oh, right. Yeah. Good, good point. Old good old point. Old. Yeah. And um, got up from your nap. So and then yeah, what? well, I, I had no choice because I was trying to read um, the stuff on my uh, little smartphone, uh -oh. and all of a sudden my eyes just started to go like that. I said, "Let me take a nap." Oh yeah, smart. Uh, uh, I mean, <laughs> that's that, that's a smartphone that Diana I have. Diana was always the smart yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's you what know. a smartphone does. It's yeah. pretty smart. How yeah. long did you sleep for? How, how long did she love massaging Carl's oh, back? Yes. Oh, Thanks, honey. Boy, look at this. Oh. She is all over Carl. Yeah. Of course. You getting wet or is that diarrhea? This, this intern thing. <laughs> Uh, really uh, uh, pay uh, off. Uh, <laughs> what kind of a question is that? Sorry, yeah, that was yeah. a bad question. Yeah. <laughs> You're see blocking her. She's hey, trying to make I, the moves I, here. I, I heard you already made... made Take that picture off. Yeah. I don't like that picture. Which what, one? Take it, it off, I, Sam. I you heard it. in the face and everything like Hold that. On. that it's, right. it's, the, it's a factual picture. The There's no way you Which can... one doesn't she I like? like? I don't she like doesn't it. like the one. I like the fact that she that's what you Sam an order. Take that picture off. That's what do it, bitch. That's the picture That's when you were picture. homeless, though. I know. I know what it is. I don't like it. It brings back bad memories. That should be inspiration. We like yeah. your cute Winona Ryder thing. That to be, is. To be fair, yeah. except for the middle, they're all quite bad pictures. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That, Jesus. Is, that was when you were that taking it in the good. shitter. That's what gets you that fired from school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that yesterday. middle picture was when you were taking it in the, uh, in the ass yeah. by your... No, that was even younger. It looks was like a high school shot. Yeah, it does. Oh, wow. That satin yeah. jacket. When, yeah. were you, when were you playing Somewhere Rump Invaders there. after what? work? <laughs> when, when were you having anal sex? Which one of those pictures is you in the 80s? The one in the middle. Oh, that Whoa. is you. Okay. Oh, oh, man. Right. I, I stand correct. No, no, no. I, did, I knew it was you, but I didn't know if that was the time that that was taken. I, man. I, I, would, I would believe it was Hanging out that with time. that yeah. fast crowd smoking cigarettes in the back hall? Oh, no. Oh, I, 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 yeah. I did not start smoking until oh. I started to get evicted from my apartment in Westfield. What year was that? Her phone. Why is your phone, phone keeping her phone again? <laughs> it's the Westfield Chamber of Commerce. Don't say, please don't mention our city. Don't mention, <laughs> don't mention our fair city. Look how long it takes for her to answer the phone. Answer. Yeah, it's a whole thing, guy. You got to do it quicker. <laughs> Who is it? Hello. Private number again. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me shut it off. Yeah, you go. All right. Well, maybe Marion's going to call in. Day four, she I'd like, to, I'd like to remake Own the Family the with show. me and Lady Di. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, her is Archie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's right now. You know, she works. How many times have you gone down to Starbucks so far? I heard um, once. I, uh, what? Uh, once, twice. Yeah, one, one time today. And that's why I want to talk to that guy in the in the corner. What's so, your, our young intern? Yeah. What's your name, sir? Adrian. Adrian has been um, Lady Di's chaperone for the last couple of days because she's not allowed to use yeah. bathrooms around here. Yeah, it's been a delight. And I heard that um, she took a, a pretty monstrous dump in Starbucks. Yeah, uh, that's what it's for. Well, that you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to embarrass you in front of Colin Corn. No, it's not embarrassing at all. I we bet all they're do used it. to that. Everybody though. poops, I know, I know. right? I, I bet they're used I, to I, that, I, though, that. with the uh, coffee and stuff. A lot of people probably yes. sit there, drink their coffee, and they're like, "Oh boy." Right. Is there anyone in this world who's not cast the first stone? <laughs> 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 so so you go into the bathroom. So, so what happened know. in Starbucks? I was definitely I was standing about ten, fifteen feet away from the bathroom, most of it clearly. Um, a lot of splashing. Uh, <laughs> a lot of splashing um, sounds. Well, I heard a lot of grunting. That's grunt a sign of health. The Starbucks staff was a bit concerned. <laughs> wanted to know if she was all right. Well, really? Really? Yes. Yes. Uh, while they were making cappuccinos, they heard it. Uh, some of it was audible to them. <laughs> what, what was audible? <laughs> uh, there was Just a splashing. Just noise, little... Oh, like oh, wow. You From took outside? a loud dump and start. <laughs> it could have been I don't want to embarrass you, Di, but... Yeah. Um, From oh, outside? I couldn't yeah. be happier. What and uh, the hand dryer went off. 
five, six times. <laughs> <laughs> Each time we've gone down there, Finally guys said she's very particular goblins. about keeping her hands dry. I am. <coughs> I'm very particular about everything. Hold on, the I microphone, sweet. Hold right. on. Talking you're to the microphone. You're not particular about everything. I'm you you puke particular in. particular about everything I do. No, you're not. You puke. Well, I guess in a way, maybe. She, she but only just, pukes inside. Yeah, but they're all gross things. Right, 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 right. I was doing the camera of Adrian standing there. Don't even ask me why Stoically for 15 minutes. I just I just do that. Like a Buckingham Palace guard. <laughs> what? You were, shit, you were underwear with shit in it. Oh. Like how? What do you mean? It's happy courteous to our guest. Door. This is our guest, Sam. Don't you're embarrass her in front of Colin right. Quinn. She's are trying you, to score a little CQ dick. Are you wearing dieties today? No, no. I didn't oh. have to wear them today. Oh. You didn't but, have uh, well, to. Besides that, the, that was my last pair anyway. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Just had so one I, for emergencies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. well, that was an emergency. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. going to tell you that right now. Well, you've cleaned up very nicely yeah. the past yeah. few couple of days. Yeah. yeah. This is a good change because you were, you know, it looked uh, pretty grim those We got to start looking to the future. You got to right. update the resume. Now you got a week on ONA. Then we got over to the dollar store I with told, a new attitude. I told you guys this yesterday. <laughs> every time I drink yeah. tap beer, it oh. goes oh. right through you. Oh, what a. Because they don't clean the lines. I made that mistake. I made that mistake. Nothing but excuses this week. What Love about, it. but, but, oh, so, but you still drink the cans of Natty. Yeah, but that's, you know, that's cans, and I'm it's at TGIF. a whole anyway, so if them. I have to go, yeah. I go. TGIF. Yeah, you, you know. should. Wait, they so don't they don't clean, clean the lines? What's no. that mean? They don't clean the lines? I don't know, but my uncle used to be a, a lines cleaner. You got to flush out those lines. Oh, yeah. yeah. Some sediment or yeah. whatever oh, gets in there. So a I'm lot of times, TGI, yeah, the distance well, between the actual keg. You have Fridays for making you sick. The distance the between the keg and the tap is a long way. That. And it's not refrigerated, and it's just yeah. sitting yeah. in the line. So the next beer you pull isn't from the keg. It's from that line that's been sitting there maybe overnight or, you know, and, and it's hot. It's it's not insulated. But how would I know that? I went to two TGIFs oh. in Penn Station. You sue TGIFs I, in general, the whole yeah. corporation. Right. Well, I'm, I'm just saying. I see a lawsuit. She loves TGIF. Oh, she. Why do you, do you do you ever have the uh, artichoke and spinach dip there? Um, wait a minute. That's uh, a good question. That's phenomenal. No, it's a good. But but I know I, I, I never did. <laughs> Just I have something right, crazy. Um, yeah, I good remember. Stuff. Oh fuck yeah! That the mm -hmm. one TGIF used to be a hula hands. Oh, I remember that. Right? Hula hands. Okay. Okay. Remember hula hands? Yeah, yes. I remember hula hands. Sure oh, I do. Oh, yeah. Remember now, Beef Steak had, Charlie's? Yes. Yeah. Unlimited yeah. beer and sure. stuff. Remember on, it. She was named, it was named had, after her. <laughs> <laughs> they had the best this. taco salad there Where? ever at hula hands. Uh. They have, when Fascinating. The, you know, You're when gonna get spoiled. <laughs> we like will that. treat was, you right. Exactly. You're gonna get spoiled at Beef, Beef Steak Charlie's tonight. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, I don't think Steak. I ever went there. Hey, Lady no. Di, put headphones on. We got Dr. Steve on the phone. Here. Oh, hold on. Give, okay. the, give uh, our honored uh, guest the headphones. Uh, Sam, please. Dr. Steve uh, is getting me involved now. Give this, with this young lady thing. headphones. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, a die. Uh, Dr. Yeah. Steve, welcome to the show, Hi, sir. Hi, Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. We Good had morning. Some, we had some conversations yesterday <laughs> afternoon, didn't we? Yeah. Yes, we did. So, uh, Lady Di's in studio and uh, the great Colin Quinn. Okay. Oh, hello, Colin. Hi, Dr. Hello, Steve. Colin. So, uh, walk us through what happened yesterday. Well, um, after your show, I called Diana at home. Oh. And uh, I was going to fly up. And we were going to have a fun little bit on Friday, and uh, but uh, I didn't want to do it unless there was going to be some payoff for her. And uh -huh. so she and I discussed it. And Diana, it's okay that we talk about this, right? Sure. Well, okay. Go ahead. There you go. So um, we discussed it. It was obvious that she wasn't interested in going to rehab because it's you know the problems that she has is the tap beer or she had Norwalk virus, which by the way, if if her theory that she had a puke bug is true, then we'll know soon enough because all of you guys are going to be puking and shitting in oh, a few days. Oh, uh, <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Colin loves that. So, we'll know Would you be happy if she gave right. us a puke bug and we were all puking and shitting and I had to cancel a gig? <laughs> oh, man. <Colin> is, <laughs> imagine. This is a great day for you, isn't it, Colin? Oh. Hey, I'd be all good. I might get it, too. <laughs> Uh, of course, if it's the alcoholism, it will just continue to, to happen. But, right. yeah, but it hasn't happened now in two days. That's Right, right, right. Probably oh, because she got some uh, beer in her, maybe? Yeah, maybe so. So, well, here's the thing. Will you listen to Dr. Steve? Oh, my God. He's, uh, what are you saying? 
<laughs> She's just rambling over Dr. Steve talking. What's going Sam? on over there? She's yelling at Sam. Yes. She's just yelling you at Sam. Like, I, wanted, I wanted to write something down. You look okay. like Jim Florentine's brother. Oh, really? I don't even know what Jim Florentine looks like. I know, like. but in the mouth, Good he looks boy. exactly like you. Oh. Seriously? Yes. Yeah. I, yeah, his brother looks exactly like, his brother Danny looks exactly wow, like Lady Di. really? Yeah. Sure looks is. like me. Yeah. He's thrilled. All right, anyway, go ahead, so, Dr. Steve. So, uh, we we talked for quite a while, and, uh, the, you know, there's a significant amount of denial there. I told Di that the swelling in her abdomen could be a sign of a condition called ascites, which is where fluid kind of weeps off of the oh. liver and fills up the abdomen with oh, fluid. Oh, weeps and, off the liver? And, and yes, and one of the reasons why she's never hungry could be because she's got fluid in her abdomen that's pressing on her stomach, and oh. so she gets she gets full early. Oh. And so that contributes to the malnourishment. We should of just stick a tap in there, then. Right. <laughs> you know, I do take yeah. vitamins, well, we do that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I do take vitamins. Well, she takes vitamins. Yeah, so hold on a second. So, well, then, it's yeah. not like I'm... Um, you know, She's malnourished, fine. malnourished. Hearing you say that is like somebody walking through like Hiroshima <laughs> with a broom. <laughs> <laughs> and I take my thyroid medication. Too. Right, well, that's good. Well, that's yeah. good. That'll help. Yeah. But you're in terrible denial. Well, there you go. Continue, <laughs> Dr. Steve. So uh, I, no I talked to Di for quite a while, and it's uh, she does not have a primary care provider, mm. but she does have insurance. And so we couldn't negotiate a trip to rehab, but we did negotiate uh her allowing me to send her a uh, lab slip so we could just do some liver function tests hmm. and a complete blood count and we're going and I uh, ordered a, a thyroid test just to see where we're at with all of that stuff oh. and then if it's horrendous enough I can actually uh, arrange for her to have uh, follow up with a doctor local to her uh-huh and uh, I can get her in quickly if her lab tests are bad enough. Now, I can, pr- I can get her in anyway, but uh, she's got to have a uh, motivation to go. And I, exactly. I work may help. So, and then the other thing is, it was clear talking to her because the whole time I was talking to her, Bill was in the background yelling, you need to go to rehab. Oh, Jesus. As he's drinking was, his 30-pack, uh, by the I, way. I believe it, Di. He was. He was yelling. He was yelling. And I'm like, shut up. Right. I kept on telling him to shut up. You're I'm on the phone to... with Dr. But if, Steve. But if Bill's telling you that, I mean, come on, Bill's yeah. a heavy drinker. For him to be telling you you need to go to rehab. Well, you know what? Let me tell you something right now. Okay. All right. Nice. He was drinking his cores, And, you know, uh, uh, whenever nice. he has a few drinks inside of him, uh. he starts yelling and screaming. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. That's yeah. good. Oh, no. It yeah. No, it ain't good because I have to live with him. <laughs> Cops. Jesus, with Bill in the background yelling. Oh, it's just you a know, bad anyway. scene. But Lady Di, uh, uh, I know you, you lie. You lie a lot about following through with things. That's true. Now, Do- Dr. Steve is doing a lot of things that are for your own good. Right. That's okay. it, out of the kindness of his heart. Right. And and you have to follow up and follow nice. through with these things. All right. But no, you say all right all the time about everything, and then yeah. you don't do it. Right. Yes, us to death. Well, this became, is very important. When are you going to get the, these tests done? Whenever that the what we need come. to do is, okay. uh, well, the first test, of course, is if she has the blood work done, and uh, right. and I'll follow through on that. But it became quite obvious through this that uh, what she needs is an intervention. Yes. Because us talking about this stuff, uh, it's just because, you know, she said, well, I'll think about it. I'll think about it, which is, you know, just a way to get me off the phone, kind uh-huh. of. And, you know, we had a very nice conversation. I We have... I think all come to really care about Diana this week. Slow down. Slow down. Um, yeah. You know, so <laughs> Thank you the, very much. The, the thing is, the who, we're just trying to get to Friday. Who are yeah. you kidding? Yeah. Who care about her need to be in a room right. and tell her what the consequences are if she mm-hmm. doesn't go to yeah. rehab yeah. and there need to be real consequences. Uh, if she doesn't yes. go to rehab, she can't be on our show anymore. There you go. Well, I did my that part. would be your consequence. Uh-huh. Bill there you go. might have another one and her son may have another one and Marion. Bill him. might Dr. have Steve one. Dr. Steve sounds like Sosa. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> I'll tell you the consequences. Yes. Yes. I told you a long time ago not to fuck me die. <laughs> 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 Dr. Steve, let me ask you this. Yeah. If she doesn't do anything, Right? And continues on her way here. On her merry way. On her merry way. 
Yes. What do you see happening to her? Well, what will happen, and I've seen this a million times, is uh, there will be denial, 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 until there is a catastrophic event. You know, Bill comes in and finds her unconscious and can't wake her up and calls 911 and she ends up in the hospital. Oh, boy. And then that's when the process can start. Now, some people can survive that and actually have a it's a wake up call for them and uh, they go through detox and rehab and they and they actually do okay and then some people which are you know also I'd say it's about 50-50, if that. It might be 20-80. They will, you know, go through the hospitalization and, like Tippy Tom, go right back into their how, ways again. How long before this uh, catastrophic event? That's that's difficult to say. That's kind of between her and her creator at this point. But, but educate me. Educate me. All right, Anthony. <laughs> 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 it's all right, Jim. Oh. It's okay. Oh my God, was that oh. great? Oh. <laughs> that was gold. <laughs> Doctor Steve, you're a doctor, oh. though, so an educated guess from a doctor. Yeah, well, I can say sooner rather than later. But. Sooner meaning what? Within the next year? <laughs> yeah, I'd say. Uh, you know, months, several months to a year, maybe, oh. if, if she keeps going the way she's going. Lady but Di- that's difficult to say. Lady Di, some major shit might happen there, within the year. Different resilience. Now, oh. I can tell you, yeah. based on <laughs> based on the blood work, a, a better prognosis once I see how, you know, if things have started down a certain path. Yeah. You know, if they, I see elevated liver tests, yeah. or grossly decreased per- uh, protein level in her blood that would tell me a lot. Based on uh, like visual, like even just looking at her pictures. Did you see that collage of yes. uh, her through the years? That last picture, the most recent one. What do you see there as far as alcoholism goes? Well, I see uh, a condition called rhinophyma. Oh, what is that? That's the uh, enlarged nose that she's got, and uh, that is a. Uh, I'd have to see it in person. The W, uh, the W C Fields, yeah, right? Kind of right. The W C Fields nose. Okay. And what that is is a, a condition where you get a rosacea of the nose, and it's untreated, and then uh, alco- some, for some reason it's exacerbated by alcoholism. Wow. Jeez. Uh, I see some. Uh, wait, wait, uh, Lady Die in denial again is staring at the picture and goes, "I don't see it." I, I, she goes, I don't see it. I don't see the. the you don't see it because you're not a doctor. Yeah. yeah well, you have a okay, nose I like understand. Dagwood Bumstead's boss. <laughs> 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 wow. Bravo. I see. I'm, I see. I'm in need of a haircut. That's for sure. Good point. Well, that's it. So that's start from the yes. haircut and some down. clean yes. beer taps. You're back in business. Yeah. Let's hope Jack Torrance comes and can cut it for you. <laughs> <laughs> this goes back to Ann's lo- the denial thing that we're all yeah, talking yeah. about here. Like that's all she sees in that yeah. picture that she needs a haircut. Needs a haircut, Doctor right. Steve. And I need to lose some weight. Yes, oh. but the, but, yeah. but you might not be able to lose the weight because it's it's what? advanced liver disease. Yeah, yeah you lose weight by quitting drinking, weeping right. off your liver. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta quit weight pain. You don't eat, so it's not the weight's not from that. Yeah, you don't eat, yeah. right? Doctor Steve. Can yep. I ask you one question? When you graduated before, medical yeah. school, that day you got that diploma, <laughs> and the whole family is surrounding you, and you're all cheering, you got your little hat, your cap, and after all these years, all the loans, did you ever envision yourself on the phone yesterday talking to a disgruntled ex-dollar store employee <laughs> while an angry former Golden Gloves champion falling on hard times is yelling in the background? <laughs> yelling in the background. <laughs> yeah, my mom would be very proud. Uh, there it wow. is. Yeah. <laughs> He's tossing his hat up in the air. Hey. <laughs> Fast <laughs> forward. Oh, the future is his. <laughs> my life is just starting, Mom. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Too good. Oh. Yeah. Well, well, what are you going to do? And uh, so, so you were saying, and her face uh, looks, what, bloated, right? It does look bloated, but I'd have to look at the whole person. Now, the the, yeah. the the pictures that alarmed me the most were the ones of her abdomen when she said, well, it just keeps getting bigger and yeah, bigger. And I yeah, don't know yeah. why, because I don't eat anything. Yeah. And that's what makes me concerned it's about It's called Fred uh, Mertzism. Come <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Hey, uh, there was another question. Uh, what the fuck? Stomach. Oh, uh, shoot. What was it? 
Oh, man. What did you eat? Do- you're eating a What's donut? What's that, hot sauce? No, yeah. no, it's a bagel and cream cheese. Hot sauce? Oh. Yeah. I- oh. Spices it up? Oh. No, I just... I'm Dr. Just Steve, the... Uh, she wants to be close uh, to the call. <laughs> she loves her the call. Loose, she don't needs some effect. Yeah. What, what do you got to say about the diarrhea and her peeing herself and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> As she's wrapped around Colin. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> and she laughs. <laughs> it was of an course. accident. That's what it was. Oh, no one thought it was on uh, purpose, yeah. dear. No. no. Do you, no. Got, okay. do, you got adult diapers on today? No. 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 She used the last one. She used right. the last one. Well, yeah. I used the last one, but, uh, but I don't think I need them today. Good no. for you. Yeah. And I think the thing that we've missed. You got to roll the dice sometimes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Point that we've missed We're still waiting for a date, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hold on. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hey, hold on. Right. While you're trying to save her life, she's R- trying to fuck Colin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, Dr. Steve, you were okay. saying. Well, the, I think the point that we've missed on this with the adult diapers is that she used her last one yesterday. That They come in packs of 20. Oh. So that means that she'd used 19 before. That. Ah. Have you had poor Diana? Huh? How long you have those? You've used twenty of them. Of course I did. I mean, I, okay. I had that. I had that adult diaper for a so, long time, and I said, if anything, I need it today. So, so if she's shitting but herself. Why did she? Why did she need it before? Yeah, so that tells me that it's not an acute problem. This is a right. chronic. Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> a what problem? <laughs> <laughs> It's a chronic problem. Chronic right. problem. An acute problem. Wait a so uh, uh, th- that that leads us into a whole different set of diagnoses. Yeah. Um, you know, chronic diarrhea can be caused by uh, malabsorption, which can be caused by pancreatic problems. Uh oh. Uh, can be caused just by irritable bowel syndrome, oh, but that's an issue. Listen, Dr. Steve. Burden. Oh, here we go. I, I remember now. Oh, okay. All right. I'm in menopause. I'm going through menopause. Right. Yes. And I used to get my period every six months. Right. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. Every six months? Uh, until, yeah. Until, <laughs> <laughs> what are you, an elephant? Were you a cicada? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what happens. Okay. Yeah. I was to answer Obi's question, yes. She is. I, I was getting my friend every six months. Your friend. Yeah. Oh, whatever, it's Marion. Whatever you want to call it, okay? Yeah. And, uh, that's a no, long no, distance no, friend. You know what I mean. You know uh, what I mean. Yeah. yeah. And the, the curse. Um, I bought adult diapers because... It was pretty bad, like, you know, like... Uh, oh, you were really bleeding. Really bleeding. What's the matter? No and, tampon? But the, but the whole... More excuses, no, no, by no. the way. It, Here are the that's excuses. That's not an excuse. It's, that's, Fucking that's take serious. it off. It looked like Lincoln's pillow. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever have to wrap a sheet around the fire plug while Bill went to the store and just stand there and wait? <laughs> <laughs> Because if I didn't do that, uh, okay, I would uh, yeah, I would yeah. stain the sheets and stuff like that. Oh, you sure. Know that. Right? So, um, but you continued to use them. Adult, yeah, I would wear an adult diaper, especially when I went to bed because For your period. Yeah, seriously. It's every six months. It's like though. the Apollo's joke. It every, looks like, like the horse's every, head seems like God. <laughs> but, yeah. but it would be like uh, when it did when it you know finally came. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, it would come a lot. You uh-huh. know what I mean? mm-hmm. So finally, oh, we get it. Finally. Um, that is over with. Ah. So I didn't. Need so to you're do all that. the way through menopause. <sighs> not. I don't know. Maybe. Huh? You, you I have don't no get idea. your period, right? No, not at all. Well, see, then she's done with menopause. Not at all. Good news for Colin Quinn. She's not yeah. pregnant. No, you, you can dump, dump right, right in. You can dump right in there. Yes. Don't okay. need to pull out. Just, yeah. just wrap your fucking hands around that back and fill her full of seed. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, wow. Anything else, Dr. Comet, Steve? Colin? No, well, that's... Yes. I, I, it's a beautiful visual. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. a beautiful visual. All right. Can, can what about her weeping flow? Yeah. If she wasn't uh, uh, using those for piss and shit, then it's... Then Hold it, on, easy with the medical like terminology. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah, Dr. Wise Guy. Uh, <laughs> it is more likely then that the uh, the first few days she was going through acute withdrawal. Yeah, uh, right? That, that was our original theory. But Dr. Steve, what, what about the... Psychological stress of starting a new job. Man, yeah, that affects all of us. Absolutely. I used to get a tummy ache the first day of school. I remember that. Sure. There you go. Yeah, yeah. it's probably the same Stuff thing. Stuff like that happens. Just keep enabling her. There. <laughs> keep uh, enabling. <laughs> we just want to get uh, some good radio. Me. <laughs> so, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, there you go. Well, so, what we're going to do, uh, no. Di and I are going to follow up. Uh, I'm going to keep talking to her. Uh, if we have a miracle and she agrees to go to rehab, we'll have it all set up. Dr. Lydia is going to help us with this. Oh, nice. And, um, 
She uh, she's licensed to do a, an intervention in New York. She's licensed to have giant tits. Yeah, that's, that's right. She's we all know right. that. Yeah, she got some big ones. That's right. She's licensed to milk a load. <laughs> 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 but other than that, she can help out with the psychological exactly. aspect of the whole so thing. We're gonna we're gonna set that up, and uh, maybe within the next month, we'll try to get that going. So. All right, that'd be nice—a little dye intervention. Uh, Once again, when Dr. Lydia threw her cap in the air, do you think she imagined you animals would be saying <laughs> you should milk a load? <laughs> Dr. Steve, Dr. Yes, Steve. Yes, yes, All right. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't. I forget if, if we went over this yesterday. Oh. But okay. did I tell you why I started drinking? Oh, no, you did not. Oh. Why? Okay. Uh, low self-esteem. Oh. All right, wait a minute, because because uh, wow. the guys that I used to like right. were either uh, had e- another girlfriend, gay uh, or unavailable, or or unavailable, <laughs> <Gay> or <laughs> right? All right, or they just didn't want to go out with me. Uh huh. Well, welcome to and Earth. Thus, well, you know, yeah. well, everyone well, would be drinking. Everyone would be drinking. We all have our you know unrequited yeah. loves. Right. But that I think that was the reason why. That's right, and you started drinking. Started, drink it started like that. Diana, right? Right? screwdrivers yeah. for low that, self-esteem. That explains uh, giving up the asshole for the entire. That's right. Yeah, that is. Eighties decade. I guess it does. I don't right. know. Yeah. That's right. All through Reagan, you were yeah. giving up the fucking yeah. shitter. Yeah. Well. yeah. You didn't feel worthy. <laughs> yeah. 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 I didn't want to, but I did it. You know, ladies and I pull down the back of those bloomers. <laughs> <laughs> I love when you do the Ronald Reagan. Oh, oh, it? It's a great. It's a nat- <laughs> I'm a national treasure. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, ah. you should bury this treasure. That's a good one, Shiva. Oh. <laughs> so you start oh. drinking because of that, and then it just yeah, it escalated. Just, it just kept on going on and on. First, I started on the weekends. Right. Then I started after work. Right. Mm. All right, and then it just went on Ow. and on. What about the on. guy that killed himself with the train? Did oh, that have boy. an effect on your drinking? No, no. Really? No, it didn't. She didn't care about him. I wasn't him. with him. I yeah. wasn't with him at the time all right. at all. I no. broke up she's with made it. the classic error that a lot of people make yeah. that uh, she used to drink the hard stuff and she figured, well, if I drink beer, it's yes, yeah. right there and you go. This is what beer drinking does to you. Well, it's, yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah, it's not just a beer belly. I think that we keep trying right. to tell you it's not just a beer okay. belly, a right. weeping fluid. Yeah, your fluid is filling you. It's, <laughs> uh, okay, it's a sack. <laughs> I don't know. Why are you so afraid uh, of going to rehab? Why don't you just go and quit? Aren't you done with it? Should just go to rehab. Like, what are you holding on to that nonsense for? Yeah, I, I'm thinking. I'm thinking right now. It's like, yeah, what is so good about your life right now that you don't want to change it through uh, like rehab or, or trying to improve yourself? What this is, is something that Doctor Steve and I are going to have to talk about. Well, no, I mean yeah. it's just a question I'm asking you. Yeah. Look at your life right now. Look at where you uh, are in life. Yeah. Look at where you were. Look at where you are right now. What's so good about what you're doing right now in life that you don't want to mess it up by going to rehab or, or self improvement? I don't. I really don't know. There's nothing. Right. You, okay. You, you well, sit at home. You watch uh-huh. horrible television. You drink beer with an abusive <laughs> man, uh, and, and that's your life. So why? He's uh, he's uh, he's not physically abusive. But whatever. Just, whatever. But, you, but you understand his point. Yeah. Whatever. Right. Yeah. You know, it's not like you're you're like a, a rock star on tour doing yeah. drugs and drinking and going. Oh, you got to go to rehab. It's like, wow, I'm fucking on tour. I'm a rock star. You're fucking yeah. living like. Uh, look at you. Yeah. Come on. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Hold on, we got yeah. yep. we got Dr. Lydia that wants oh, in too. Uh, Dr. Steve's on the phone, and now we got Lydia. We like also have Colin Quinn in the studio. Here. What's up, Lydia? Yeah. Hi, guys. Oh, hello, Hi, guys. Hello, lovely. And say that this is not what I imagined when I threw my cap up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> what? Who's that? Uh, Dr. Lydia. However, I do appreciate the forum, and uh, my heart really does go out to Diana, although it's very frustrating. To work with substance abusers and alcoholics. Oh, yeah. Why? Because, because was... it's, it's very hard for them to stop, and I do understand that. Well, because you're thank you. You're you're leaning toward alcoholism yourself, no? Uh, because I do drink, and I do understand substance abuse, uh, and I have seen it ruin people's lives, and 
maintaining a balance is very difficult. Oh, no. Lydia's not going to be good for Di. Di's oh. going to go like, I, I like to drink once in a while. Lydia's going to go, here's to it. <laughs> 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 Lydia goes, once in a while, that's fine. We just- who is this? Who, uh, uh, Dr. Lydia, you know, uh, you know, where are you from? Uh, you know, who is this? <laughs> yes. She's working the crowd. Where, no. you from? where are you from? What do you do? Lady Di, thank Any you kids? so much for We're celebrating a birthday. Me, but- Generally, when I work with people, I don't talk too much about myself. I talk uh, more about them. There you go. I am mm-hmm. very, very concerned about you. I'm glad that you recognize where your drinking started. My guess is that it continues. I know that's where it started. It continues because of that, but also because of what Dr. Steve uh, mm. and the guys are saying. There's now a physiological addiction. That makes you ill mm. when you don't drink, and that's a big, big problem. You're, you're at a point where you really do have to make a decision about whether you're going to live or die. Damn. Wow. Now that's serious right there. That just got serious, Lady Di. Yes, you're only 52. It's not, like you're, it's not like you're in your late 80s. You're 52 years old. Yeah, 52, 53, 54, 55. And you got a baby face underneath, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. Little cherub oh, cheeks. That is so nice. You're like a little John uh, Panett. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, thank, thank you, honey. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, did you know what you're missing? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, do. Kiss to the floor. Yeah. <laughs> you just kissed Colin's forehead. Anthony, you what? don't know what you're missing. I baby. know, you know. Okay. Seeing this now, it's making me a little jealous, Carl. <laughs> Oh, what is she doing? Okay, yeah. Wow, oh, she's, she's, going, trying to, oh. she's trying to get a little close to your mouth there. Absolutely. Oh. Die once a little bit. You're yeah. going to get that puke I bug. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. How long is Colin going to fucking tease that little, that cooter before he gives a little bit up? Is that right or wrong, Die? I don't know. I better do some heavy training. I got to match his face up to Bill. I know they're not doing it anymore, but there's still yeah. something there. I think so, too. You I think Bill will be jealous. You feel no, it get all wet and rooms. find out it's just weeping liver juice? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh uh, yeah, that's not good. Liver juice. <laughs> now, we under- that. now we understand the smell from the other day. Ah, uh, weeping liver juice. That E Rock smell and the rest yeah. of the guys. That was bad news. I know that was a good one. That video. Yeah, Doctor Steve. What else? Are we done? Yeah. If uh, can we move I, on I, with I the funny Diana? That if by some miracle she makes the decision. Oh. To uh, go to rehab, we can have that done that day. Oh, so, see, uh, I'll keep in touch with her in the meantime, and yeah. then if we need to do this intervention, then we. Colin, will. don't forget to call me one day, okay? She's not listening to you. you. She's wait. too busy giving She's... Colin her number. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I got yes. the digits. Good luck she... with this one, Doctor Steve. Digits. Why don't you trade numbers? How come only you're giving? Why don't you just trade numbers? Oh. I'll, set, I'll leave mine on your machine. What there machine? You She's right here. I'll leave it on the phone. <laughs> You I should just probably to, just send her a text real quick. Okay, all right. all right. He can do that. Uh, yes, yes, Lydia. Thank you, Anthony. I wanted to thank Dr. Steve for reaching out and asking me if I could be involved because uh, I, I would very much like to help Diana. I know mm-hmm. that Dr. Steve is working very hard, Diana. Only you can make this decision, but if you would like some psychological support, I'd be more than happy to give that to you. Dr. Uh, Lydia, two of the top doctors are trying to help her, and she's yapping to Sam. She's talking to Sam. Diana, you're a psychotic. She's yapping to Sam about Opie, taking down one of her pictures. Like I, think, I, I, I think I know why Opie's making that face. You're not listening. Are you? A, you're not listening, and B, Lydia's accepting an, a, an award for some reason. <laughs> you're I want to thank Dr. Steve for informing me of this. <laughs> Why do you feel this oh, way? Oh. Uh. Anthony, you should not act in this manner. Well, she's right. Uh. I still say. Unfortunately, mm. I would predict that Diana probably won't do anything until the uh. situation worsens because she is living in an enabling situation. That's true. Ah, an yep. enabling situation. What enabling? Bill's yelling about to go to rehab, too. Oh, that's right. true. Even he's had it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bill was telling me to go to rehab. But he's buying beers for you. <laughs> She's mad. Oh. Bill was telling me to go rehab. Right. What is it? A I, he'll he'll buy, you'll fly kind of a thing? <laughs> I have no I idea I used to love those. Is. Hey, I'll buy, you fly. I, I don't think he realizes, you know. Uh, I, I don't think he realizes. What? Um, Boy, if any what? house should have fucking reality oh, yeah. show cameras oh, in it. Oh, 
Oh. It's, it's the lady died, Bill House. Right. Why should he realize he's got his own personal horrors to deal with? Every day? <laughs> uh, what, Lydia? You know what? Let me tell you uh. something. I didn't talk to him all day yesterday. Good for uh. you. As soon as I got home, he said, "Don't uh, you know? Don't have too many beers. Don't get drunk because you're going to have to go back out again." Oh, I said, he's not concerned what? with you. You're just the fucking the liquor fetcher. Yeah. Why, why did you have to go back out? Oh, I know. I have to take. I had to take money out of his card to pay the rent, but I didn't go. Oh, okay. I did not go. You had to nap. He gives you his, his uh, debit card and, yeah, and pin know. number? Yeah. Huh? And he didn't say don't drink. He just said don't drink too many beers. Too many beers. Well, yeah, right. You know. Don't, don't forget, Bill's said. in that world, too, though. He doesn't know. Oh, you yeah. Know. yeah. yeah you know. Bill's, Bill's idea of help is, hey, just slow down. Yeah. yeah. That, well, actually, that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow, I'm, I'm going to get oh. going, guys. <laughs> All right, Lydia. All right, Lydia. 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 Studio, <clears> thank you, Lydia. You know where to reach me. Thank you very much. All right. Good luck you working with top great. medical people willing to help you. <clears throat> there it That's is. That's true. About Sam. She's kvetching over there with Sam about something. She has a medical team behind her now. You have a team helping now. you for free. Yeah, look at this. And you're I over know, there smiling and, and flirting. flirting. And you're trying to get uh, some dick. Uh, <laughs> you're trying to get some dick. I'm trying to get his whole body, not just the one area. Batting your leaky eyes oh, at Colin. That's true. Wow. Yeah. wow. That's not true. just the one area. Yeah. Yeah. Sam. What would you do with Colin Quinn? We learned what you would do with Anthony. What would you do with Colin? Same thing. The same thing. I don't remember what. Yeah, walk us Kiss it. down, you know, kiss down Penny. his whole body. She said to Anthony, uh, "Kiss down yep. his whole body from head." <laughs> and then when you, I like the sexual part. Oh, no. You go with your second chick. She goes, "I might do that too." <laughs> she really does like calm. Would you give him a I massage sure if he was on his stomach? Would you give him a nice massage? Mm. Yes, I would. And would you kiss his back a little bit? Sure. Maybe work your finger into his asshole. Oh, oh no, I would that. Nice. Oh, no. She doesn't like ass play. <laughs> and you know what? Oh, I kind of agree I would not with you, do Diane. That. I don't. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Uh, yes, Doctor Steve. It's, sorry to interrupt. Uh, as much as I love. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> sexual fantasy. And, and, and I've got to get my Colin would do. All right, buddy. All right, good. Doctor Steve, you. I'll talk to you later. Yeah, okay, I'll talk to you later. Thank now. you, Doctor Steve. Okay. Doctor Steve, uh, sorry. Doctor Steve, thanks so story. much for this radio That's show. Good. And fucking. They and, just, the, and they want to cut his $150 uh, down. Kyle, do you have a nice double oh, door yeah. to sleep on with uh, uh, Lady Die? <laughs> yes. Hold on, exactly. hold on. Hold on. Uh, what happened? What's up, Die? Colin. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 Right. Well, you tell what you tell me what you did, Di. Tell me what you did so the audience didn't see. What? I showed him my boobies. Yeah, but why doesn't the boobies. liver juice why doesn't the liver juice fill those things up? <laughs> I think they look no, pretty no, good. No, that's uh that's real tits. Yes. That, that's all tit right I'd there. Say that's about, I'm just yeah. saying God's well, cruel right? if if he's gonna let let the liver they juice. Right. Bad. Those are about thirty four C, would you say? It's 40C. What? 40C. <laughs> wow. right. maybe, maybe I should have let everybody guess. I'm I was sorry. Pretty that's all right. Yeah. That's all right. We're fine. Okay. 40C good. is nice. Those are nice big, uh, heavy boobs. Yes. Yeah. Hefty. Uh, you want to touch them? Yeah. Carl? Those are real boobs. You want to touch them? No, I don't want to die. Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Fair no, question. You sure? I just. No, no, start, sure. Die. No, no, start, start, you're, you're sure? Get a little bit. Get, <laughs> get, get him hard. Get out and squeeze it. See how big it is. You're sure? What? Get him hard. Get, no. get, get out and squeeze the fucking uh, puppet master's uh, cock. No, no. <laughs> he wants to ruin this radio show. Give his cock a little squeeze. <laughs> I think it's all. I think it's only fair. Rubbing his leg. Yeah. What are you doing? It's only fair. This is called it's payback. Okay, yeah. This is called payback. How great would that be? He starts this off to ruin us, and he has to eat our ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, man. I would do. Uh, I would do anything for Colin if I get a free show out of him. A free Whoa. show. Oh, yeah. Private. Oh, one of your shows again. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Private yeah. show. Oh, that could happen. Yeah, right, you, okay. you're not. You, you don't. You don't go to the. Sh you don't mention the show when you're trying to get in his pants. No, don't worry about right. that. You know, I don't now know you just seem like one of the on many next. groupies. No, uh -huh. the show's that the thing. We can set that up and we'll deal with whatever we're going to do afterwards. Okay. But back to like. I saw. I saw you once at Caroline's, and that was. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I believe was, you made uh, your presence felt. I, and, yeah. I, I believe like, you also. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. No, she actually made like a presence felt in the beginning yeah. of the show. Around, yeah. oh. no, like before up. that, before that, when I had that uh, Oliver jail. Hardy, I... Oliver Hardy haircut. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my God, they, they have no hey, uh, clue. Guys, yeah. remember that Oliver uh, Hardy haircut I used to yes. have? We do. Yeah. Okay, that's around the time that I saw Colin Quinn. All right, look, All right. look, yeah. look, look. We got to take uh, a break, and it's time for your makeover. There you go. Hey. I'm getting yep. made over. I know. All I right. think that, that's a, not Oliver Hardy. I think that's more like uh, what's her name? Oh, no, like, no, no, no. 
That wait a minute. Yeah, well maybe it's this one. It's more like over a hipster here. kind of Tegan and maybe, Sarah no, haircut. Maybe kind that of. One. Maybe that <laughs> it's like exactly. Mary from you know, The Little you know, Rascals. Good if reference. I could, nice. If I could find the pictures at home. All right, all right, all right. Uh, we'll uh, figure it out later. The 90s. Okay, all right. The nineties. Where were you taking it that decade? <laughs> Was that the decade of throat fucking? (laughs) (laughs) She's a wild one. We got to go to break. Colin Quinn is here. Uh, Lady Di, go down the hall. We're going to do a makeover. (laughs) And hopefully the makeover is done before Colin has to leave at around 8 o'clock. Sam, 40 minutes good enough? All right, good. So... So Lady Di is going down the hall. The complete, uh-huh. All right, good. The and doctor will be late rather than miss his makeover. Exactly. And I think we should give a call to Marion before she goes to work. Oh, yeah, we should. <laughs> Sam, get Marion on the phone if you can for after the break. Hey, it's Lady Di. Unless you're wearing a diaper like me, you probably have to go take a shit. O&A will be right back. Don't go anywhere. I won't be. The Peppy Sinclair News Company presents Personal Hygiene and You. A beginner's guide. You know, as we move into the future, personal hygiene is becoming more and more important to our daily lives. Why, look, there is Hollywood celebrity Jim Norton. Mr. Norton, what is the most important part of your daily hygiene regimen? I like my own asshole to sparkle. And sparkle it does. How do you achieve such a sparkle, Mr. Norton? This is how I wipe my ass. Here's the toilet. I put one foot up and I go like this. And I arch my asshole out. And I fucking open the cheeks and I make sure that I get in there. I put a finger all the way up in until it's fucking completely clean. Even on those extra messy days? If it looks like there's still more work to be done, then I'll do like a wet wipe or whatever. And I'll wrap it around my finger and push it almost up. You never know when a massage therapist might have to get in there, you know? <laughs> Why, here comes Teddy, the neighborhood scamp. Hi, Teddy. Do you clean your rectum? Every day. Why don't you show Jim how you do it? Wait, you just, you just, you don't go in? No, Mr. Norton. I just wipe it like I thought I was supposed to. Oh, no. I gotta get in there because I like my asshole to feel clean. When I was a kid, I didn't wipe good enough. My asshole would get raw. So I learned. Oh, I get it. Thanks, Mr. Norton. <laughs> You're welcome, Teddy. We've all learned a little something today. I like a nice, clean ass. Makes me feel like a better person. We couldn't agree more. Tune in to our next personal hygiene lesson when we'll go over the schmegma removal process. And remember, clean assholes for a better tomorrow. Hey, it's Lady Di. Now back to the Opie and Anthony show. I hope Amp becomes... The second guy to anally penetrate me. (laughs) Ah, Colin. I'll tell you guys. (laughs) What's up? You don't understand. No other radio show would have the balls. No, no, no. no. Thank you, Colin. Thank you, Colin. Thank you for the recognition. The commitment. That we deserve. Yes. Oh, so much. Commit. We're trying to get married on the phone. Yeah, Yeah. we're doing it. Yeah. 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 All the way to Friday. (laughs) One more day after today. I was like, ah, you guys should do it. I was like, I'm not going to do it for a day. (laughs) No. No, You guys go right away. The whole week. Great. Committing. Yeah. Now we got makeup artists in the studio. They're I know. Gonna, they're well, going to give uh, Lady Di a little makeover. A much needed makeover. There yes. you go, right? I mean, natural beauty is one thing, but it's also good to spruce it up a little. Enhance it a little. Yeah. Enhance the natural look. Uh, by the way, there is major news. They might have found that plane. That's right. Off, uh, what, the coast well, of Australia? you have a young-looking face. That's why if you quit drinking, you, you'd, mm. you'd blossom. Your face would glow. Yeah. Yeah. New video. Possible plane parts spotted. What, 1,500 uh, miles from Perth? Yeah, about 1,500 miles uh, west or so of west, uh, Perth. Slightly south yeah. of that location. And uh, it, it, I, I, I was listening to the news, and uh, they were saying uh, that last known turn that the plane made, and then the satellite tracking, if you take uh, that uh, position, make a straight line yeah. south like that, yeah. um, and then reach the end of the range that the plane had, right. it would have been in this area that they kind of are seeing some so, shenanigans. So, ghost plane. Could have been ghost plane. Ghost plane. Everyone either passed out or dead on the plane. I think uh, right Until now... Until ran out of fuel. The uh, the 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 best scenario or the the most likely scenario is uh, some type of fire right. inside the plane that incapacitated 
the uh, pilot um, took took uh, out the the tracking the the transponder, perhaps their communications. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they couldn't radio uh, anything. Maybe, maybe uh, depressurize the cab. Could have been catastrophic, but not to the point where the plane couldn't fly. Right. Uh, and then everyone's dead, and the goddamn thing just flies until it runs out of gas and crashes into the Indian Ocean. That's just my like, speculation. Just like what happened with Payne Stewart. That's yeah. not your speculation. Well, that's your no, new that's, speculation. That's What's my new <laughs> speculation. <laughs> You're... <laughs> Your first speculation was the one was that scared terror. the shit out of everybody. That was uh, nuclear missiles were being yeah. loaded on the plane. Yeah. But they, <laughs> I bought into it hook, line, and sinker too, like a fucking dope. <laughs> they deployed so many, uh, so many uh, boats and yeah, and, planes. Uh, and planes and such that this is definitely the wreckage. They deployed a whole bunch just now. I, I think, think it's eighteen uh, ships and helicopters and planes they're all going there now so th- that means that they have no doubt that this is the wreckage i think they they were saying that the 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 measurements of this piece that they saw could be a Wing, piece right? of the tail section stabilizer oh, okay. so uh yeah we'll see all right we yeah, got i think it's it though i think this is i uh this, i think it's this is definitely it no nope. you don't think it's it I'm going to stick by Anthony's earliest theory. Oh, that is they're still loading blacks. it up. Oh. <laughs> there you go. 18, ship, 18 ships, 29 aircraft, and choppers deployed. That? that means they know this is it. One's teeth. Deploying all that to one one area. Choppers. Wow. <laughs> they're choppers. <laughs> choppers. Oh, boy. Ah, here oh, we the go. the makeover has begun. Yes, it has. <laughs> Uh, we got a very special guest on the phone. Oh, who? Very special guest. Who is our special guest? Hello, who's our special guest on the phone? Hello? Hey, Elsie. Oh. Hey, Anthony. Hi, Colin. Oh. Hi, Marion. That hurt my ears. Hi, hey, Diana. How's it going today? Oh, she can't uh, hear you right now. She's being put in kiss makeup. Yeah, she's... Uh, <laughs> hey, Jimmy. She's having a makeover hey, done. She's having a makeover oh, done, yeah. Jimmy. What are you talking about? Oh, good. It's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a little. Uh, well, yes, it's okay. Oh, it's right. Marion, you look good. Yeah, hi. Hi. Uh, I'm doing this for you, Kyle. How's it going over there? Today? <laughs> she can't hear you because she doesn't have headphones on. Or uh... <laughs> Marion, I have to be. <laughs> Marion, I'll be honest with you. I thought you gave a good, tough love talk to her yesterday. I was listening to the show. Hey, I'm trying because, Colin, honestly, yeah. I know, I know everything, and I know exactly what she's going through, and yeah. I'm not going to say too much. I know, Just but... leave it at that. But no. let's put it this way. <clears throat> Even she has Dr. Steve and Dr. Lydia on the phone willing to help her. She's got to want to take the help. Yeah. But you know better than anybody, she's going to do what she's going to do. (laughs) Who's the doctor? Who's Dr. Lydia? Who's that? She's a psychologist. Uh, Oh. Yeah, but I, Dr. Steve. <laughs> no, but they were willing yeah. to help in any way they could. They said yeah. Dr. Steve's going to call her later. Yeah, but you know better than anybody. <laughs> you can offer help, but you can't just right. Yes. What did she say? Yeah, she was kind of talking to Sam about some other stuff the whole time. So yeah. it was kind of uh, she seemed less focused than she needed to be, considering Dr. Steve was giving mm. her time and effort. Well, she's a little starstruck too because Colin's in here. Oh yeah, and yeah, the. I know. Du- Madly in love with Colin. I, I know that, but that wasn't pertinent to throw in while I was describing the scenario. Um, Colin, <laughs> yeah, you go right ahead. You know, you're at home. You, you know what's going on. You tell us. <laughs> sure, no, no, I'd love to hear your opinion about it since you weren't here. <clears throat> what do we know? We're just the idiots sitting here. Go ahead, go. It's all about you. No, 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 you tell us. <laughs> yeah, no, we're just trying to give you the, uh, yeah, right, okay, sure. Marion, Marion, yeah. you go right ahead. Continue. What do you know that you keep saying? Like I know, I know. What do you know? I'm not saying because it is personal to me. You have to say because you're trying to help I, her. I, no, because I don't want too much of this. You know, one day I'm going to come up to the studio. And one day I'm going to talk to you, and it's going to be off the air. Yeah, okay, no dirty laundry it. on the air. You're right. But yep. just. Just Literally, in this case. Think about it. Marion is, she needs help. Marion needs and help? She, no, Diana needs help, but just think <laughs> Marion knows what she's going through. Yes. Okay. But that's what I'm saying, but it was a little frustrating because Dr. Steve is right there, but I mean, you you better than anyone know. You're trying oh, to... Yeah. Right, you're trying to talk. Is, though, you can only if you put some up in rehab, the water. What? Right, <laughs> what? Anybody for 30 days. 
Yes. Or 90, or 90 days, 60 days, whatever. When she comes out or right. anybody comes out, they can't go near a drink. Excellent right. point. So, what, Very so, what is the, so they're going to have to give medication to people that need help with their drinking. That's well, they have that medication. Yeah. If he's willing to do that, fine. <laughs> right. But here's my but, point. You can only watch it for so long because then you're going to Florida at some exactly. point. Exactly. Well, I'm, I'm moving in about six or seven years. Let's hear some more about that. That's <laughs> six or seven down the year. Is, What's cool. that? The plan my is Florida? Change. Cool. Where? Where? Near I West Palm. Where. My, I'll tell you where. West Palm change. Beach is gorgeous. I love it there. But I'm going to tell you something. Oh. I have relatives in Daytona and I have relatives in Orlando. Daytona. I want to go. Daytona is better. It's by the beach. Orlando stinks. But you know what? That's, I'm talking down the road. I'm talking I about know. years and, you know. Oh. I know. But I'm saying that if, if somebody is going to go to rehab and oh. if they come in, oh, What's to prevent them from not stopping in the bar or stopping? At a right, nothing day? prevents them unless they they That's want to right. stop. They have to have control. Oh, yes. you already knew the answer. Why would you ask? <laughs> now, Bill, Good. Glad to see you're answering your own questions. Too. Bill drinks too. Bill drinks. He does. Oh, oh my God! Really? Well, then she can't live there. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe so, she could live with so, you. She'll have to live with you, Mary. I have a husband. Are you yeah. kidding me? I you got a, a spare I got room. Issues with him. Like, you got a spare room. What kind of issues no. you got with your husband? Yeah, what do you got? Erection. Difficulties. What's the issues? I don't have with, a oh, sorry. What's the issues with the husband? Yeah, he can't uh, continue. He can't keep an erection. Let, let's just leave it at that. I have a husband. It's, um, this is leave it. But we, know, it we know your husband. Wait, yeah, is he trying to bring a bring, bring a, a black gentleman into the bedroom and you object? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to hang up on you if you don't stop. Why? Well, yeah. That's a fair no. question. Yeah, that was a good Mine, question. Relax. Now, uh, what are you guys doing the pale. today? What? I well, you tell know us. What you guys are doing to her? A today. makeover. Yeah, she's makeover. getting her makeover today. Get her, give her a haircut. Put some makeup oh. on her. Take her out shopping. She Hold on. Let, let the, let's put the makeup, makeup artist on with you because she wasn't what? sure what to do. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah. How about Good. a Brazilian bikini wax? Hello. Yes, yeah, yeah. You're here. And. Well, hey, uh, I want to ask you something now. Uh. Is Dr. Steve willing to come into the studio and talk to her face to face? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> it's is a, that true? It's question. a great he question. He said he's got... He yeah. talked to her on now, the phone. It's Dr. Lydia. Is she willing to come to Diane face-to-face? Well, yeah. And where, where uh, are they from? How many questions would before these answers are, are given? Where are they from? Good point. Well, you know Dr. Steve. Yeah, he's from... I ten- them, yeah. But if, if she gets help... Does she want we're, the we're, answers to any of these no. questions? No, or no, no. She just wants to ask questions. She just wants to talk. In high school, did you? Were you, were you a one-man one band? Well, they were going to set her. <laughs> I think they were going to. Uh, this they is, were talking about setting her up where they, you know, they go to the, they call the hospital as a doctor, and then they say, "Look, you should Ryan. recommend it to be admitted because it is, you know." I mean, they could just take her to the hospital and just leave her there. Doctor well, Steve, well, no, it's not leaving. Yeah. It's like a detox type of environment. Yes, yes. Doctor yeah. Steve is going to make sure she has right. a medical testing done. And, right. and I bet you, and all right. Why won't she listen? You have an un- ama- you're, it's, it's all, I'm almost in awe of your ability <laughs> to trample <laughs> what people are saying. I've, I've never seen anyone be able to do this on purpose, much less <laughs> yes. accidentally. Yes, it's a gift. It is a gift. Yeah. You, you've you asked 12 questions. We can't I answer it. I bet she said no. Correct. Well, you know, she didn't exactly say no, but right, she was kind of avoiding it by talking yeah. to Sam the whole time. Her and Sam had some little right. coffee exactly. clutch. She uh. <laughs> Let it go. Guys, let it go. I know. Guys, you tried... So maybe another time we could try again. You're do you right. hold the phone in the wrong place when you talk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is it no. upside down? <laughs> yeah, do you hold the ear part right. against your like the bridge of your nose? No, or your, uh, your eye? Are you say you said you were going to Virginia Beach to do a show. When are you going? Good yeah. question. Oh, well, thanks for the plug. I'll be there tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. <laughs> Tickets available a plenty. Hey, my cousin Mandy lives in Virginia Beach. Cool. Oh, More pertinent information. <laughs> I was wondering how we'd circle that back around and artfully <laughs> done. <laughs> You never know. You know, there could be some of my, some of my relatives in, your, in the studio. Oh, I know. Oh, boy. Well, if, I I hear, know. if I hear yapping at the critical points and punchlines, I'll know. You never know. They could be related to me. Not, oh, not boy. A, she Good doesn't boy. laugh or anything. Do she doesn't listen. Her. She doesn't laugh. No. It's all about Marion. No, it's literally a machine gun interrupting. Caroline. Yeah, when's the Caroline shows? When? 
Soon. Good point. Yeah, I'll be at Caroline's uh, in April. End of a- Hold on. At the end of April. <laughs> 24th through the 20th. what? I was trying to tell you. <laughs> April 24th through the 27th. Okay, maybe I'll go. I would hope so. Oh, my maybe God. How do you survive? I would hope so. All right. We will both go. All right, good. Can we get Marion on a, a, a Lady Di on a microphone, Sam? She could get up from her from her makeover to have oh. a little conversation with Marion, please. Don't touch your face. Or, or she could just sit there. We'll give her headphones if we got any. Wait, all right, I got it. All right, hold on. Hold on. Hold on a second, Di. We're putting headphones on you. Right. Because sure. you have to be able to hear. Right. The makeover is looking good, you Lady Di. You have to be able to hear. Okay, thank you. I can't see myself. There we go. Uh, don't worry. You'll see yourself in the end. Yeah. It's beautiful. All right. All right. Thank you. All right, uh, Marion, you're on with Lady Di. Hi. Yeah, Diana, hi. Uh, what happened with this Dr. Steve? Oh, we were talking yesterday. I uh, know, th- today. <laughs> this is great. Did he call you today? I'm trying to stay still for this makeover. All okay. right, what do they do? What kind of makeover do you have? You know, just a regular makeover, what? that's all. Yeah, what kind? They what do you mean? Your hair, makeup. Makeup, right now. Oh, oh God. I... All right, make sure it's not too dark. <laughs> too, too, uh, All right. Oh, it's not too dark. Have, uh, too much blush on. No, it's almost yeah, yeah. kabuki like him. They're anyways. professionals, man. <laughs> they're professionals. They know what they're doing. Know that, uh-huh. <laughs> Nothing right. from her. Nothing. No, uh, no, the, the no. Converse, What's going the... on with you and this Dr. Steve and the Dr. Lydia? Are you going to go for the help? You know what? Uh, that's that's a, when I when I get the paperwork. Um, that's a decision that I'm going to have to make. Diana that's sounds like she's a little annoyed with Marion's meddling. You know, yeah. I'm decision. trying to stay you're still. Gonna, you're going to have to make. I right. think Diane's a little annoyed with your uh, perceived meddling. No, I'm trying to stay annoyed. still. She's annoyed. Okay, we've been trying to help her for years. Oh, yeah? Okay, so. Because you know that. things. It's up. To, if she does it, she does it. If she doesn't, well, you guys try it. What do you. What do you know that you're not saying? I'm yeah. just trying to stay still. That's okay, all. Okay, Marion. I'm Jai. Yeah. We know. Uh, all right. Mm. What do Japan. I know? Yeah, say it. Come on. Yeah. What are you doing? Stop yeah, teasing let's go. us. What are you doing? We're a radio show. We all know each other I for know. 15 what, years. What, wait, what are you trying to get? Okay. There's a lot of people that end up with with all kind of liver disease, all kind of problems, and they end up dying from throats for the liver. And you know what? I don't want to see that happen to Diane if she gets, ends up getting it in a couple of years. I don't want that to see that happen to anybody. It's very helpful. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. And she should go for help, but that's up to her. Diane, any comment on the words of wisdom? When I get the paperwork, <laughs> I will follow up on that. Uh-huh. Okay? Uh huh. Uh, uh, Doctor Steve told me probably Saturday. Okay. Oh, you know what the good. thing is, you, know, you can't put too much pressure on somebody because if you put too much pressure on somebody, they'll turn around and they'll say, forget it, fuck it, I won't do oh, it. You're 100% you're right. At right. <clears throat> mm-hmm. the same token, she's got you for you a know, few more years, but what happens when you move to FLA? Excuse me? I'm um, saying what happens when you move, that's, then she's uh, yeah. That's years down the road. If I yeah, that's to true. Move, it, Five years from now, I can hit the lottery before then. Oh no! Whoa! Wow. Whoa now nice. you're talking from your yes. mouth to everyone's I, fucking. Yeah, so maybe your years. phone will be lost, and then we'll feel like we hit the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> so Diana, this doctor Steve, he's going to send you some stuff in the mail. Uh, yes, he is. Just he has I, my address. Right, we'll read it. Marion wants yeah. to know about who this doctor Lydia is. She feels a little bit. Uh, I don't cons- even know who doctor Lydia is. <laughs> and oh. where are they from? Are they from the York area? We already asked Where that. Where's Dr. Steve yeah. from? Tennessee. We already exactly. said that. Who did he root for in college? Who cares? Okay, all right. <laughs> well, Tennessee. Okay. And Lydia's from Long Island. Okay, well, Lydia's kind of close. So, Lydia, maybe Lydia can help you. Right. On the psychiatric end. Uh, no. You know, maybe you, you really think so? You think great Dr. Lydia can help me? Maybe she can. Did you ask I don't know. To give you her phone number. Get her phone number and give her a call. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> this is I'm such sorry. a waste of a phone call. <laughs> no, she's get, she, they're really they're really going back and forth and getting something done. Right. You got to take the first step. Okay. Oh, that's a good. That's idea. true. That's actually. And the first step is a phone call, and you see what that you take down 
First step is to get the number. Right. Yeah, but second step is to get Yeah. yeah. No, first you'll you get the power. You then you'll get the you woman. Home. This woman's going to stick her big tongue out to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> then you'll get the success. I hear you, Marion. I hear you. Mm-hmm. Really? He's got to stop fighting with you and downing you. I mean, that's not fair. Who's doing that? Yeah. Bill. Bill fights with her oh, all the Bill. time. About yeah. what? They're, they're Every just time. roommates. <laughs> Everything that she does, Bill yells at her for. Uh-huh. Bill, Bill, Bill acts like she's 20 in, instead of Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, you know, Bill. Bill's got problems too, but Bill's got stop howling and screaming at her. She's trying to do what she's good at. She has been out putting applications in. She has been out work doing, you know, finding work, looking Thank for work. Thank you, Marion. To the fight, really. Oh. If I see a head wanted sign, I tell her, Diana, this is hiring. Go try it. Listen to this. Sounds like Bill's got anger issues, if you ask me. Yeah. It mm. does. Bill has, Bill has he does. a lot of issues. Anger he does. issues? He does have anger issues. Yes, she does. Yeah, Lady yeah. Di? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, what is he so angry about? <laughs> Hold on. I'm, uh, you know, I, I, I'm trying not to, uh, you I'm trying to talk. stay still. It can be I, frustrating, okay. I guess, yeah. dealing sometimes with somebody who doesn't yeah. But he's got to deal with his it, own thing, You know too. what? You know what? It's usually Physician about money heal issues. thyself, right? Uh, money issues. Mm, mm. It's money. Hold Earth's on. Wisdom. Hold on the line. I got to go to Texas. Uh, phone call. Co- hold on, Marion. Yes, Eric in Texas. Go ahead. Yeah, how you doing, guys? Good morning. Hello, Eric. Thank you for the phone call. Yeah, this Marion chick is just great. Did anyone put anything else on? She's just a fucking bore. It's like root canal with no fucking painkillers, man. Wow. Marion, comment. Who? A root canal? I got my. I got what? I got my teeth on. What is he talking about? <laughs> you, you, you was talking about that, but I you straightened him out. I am on a cell phone. You really should start <laughs> MissYourPoint.com <laughs> and be the president and CEO and Miss, founder. Missed your point. <laughs> <laughs> What is fucking? Does he know what he's talking about? Yeah, he's a dentist. He's concerned with your. Tell him to go back to digging his fucking oil rig. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, man. He's from Texas. Got yeah. him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Showed him. Get back to digging your oil rig and put yourself in it, buddy. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Oh, yeah, this oil girl's rig. good. That's rough. She's, she's getting uh, tough since Bob. Right. Let, let me go to Eric in uh, Jersey. Eric. Yeah, it's just kind of getting a little boring already. Um, boring? Something else. If, if you think it's boring, boring then don't listen. <laughs> I, I actually set it off for the first time in a year yesterday. I'm telling you something. If you think me and Diana are boring, honey, then don't listen. Because let me tell you something. If you think you can go up to the show and do and do what me and Diane do, and I'm not even there. I'm on the telephone. Go for it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Love the confidence. You, 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 yeah. you think I'm serious. Because me and Diane are a lot of fun together when we're up there. And yeah. when I'm not that's up there, true. I'm on the phone, that's true. and I'm still on the phone. That's true. That's right. true. It's a lot of fun for you and a lot of misery for the listener. Uh, all right. Thank wow. you. Wow. I, I, I get a lot. Hey, uh, me and Diane are getting a yeah. lot of reviews. All right, Believe let, me. Let's go to Lisa Lisa in New Orleans. You're on with Marion. Good morning. Hey, how's Mardi Gras? <laughs> How's the Mardi Gras celebration? You know what, Marion? I don't drink, but just listening to you makes me want to become an alcoholic. Oh. I don't, I don't drink that much either. But it's not me; it's Diana with she the me President and CEO <laughs> of MissYourPoint.com. <laughs> oh my God! Shut up! No, you shut up. Oh, come back. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Ah, oh, that's true. Maybe you want to hang up? Oh, Jesus. You are a fucking hypocrite. And you no wonder if you go. You don't know me, so if I were you, I would shut the hell up, okay? <laughs> you don't know anything about you. me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let me say hi to Ken in Texas. Ken, great qu- great calls coming in right now. This is Ken. a lot of fun. <laughs> if I had a friend like her, I'd be a chronic alcoholic too, man. Well, good. Go go to the first bar you see and have a drink and keep drinking. And I hope I hope you're driving and I hope you get into a car accident while you're drinking. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason why she's don't like it. If you don't like it, turn the radio off. Hold on. She's Nobody not. said he had to listen. Hey, to hey, guy, guy, she's not. The reason why I drink. She's oh, not. Oh, Jesus. Oh. All right. Oh, Mary, direction. quit discouraging people not to listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Hey, hey I, th- I think we're. Hey, let me tell you something. I think we're doing a 
a pretty good job. Yeah, if they don't uh, like yeah. it, turn yeah, it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. That's what and you do. Now, That's what I say. And Thank Diane, you very much. Diane is doing good up there uh, every day uh, this week. She's uh, showing uh-huh. up on time. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. She's doing a great job for us. Like, Peter uh, in Canada. The first two days was, was a little different. <laughs> Peter but. in Canada. Yes. yes. Marion, comment. Peter. Go ahead, Marion. Peter. God, Marion, do you even know you're talking over top everyone? Like, everyone tries to get a word in, and you just talk over <laughs> top of everyone. <laughs> Sometimes that weird. happens. You know, <laughs> hey, you just did it again. You just did it again. Every time it hey, happens. Sometimes, you know sometimes what? it happens. Hey. Say. And when you're on a cell phone, it's hard. They're, they're, you know, they're here. And it's hard to talk great right on a cell phone. <laughs> then open your ears. All right, next caller. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa, she's done with you, Peter. She's done with you. Marion, I believe that he was saying that you trample everyone in kind of a narcissistic blather. Excuse <laughs> me? All right, hold on. Big Al wants in. He's a regular. Big Al, go ahead. Hey, you know, they got a term for people like Marion in the radio business. It's called show killer. Get that bitch off the radio. Play some Barry Manilow records or something. Wow. Shut up. Nah, you shut up. You think that you're fucking entertaining with Di. Di is a sweetheart, and she is funny. <laughs> yeah, Diane is funny. Yeah, I'll admit that. She is. Yeah, and you're not. You know what? People have problems. The and, if you don't, and if you don't think I'm funny, then hang the goddamn phone up, you moron. <laughs> See, nobody, thinks, nobody thinks you're okay, funny. You nobody has. Fun. Nobody you're has. Make me want to go opinion. listen to the Catholic no, Channel. I took the call. I'm not looking for your opinion, honey, so hang the phone up. She's feisty Find today. Fucking bitch. Go. Oh, you oh, don't sorry. know me, okay? Uh, Ray and Philly. Hey, Philly. Hey, Marion, why don't you just go suck you. a dick, you fucking horse face looking bitch? <laughs> I'm tired of hearing you. Shut the fuck me. up. You don't know what I look like. Eat a ball of eggs. He nailed it. Like. <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> go back to your fucking hole. Goodbye. You fucking queen pig. Shut up, you tough bag. Goodbye. Go suck a dick. Yeah, you know what? Grow one. Whoa! Oh, man. Fuck the yeah. Comebacks are flying. No and no balls. Oh. Hey, guys. Um, yeah. Diana. Oh, yeah. She's listening. I'm right here. Okay. You're right there. All right. Yeah. Hey, listen. Let me go, okay? Aw. I got to get back, you know. Yes. And um, give me a call later, all right? I will. All right. Okay, I'll talk all right. to you later. Thanks, Opie. Thanks, Dad. Talk oh, to you soon. no problem. Well, Bye. Yeah. 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 Right, yeah. Thanks. Bye, Jen. You'll Thank talk you. at us talk soon. Talk exactly. Bye, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, Marion. God bless. Be safe. Have a great day at work. Oh man, the the listeners love Marion. Yeah, more Marion for the show. It's really it's 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 an uncanny ability to trample everything. It is astounding. She can just ramble right over you. Doesn't even miss a beat. (laughs) Missed every guy's insulting your point. Is he a dentist? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the guy saying that listening to her is worse than root canal without any painkillers. And she takes it as, I had root canal. I yeah. was a dentist. It's just missed the point. Totally. Totally. It's like a baseball bat of banality. <laughs> walking, into, <laughs> walking into a bar and just cracking skulls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, all right. Well, uh, did you take anything away from that uh, phone call? Die. Lady died. Did you take anything away from her phone call today? Uh, um. Yeah. Oh, yeah, what? But, but she calls me after I get out of the show. She, you get talking she, to usually, I'm on the train uh-huh. when she calls me. So Why does she call you? She's a little jealous that you're here and she's not, right? I don't think she's not. I don't think she's jealous. Oh, she's no. jealous. She's jealous. Well, you said it. I didn't. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't, you know I don't think true. she is. Oh, there's some oh, jealousy there. Me, she's oh, yeah. Jealous. I don't think so. Oh, oh yeah. Doubt it. She hates that you're getting all the attention. You're the star. Yeah. Oh, you got to look up. Yeah. Oh, thank you. My nose. <laughs> oh boy! I <laughs> uh, give it a little scratch over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am uh, stupefied. Well, by sure. that friendship. That's oh, when she perfect. goes to Florida. That's going to be sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be breaking well, five, up. six, seven, like eight this, years, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this couple that's this friendship that's been uh, together I once, strong for years. I was once watching a chick flick with Kate Hudson and Jennifer Goodwin. I don't know what it was called, but yeah. 
They were friends, like they had that little, but they had competition like that. Uh huh. It was yeah. like that, right? If they ever make the movie of these two, those two would be great kids. They already have. It's called Midnight Cowboy. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm walking over here. <laughs> I just took a lot of rest up. I was on a schedule. <laughs> <laughs> Put on my cowboy hat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, why don't we yeah. take a break and then I think the makeover will be done. Yeah, we'll see. In the very near future. Yeah, Come along nice, Lady Di. Yeah. Really nice. Thank you. They just made your eyes pop. It is yes. nice. Your eyes are popping now. Yeah. They are? Yeah, they look good. Colin is uh, yes, going to be star look. Gonna be impressed. It was popping like Boy, they were in movie. Casino. <laughs> it's a sequel movie star. <laughs> Colin, you got anything? No, nothing. Oh, you mean promos? Yeah. 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 I got the tour unconstitutional. I'm going to be in Milwaukee and Minnesota, April 8th and 9th. And then uh, some other days I can't remember. <laughs> well, what's the website? People can go for all yeah. the latest The info. tour unconstitutional, Colin Quinn. Very really, cool. it trips off the tongue. Yeah, the tour <laughs> unconstitutional, Colin Quinn. Wow. Stinks. Yeah, it's a horrendous name. Awful. You got to put all that in? Yes. I don't know what happened. How about ColinQuinn.com? Or .net. Yeah, no, that was a mistake. You you <laughs> scared a lot of us with your early website. That we didn't, didn't <laughs> My newer website is uh, quite good. Your website hit. is lovely. Thank you. That's per, as per Colin's suggestion. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. Colin Quinn Unconstitutional. Unconstitutional.com. I think it's the tour, no? Well, I'm sure the tour you can link to. This one, look. Colin Quinn Unconstitutional. Oh, that's it. That's it. Yes. Okay. Uh, you, okay. You messed it up, I think. Colin Quinn Unconstitutional.com to see if he's coming to your city. It's a great, great one-man show. Thanks. It really is. How many, how many dates have you done so far on this Oh, one? I must have done, uh, I mean, on the road, probably 50 or 60. Wow. I'm mean, all over this crazy land. Right. <laughs> Colin. Yes, oh. Diana. I need to ask you a question. Oh, certainly. Um, are, ah! you, are you ever going to be in Elizabeth, New Jersey? Oh, my God. Uh -huh. That's a very good question. Yeah. Elizabeth, the theater scene in Elizabeth is not what it once was. I'll be honest. <laughs> it's mostly been that, reduced that would, to that would, that would be the cockfighting and the occasional <laughs> uh, television and window sellers. <laughs> okay. A cluster Guatemalans watch it. CW. <laughs> However, yeah. if they get their theater scene together, I'll probably be there at some point, sure. Oh, sure. Yeah, the Ritz Theater. Oh. What's that like? It's nice in there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Fascinating. Have you seen shows there? Yes, I have. What do you see there? Oh, microphone yeah. die. Uh, I seen a lot of uh, uh, microphone mic. die. Microphone. Mic. You're holding the microphone down by your waist. Well, you know, I'm trying to get the makeover here. No, no, I understand. Um, all right. No. Um, all right. I saw. I saw a lot of uh, like like uh, you know 50 shows yes. there. Yes. Oh. Okay. The monkeys, um, maybe. No, no. I uh, I wish I I wish they would come around. Well, right. Who does? I saw like um um. A group that did a lot of Temptation songs. Oh, oh like right. the okay. Temptations, yeah, a cover the, band. Uh, <laughs> like, what do you call that when the tribute? When the band tribute, sings? a covered tribute band. Yeah, right, right, right. And uh, uh, -huh. uh, uh you know, fifties and sixties groups. Ah, yeah. uh, there you go. Yeah. Motown shows, theme shows. Motown, I get it. That's mm, it. Motown that's shows. Motown shows. Sure. Yeah. Motown. All right. All right, we should take a break, Lady Die. Your makeover is almost done, and I know okay. Colin's got to leave soon, and we want to make sure he gets to see I go to the it. doctor myself, Lady Die. so, uh, you know, maybe yeah. I could lead by example. I go to the doctor, you go to Dr. Right. Steve, Dr. Right. Lydia. Okay, right. okay. All right, uh, well, after nice. the break, the makeover should be done. The big oh, reveal. So. Rouge the, the big reveal. Good. Hey, it's Lady Die. Anthony, if you're listening to this, you're the sexiest man in radio. I'd love to wrap my lips around that big Italian hog of yours. I, I would love for you to fumble the, these flapjacks and get a taste of dye juice. The Opie and Anthony Show will be right back. After 20 years of amazing people with their obscene ability to entertain on an unprecedented level, it's about time Opie and Anthony were celebrated. Combing through their 20-year history, this is an Opie and Anthony radio gem. Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> What's the sign language? Uh, Ed. And, He's our producer. And he decides when uh, a guest is uh, getting a little too boring, and that was the sign what that, the that he oh, okay. fuck usually gives. And, uh, More wait, disrespect to well, Ed. We're having can, a good interview I with can, Ed Asner. I, I, can, I can tell you, Anthony, that that's the <laughs> that's last <okay>. time <laughs> I'll ever be on your show. No, that was, uh, that, yeah. I've, been, I've suffered your insults enough. <laughs> I, I certainly wouldn't come back again. 
I'll be glad to talk to you about the Columbia uh, oh, documentary some that. other time when fast. he's not around. Can I talk to you, Ed? I'm okay. a big fan. I love you. Absolutely. Thank you. Be sure how, that he's not in. I, I don't. He does this all the time. I'm oh, a big fan. I'm very happy to have you on the show. He is. Uh, he is. A, uh, he's a destroyer. He's a destroyer. <laughs> destroyer. <laughs> he's like Gordon Gecko. He builds yeah, nothing. Yeah. He liquidates. He's filthy. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's greasy. Yes, he is greasy. I don't want to smell his shorts. He's a Sven <laughs> In quotes, I don't want to smell his shorts. Ed Asner. Bravo. The, the great Ed Asner. The great Ed Asner. Asner. Thank you, sir. Very nice Thank to meet you. you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> You're a destroyer. He called you a destroyer. <laughs> Wait till Anthony hears this on the replay. Oh, it was phenomenal. Hey, Jimmy, get back here, man. I'm, I, I started sweating. <laughs> Ed, no, come on. Give me a handshake, please. Fuck you, he said. No, fuck you. Dude, Ed Asner just said, fuck you. Oh, that's phenomenal. Hey, it's Lady Di. Now back to the Opie and Anthony show. I gave him my ass in the car. What a day. We got Colin Quinn in studio. What who's, a day. Who's responsible for this Lady Die internship okay. thing. <laughs> Chip, Chip just mean mugged me. <laughs> and uh, according to the Twitter there, people either love it uh-huh. or hate it. There's yeah. no real in-between on this yeah, one. No. no. You read, the one, you read one tweet where they can't stand this, and then the next tweet they say it's it's the greatest. Best so. The best heard. thing they've ever enjoy, heard, and, uh, and we should be killed. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's just all over the place. Mm-hmm. I think uh, yeah. Lady Di's makeover is just about done there. Yeah. She wants to put her jewelry on. Yes. Well, yeah, you got to get all gussied up. You got to get gussied up. up, of course. That is good. She should go. Uh, Sam, you just got to bring her over here. She gonna go out at all? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. She should. She should have her go out for a coffee or something. Yeah. And then the big reveal. Oh yeah. Should sure. do that. Because you know, just to get rea- film reactions of people. Right. Step up to the table. Die. Wait, 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 hold on. You know. Have a flirt with someone. Um. Uh, yeah. What? You don't want to miss it. There's a lot of windows down there. Wait. And Colin, That's a good point. And Colin's yeah. got to um, leave point. soon. So yeah. what do we do? I mean, this makeover is really, well, really good. In the meantime, some funny stories in the entertainment. You guys are doing good. John Travolta apologized to Indina Menzel with flowers. Oh, oh really? Oh, wow. You get about 20 yeah. minutes out of that while we're stolen. <laughs> That's, yeah. the, That's the broad from Frozen. Frozen right. sold 3.2 million Blu-rays. Oh. Oh, First day wow. out. Yes. Thank you look God good. she's ready. Pretty girl wants All right. Yeah, come on. Step up to the mic of honor. <laughs> Lady Di, look you at this way. Yeah. Step up to the microphone. What are you doing? I know that. Put your jewelry there, dear. Sam. That's what block I, that's what I was trying to move window. Window. Yeah, yeah. Block yeah. it. I mean, just with you. Yeah, stand there. Stand okay. in the right place. So yeah. we gave... Uh, we gave Lady Di a nice makeover. It was yeah. very well done. Yeah, it is well done. Yeah? Makeup girl, yes. I like it. Okay. Yeah, move closer to the mic. Okay. To the mic. All right, let me see. You ready? Yeah, All right. Ready. We ready? Here's I would have killed that. I look like a... Cl- Go ahead. Let me see. What? Oh, no. What? What? What's no. wrong? What? What's what? wrong? What? What? You look good. You look good. Oh, Jesus. Let me see. What? They worked hard on your makeover. What you doing to me? <laughs> what happened? Oh, you look what? good, Di, you okay. silly goose. Ah, okay, you look good. Yeah, really do you know did. what that's from? <laughs> I, I, I can't be you like this like for the rest star. of the day. Oh. Yeah, you can. Yeah. yeah, you can. Do you know what that's from? <laughs> what? Don't you know what that's from? That I makeup? Where? It's like a goth look. <laughs> yeah. What? All the kids are wearing it. <laughs> yeah? All the kids are wearing it these what? days. <laughs> you look oh, great. I see. I see. You what look great. Yeah. It's like a geisha. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it's like a geisha. Right. Memoirs work. of a geisha. No, no, no hold on. Either. Hold on. What? You got to leave it. Even like this for the rest of the day. Yeah, just hold for on. the rest of Just a little while. Yeah, longer. why wouldn't you? What do you, what do you have? Have a little fun with it. Sport. You have look like a, a movie fun star. with it. She looks like a Joy <laughs> Division <laughs> fan from yeah, 1981. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wait, hold on. Yeah, have a little fun with it. Come on. Right, right. You look like Robert Smith's wife. Don't worry about it. I'm helping. <laughs> That's not a question of being worried, but... I'm nervous. Bert. I know. Don't get nervous. There's makeovers and there's makeovers. Yeah, Come on. my party. Don't get nervous. <laughs> Break up my party. <laughs> Break up my it's party. Nice. It looks great. Okay. He shoots like mirrors. Oh, my goodness. Spit shine Tommy. <sighs> yeah. See, there guy, you go. this is from a movie. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's from a movie, but... You know what movie? We're missing the bow tie. No. 
Yeah. All oh, right. That's probably the problem. We that needed the bow tie. Pee Wee Herman yeah. bow tie. Right. We're posting eh, pictures of her new makeover on O and A show on Twitter. Uh-huh. Nice. You look rather uh, adorable in that. Nobody will even recognize me. Oh, they will. No, they'll recognize yeah. you. Oh, they're yeah. gonna know it's me. Yes. 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 Because, Try to go into the bathroom the here. The they'll recognize you. Yeah. No. Yeah. You look fun and ready to frolic. Yeah, it's cute. fun. You look it's playful. Cute. Thank you. you know, for the first time in how long you're having fun. Jesus. Yeah. Lighten up. Enjoy yeah. it. Lighten up. It's not like they painted dicks on your face up. like we at first yeah. suggested. It was just a shock. That's yeah, all. Nobody a shock? It was just yeah, believe me. Mm. Okay. You look cute. You got your I'm jeans on, your red it. sweater, and your little silly makeup. It's all right. Yeah. Okay. It's harmless. Right? Mario would be so harmless. jealous. She'd just be talking over everything you said. She wouldn't oh. even let you shine. Right. Yeah, right. That's perfect. Lady dies. Great. Oh, this is wonderful. Yeah, she should go down and uh, you wanna get some coffee. Oh no. What? Not like this. <laughs> yeah. Why? Not like this. They're gonna be looking at me. I'm gonna. Why not? Uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and this time. What? To wipe the stuff off. No, no, don't wipe it. Don't wipe it off. No, you gotta go home. No. The girls worked hard. Yeah. You gotta at least show Bill. Come on. Unfortunately, ah, no, I'm not gonna go on the train like this either. Why? Die. You Unfortunately, get right through. Why? Unfortunately, you're not allowed. Be looking at me. Die. What? You're not allowed in the bathroom. <laughs> That's How true. You wipe it off? You're not allowed in the bathroom. I'm not allowed here. in the bathroom in Starbucks. <laughs> oh. Go to Starbucks. Yeah, you could go in Starbucks. But don't wipe it off, Di. You look cute. <laughs> you do look yet. good. Don't worry about it. All right. Do you want to talk to the makeup artist? Yeah, we should plug her because yes. she did a great job. Yeah. An amazing job. Here they are. Don't worry so much. Stop tugging on your hair. Jesus yeah. Christ. Oh, yeah, it looks good. It's full of bounce and luster. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Oh, boy. Oh, she's oh, going for the lips. Oh, yes. wow. Hold on a second. Colin, Wait, what are you don't doing? Get, don't get makeup all over. Don't get makeup all over. Give him a kiss. Oh, Give him a Colin. kiss. Take the kiss. Oh, Come on. <laughs> Enjoy your creation. <laughs> Where are you going? You get to leave? Enjoy your creation. <laughs> you guys are lucky that I have a good sense of humor. Well, that's true. Yes. We're happy. Yes. We just, that's happy. true. I think we just broke Colin finally. We finally broke him. Yeah, I got his number. Don't worry. Colin will call you later. <laughs> yeah, Carl. <laughs> Carl's tweet at him, Colin. it. Remember that? Yeah, tweet him. Yeah. Just tweet him and remind him to get in touch with you. Yeah. yeah. She's playful. She's having fun. Yeah, if Colin doesn't have time, Jim will give you Carl's number. Oh. Yeah, I got it. And you, I, could, I uh, you yeah. could give him a yeah. call. Yeah, no worries. Oh, yeah. See ya, man. Take Bye. it easy, Carl. Have a good day. Good luck. Bye. Colin Quinn. It looks really good. They did a great Colin. job. Yeah, why don't you sit down in the chair of honor? There you go. Uh, Let Colin. us know how it goes at the, the, the doctor. <laughs> yes. Toodles. I'm like, yo, baby. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, whoa. Whoa. Wait, hold on. You, oh, careful. Oh, then. Don't, please Jesus. don't fall in your new makeup. You, you look really silly. do like Colin Quinn, huh? Mm. Yeah, you like Colin. Man. Yeah, I, I think he likes me, too. I think so, too. Yeah, I think he's shy, though. Like, there. you're going right for the lips, and I think he's getting a little bit yeah. freaked yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're a little, a little pushy. You yeah. gotta play a little hard a little to get, pushy. I think. But when you said that, you, when you told the story about having anal in the 80s, oh. it, he likes to have anal sex and most girls won't. And that drove him crazy, the fact that you did that. Yeah, right. yeah. He liked that. Yeah. If you would give Hold that on. up for him. Well, Here well. we go. Her. She's switching headphones. She knows. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm trying she knows to. what she's doing. Oh, oh. Go ahead. Take your time, dear. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Okay, there. there you go. What the hell is going on? I think you gotta. Uh, the, you gotta you gotta hang out the rest of the day like that. Yeah, yeah it's fine. I'm, yeah. I'm ready for Halloween now. You look well, good. That's well, a, you know it's it's in October. Is it? It's a little while. <laughs> I, I know that. I know that. <laughs> oh, I th- All right, I wasn't sure. could have added something to that conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I guess what I'm gonna be for Halloween. Worry, I don't she'll know. She'll see the pictures later on. I'm sure she will. Yeah, she sure will. Do you know uh, a guy named Jake from Elizabeth, New Jersey? Yes. Lamada. He said he went eight rounds with you. Oh. Um, let me find out. He's got a story to tell. Jake, go ahead. Hi. So I don't have XM radio, but my friend's a big fan of yours. He told me to call in. Um, years ago, when I went, I was still in high school, actually. I worked at a uh, shop, shop right in Elizabeth, New Jersey. <laughs> Diana, do you, do you remember me the, when you worked there for two weeks? Do you, do you recall working at that shop that, right? That wasn't an Elizabeth, my dear. That was, was a, not an Elizabeth. I'm from Elizabeth, but it was on the border. Yeah, the shop right you're talking about oh, okay. is the one in Garwood. Right. Well, oh. I consider it Elizabeth. Is that close to Elizabeth? Uh, a few towns, a oh, few right. towns away it's from Elizabeth. It's the same one. Yeah, yeah, you really are. You're yeah. kind what, of hemming and hawing. So what happened here, Jake? So, so she worked there for two weeks. Uh, this is, like I said, this is years ago, back when I was in high school. But she, she worked there for two weeks. Uh, the first week, you go through training where they teach you everything about the store. The second week, um, when they put her on register, the first day she was on register... First of all, let me put in mind, she was a disaster the, the whole time working there. But second no, week, I was, and I was not. 
fan. It. You were you were a disaster. We still they talked about you at like months after you left. You were the worst employee ever. Wow. But, how, how many years ago was this? Ah uh, man, I was in high school and I'm I'm out of college now. I don't know. Five six years All ago. Right. Yeah. So what happened that second day? So when they put her on register, they they teach how to use the the the, uh, the checkout machine. When she was processing credit cards. She wouldn't enter them to actually process the charge. People left over four thousand dollars worth of groceries after her second day without getting any, uh, without being charged for them. Is that in true? Fact, she would put the card in the machine, and that's it. She was fired on the spot. It was on. Um, oh, uh, lady, I died. was fired after two weeks of being there. Why were you yeah, fired, died? That's what he said. It was. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Whoever you are, I, I, I really don't recall who you are. Um, what happened was no, no. Let her explain. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, let her explain. Um, what happened? Die. What happened was a person came in with part cash and part credit. Uh huh. Okay, and uh, your your till back then had to you know uh, you uh, you couldn't go over uh, thirty dollars or something like that. It was some some kind of rule or something. Right. And um, what happened was the guy behind me that was working another register. I said, "What are you doing this case?" Because uh -huh. I, I, you know, with part cash and part credit. So uh, the guy behind me said, send this person to, to the courtesy counter. Just, you know, just uh, in other words, just charge her with the cash and the rest of it with the credit card. Uh -huh. right, you got to send it to the courtesy counter. She walked out with it. That's that's how I got fired. My, my oh, till was uh, thirty dollars short. Thirty dollars short. Yeah. Okay. But this guy is saying. No, I mean, no. Seriously. You, you made a few but, mistakes with the credit cards. Right. Um. No, I just. Um. You forgot to log in. You forgot to actually charge the credit card. Is what he's saying. No, 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 no. This person. Okay, like I told you, was part cash. No, part, I understand part that part of it. All right, but, but, but there, it, it wasn't just that. that why did you send to? Why didn't you send to the courtesy counter? Because the person behind me oh, that worked no. longer than me over there told me to send this person to the courtesy counter. Well, you only allowed to have thirty dollars in your till or something. No, no, no. The, the oh. thirty. Uh, my my till was thirty dollars short. Okay, yeah, no, because they, 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 because of what? Well, you didn't I, send I really it to the courtesy counter that you're supposed to. Why didn't you tell them I, that? I, I, t I told her to go to the courtesy counter. Instead of going to <laughs> the courtesy, the courtesy counter, counter, she left. <laughs> you had it. And, uh, I would have left, too. That's, um, yeah. And then when you count your till in the end. A right with the till. <laughs> I'm sick of hearing the word till. $30 short. Oh. I was the one that was uh, Where was the $30 terminated. short from? Well, bec I don't know. I really don't How'd know. How they know it was $30 short? Yeah. Because when I, 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 was, uh, I was supposed to. Uh, what, go ahead. So, all right, that happened dozens of times your first day. So we had a line queue, not only at her register, but at the actual convenience counter as well. So anytime someone had a credit card, she'd have them bag up their all their fucking groceries that were already on the on the belt and then resend them to the courtesy counter. It was a fucking disaster. She oh, my God. She couldn't anything properly. Well, maybe they she was pro improperly out. trained. Oh. It was her second week there. I'm, I was I was fucking... 16, 17 years old at the time. Yeah, but she was improperly trained, sir. She is literally the worst human, uh, not the worst human, my apologies, but the worst employee that store has. Worst employee ever. Well, they still talk about you over okay. there. It's okay. So your pictures. They, they still yeah, talk about you. And you gave, it a, you gave it a good try. Absolutely. Yeah, I did you give know. it a good try. It just Go to the didn't work counter. out, that's all. Didn't huh? work out. Go to the courtesy counter if there's a problem. Well, bathroom. I was listening to somebody else. What'd they tell you to do? They told me to send the person to the courtesy oh, counter. Okay. And that's what I did, so that's why I could move on instead of having a line. Oh. You know, the line Where was the $30 short from? Um, see, this is what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> She's still working you it know, out. Um, <laughs> All these years later. I might have gave that even, you know, uh, through the course of the day, I might have gave the person a wrong change. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So many people that it added up to 30 bucks. <laughs> yeah. How'd they, know you, how'd they know you were short? What happened? Well, at the end, you got to count. But this you guy's know, saying you, you it was know, thousands of dollars, not thirty dollars. Everything like that, you got to. You have to yeah. count everything, and the money that you have. Where in do you put them? Got oh. <laughs> the till. I forgot, I forgot. Shut up with the till. Well, you want to know, right? <laughs> no, That's the, they I give hate you. the till. <laughs> Wait, what about uh, the know, till? I wasn't listening. What's up uh, with the till? What is a right, till? Uh, I didn't know what the till is. Yeah, what is a till? That's, that, that's your register. What is? Oh, just say it. Why would you just say the register? Right. 
My till. It is a till. But, but that's what it is. That's a till, right, oh. Jimmy? Yeah, it's when you that's, do something when the cards are done right, and they know right, you have a certain right, hand. Exactly. Right. That's the lingo so, of the yeah. trade. So for some reason, <laughs> yeah. my register was short. What is a register, though? And, is that the um, till? Yeah, that's the okay. same thing. Same thing. Okay. okay. All right, I'm and on, I was supposed I'm to have a certain now. amount at the end of my shift, right? Up. And I was thirty dollars short, and they said short, that's it. Where, and uh, uh, where were you short? They, they took me in the uh, office. Where were you short to thirty dollars? I, I just explained everything. I wasn't to you. listening. I was I was checking Twitter and right, making okay. sure the phones you, were well, cool. You have to hear me. Um, yeah, where was the thirty dollars supposed right. to be? It was supposed to be in the till with the oh. <laughs> money. Oh, I see. In the I register, the rest of the money. One more time. Hey, okay. I get it. She was thirty dollars short in cash, like actual money to money, hand to hand cash credit charges. So she fucked up not only I, the I must, charges, no, I did, I but did cash transfer. You fucked up, but Jake, I yeah. got a question for you. I did. Why? I did. Yeah. There was why the anger. Well, all right. So during her training, I was in high school, so I was one of the kids that had to give her the tour of the store the first week. She, I mean, so she was. She had this cough. I don't know. I if don't remember him. She, she had this cough. That was, it would echo off the wall. <laughs> you knew when she was walking down, walking through the aisles. You okay. could hear her cough bouncing right. all over the store. Right. Yeah, she okay. Up, uh, like day three or four, she had to throw up in the bathroom. We had to send her home early. She was, she was a, oh, Did you have to go home early because you got sick? No. One of those days? No, I did not. Uh, Maybe. This guy. Uh, Maybe. Uh, first of all, I don't remember who he is. And second of all, uh, was, yeah, I mean, somebody did give me a tour of the uh, store, but not, you know, not the actual store upstairs, uh, like your break room and stuff. Uh-huh. You know, because I already knew what the store looked like. You did? Yeah, of course I did. I used to go shopping there. Oh. So I already know <laughs> Did you ever think when you were shopping like. there oh. that you'd actually uh, be working there? Yeah, well. Just wondering. Now that that job, two weeks, eh? You know nah. what are you gonna do? Right. And plus, you had to park. You? you you couldn't park in the parking lot. Oh, you, you had that. to park. Oh, because what's what were you supposed to do? You were you were, you were supposed to park at Gumpert's Field, which is uh, Gumpert's Field, which is a is baseball field, like a park over there. That's where you were supposed Who's to Gumpert? park. Who's Gumpert? Yeah, what kind of? I don't know who Gumpert is. What kind of? Twenty foot walk. You have to walk twenty feet. You're fucking lazy. Well, it ain't that. Why the it's, anger, it's though? A, I don't understand why you're so a, mad yeah, about this was, it. First of all, this was so many years ago. You guys weren't even well, weren't even on the air back then. I don't understand the field. Uh, the what? The field. This well, Gumpers. that's a park where the kids, uh, the park? little league like, kids. What do you mean little league? Like little um, league kids. My son was there too. He was he was little league back then. What's little league? Um, oh, is that like football or no? That's soccer baseball. or something. That's baseball. baseball. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's a baseball field. It's a baseball f field, and nobody was playing baseball because it was early. Right. You so know, what, you, and uh, that's where you had you to park. You park on the field? No, you don't park Why would you park on the field? Park on the field? Park the <laughs> yeah, wouldn't there be tire tracks once the kids do get there? Yeah. What? The tire tracks would still be on the field, no? You said you parked on yeah. Gumpert Field, so I would that's, assume... That's the name of the place. So you parked on the actual field. That's crazy. No, Did that's Gumpert the, give that's you his permission? Gumpert, that's the Gumpert Field. No, I can't even say it. The Gumpert Field uh, Gumpert. parking Gumpert. lot. Gumpert. Gumpert. Oh, in the parking lot. Gotcha yeah. now. Okay. Right. right. Anything else, Jay? <laughs> uh, no, I just wanted to say my friend told me to call up. She, she's literally the, one of the weirdest humans I've ever been around. It's only two weeks. Uh, and she's still uh, uh, over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she thinks of you. She just burped. I just well, I had belching a, a into the ale. belch. Huh? <laughs> I had a sip of ginger ale. That's why. Oh, well, it's no. gassy. It's understandable. That's all right. Yeah. Don't well, be all right, so. Jake. Thanks. Bye, yep. Jake. Well, whoever you are. All right, we uh we have Mike Baker on the line. Real quick. Oh, Mike. Oh, we, hold on, Mike. Can yeah. we uh, mention the uh, uh, makeup artist? Sure, of course. Oh, is she leaving? Yeah, yeah they probably got to make sure she got plug in. Oh, okay. They did uh, a great Deadly job. Darling on Instagram. But, What's your name? Uh, Alyssa Bono, and uh, my Instagram is at Deadly Darling. Deadly Darling is that your makeup company? Yes. Nice. You did a really good job, and actually relatively quickly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah real fast. Very cool. Painting like this all the time. Oh, yeah. oh, oh like Jesus! Yeah. Right. <laughs> what? No, no, you couldn't hear you in the microphone. You asked if she did face oh, painting. Wow. Do you do face painting like this all the time? Uh, all the time? Is that what you do? Well, this is a little bit of a special case for you. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm, today I'm doing I, I, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything to clean it off? With? It's fine. Yeah, it's it's not shotgun. <laughs> 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 I can stay like this all no, day. No, you look good. Just, right. yeah. just go with it. <laughs> all right. And if Let's you go to her Instagram. <laughs> Deadly Darling, you can see girls in bikinis getting turned into zombies. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, we got our pal Mike, Mike Baker on the Mike. phone. 
X C I A. There you go, sir. Does this come off? I don't think you're ever X C I A. True. Good point. <laughs> you, you always got to keep your eyes open, right? Oh man, you constantly keep, keeping those eyes open. Keep the head on a swivel. Uh, Mike. Oh, man. Hello, Mike. Yeah. We. Uh, hey, man. How you doing? Thank good. How are you? Well, we called you a day late. I think. Because it looks like they found the plane. We were going to like get you on with your theories and stuff, but it's yeah. starting to look like this is the plane off Perth, about 1,500 miles out into the ocean. Am I mm. added on to that? I know. I like. To, I like how they say that. They they give that description as if everyone knows where Perth is. Oh, oh okay. Perth, Aust Australia. Perth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or Mick yeah. Jagger's yeah. hold up, which is like southwest. Yep. Yeah, exactly. The southwest it's, tip of Australia. Yeah. yeah that's true. But uh, I, I've been amazed by how everybody's had a theory. Yeah. And uh, you know, and, and some people have with, with there almost no conclusive evidence to point to anything. Right. They've had uh, you know really strong emotions about the particular theory that they've fallen down on. Right. They think, yeah. oh, this is what happened. And you talk to them and you say, well, look, that's a, that's a nice scenario, but that's as probable as any other scenario that's out there right now. Mm -hmm. You just don't know anything. Uh, but it's it, it, for me, it was interesting to tell in, in a situation like that. You know, everybody felt so invested in it because everybody flies. But then right. after it drags on for a few days, you know, the tinfoil hats come out and everybody starts thinking they know what the hell happened to it. It was just a, an amazing um, display of, of people coming up with their own theories uh, and then just changing them as more or less evidence came in. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of speculation. The yes. terrorism angle was kind of a movie plot uh, yeah. uh, thing to go with. Um, I was I was caught up in that one early on. It's like, oh well, you know, planes can't just disappear like that. Uh, but uh, this does kind of open up some security risks. I, I think we saw something here, regardless of what happened to this plane. There is a scenario where a pilot could take a plane, divert it, and uh, use it for, for evil. Well, that's right. you know what they had, um, ever since this thing started, right, from the very beginning, you had really three basic options, three broad options. Mm -hmm. One was the idea of some sort of catastrophic or cascading mechanical failure. Right. The other was terrorism in some form and for some reason. And the third was pilot action. Mm -hmm. now, that never changed during the whole course of this thing. And from an operational investigative standpoint, you know, until you get some information that looks credible and solid and points you into a certain direction and says, okay, you can take these other ideas off the table, mm -hmm. you've got to leave everything out there. And you've got to say, okay, they're all possible. But it was just, it was one of those things where, you know, people couldn't help themselves. And it wasn't just as if they said, well, this is what happened. They took the plane and they landed it, you know, somewhere. Well, then people started saying, well, they landed it in a particular location. You know, well, how, how do you know that? Yeah. And it was, it, was, it was the strangest thing. And, and, and everyone had their theory. And like you said, it, was, it, 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 it does point to some issues. And I, I think one of the things that was, 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 for me, again, also interesting was how, you know, we had this whole, you know, crap with, uh, with Snowden and uh, the leak of all the information. And everybody mm -hmm. assuming that the NSA is, is, uh, is constantly watching us. Right. So you had these people saying, well, how come the NSA doesn't just release data about the old cell phones the passengers were carrying? Yeah. As if that's what they do. <laughs> and, 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 and that story got so twisted and full of crap that, you know, again, it's, 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 it, to me, that, you know, it, it, the story is obviously tragic, you know, regardless of how it ends up, but, uh, mm -hmm. You know, for me, part of it was just the way that it unfolded. I mean, I got to the point where they were calling and asking me to come on and excuse talk me. about, not about the plane, but talk about people's theories and say, well, what do you think about this guy's theory? Right, excuse right. me, yeah. excuse we me. We have please. Dr. Orbani is here. Uh, right. She's our guest for yes. today. Um, where do you think the airplane is right now? <laughs> I know it's in the ocean, but where in the ocean? Good one, Lady Di. Yeah. Done. It's a you very know, good you know question. <laughs> I, it, it's, it's, yeah, I it, think we might have started with that. I, I'm going to say what I always say, which is who knows. I mean, it's, they say it's like, uh, you know, like <laughs> we were talking about 1,500 miles off the coast, the southwest coast. Of right. Australia. But at that point, you know, the satellite images were, were what, three days old now? <laughs> yeah, three and, days old. You know, so you got to factor in the currents of the ocean, the wind yeah. conditions, and where that's pushing everything. And, you know, it's going to take them some time to find it, but are the sharks it, and no it's one's floating around out there. And no one's sure what uh, if this is uh, if these are pieces of the plane. Yeah, no, they they, they don't know. They got two objects. One could be about the length of a, of a wing. Yeah, and they just don't they just don't know. And so once again, we've got to get around, but we can also stand around while they fill up twenty four hours. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna know soon though because they did say that the Nor a Norwegian ship has made it to the um, what's that the debris so. Mm -hmm. so, we're yeah, so there's, 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 so there's some traffic out there, so they'll, 
They've oh, got planes out there already. The yeah. weather conditions are awful. But they'll, they'll Wait, figure they have it. sent Mike, they have sent so many ships and aircraft to that location that I, I'm assuming they, they're pretty sure that this is uh, the wreckage. Mm-hmm. What about Frank? Yeah, they, they don't know, but they've got to they've got to go off of something. Right, right. They've right. got to investigate, you know, every lead, and this is this is not the only thing they've got mm-hmm. right now. But you're right. I mean, it points to some military or some uh, some security issues. Absolutely, you know, I think that's you know. the st- after all is said and done, they find out uh, they find the plane, they find out everything that happened. The thing is, what can be done to uh, make this a little safer for people that are flying? If if a pilot. Um, you know they're not infallible uh, to, uh, uh, to to persuasion uh, from terrorists. Ex- ex- excuse me, Frank. Oh, no, that's right. Ex- excuse me, Frank. It's not Frank. It's Mike. Who's Frank? <laughs> well, let, me get, let me get my buddy Frank on. Well, I can't believe I can't believe she's on for for two minutes with me. Oh, my oh. okay, I admit it. I was. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, right. Um, do you do you think the sharks know about this airplane? Maybe uh, they could interview one of the sharks. Interview? What do you mean interview sharks? Yeah. You can't Same. interview sharks. Well, do you think the sharks know about uh, this airplane? I'm going to say what I always say. It's as good a scenario as any right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, yeah, that's, I, I, I hope everybody is okay. I, I, they're I just not hope okay. They're well, dead. No, I, no pretty, one's I just okay. Hope they're in 10,000 feet of water. I just, I just hope that it's they It's pretty they obvious at this point. No one's okay. They're pretty fucking no, far from yeah, okay. Well. Yeah, there's, there's not a chance they're okay. Do you think this is terrorism? <laughs> well, you know what? Something diverted the plane. And, that, right. and again, pointing to what we're talking about, where there's going to the bigger story. You're absolutely right. The bigger yep. story now, it, it, very shortly, is going to be what all this meant. And, and, and right. uh, but you know what? One of my brothers was uh, he just retired. He was senior uh, pilot at Southwest. Yep. And he used to say because they, they had this argument after 9/11. There was a Excuse yeah. me, Frank. Most of, yeah. What, what, what oh can I help you gosh. with now? Um, in the middle of a- about the about the thing about the sharks that uh, comment. Just forget about that. That's uh, very insensitive of me. Yeah, it was. Okay. Well, no, we've, so, we've, already, we've already logged it. I, uh, I just passed that comment along to my colleague. <laughs> logged it. And, uh, yeah. I'm sorry so, so, that I said that, all right? Right. So I'll be yeah. talking to you later. Um, but the, the, uh, you know, the point being is right after 9-11, you know, yeah. we had this argument about do we arm the pilots? Do we put, you know, but, right. and, and a lot of these pilots are former military. Well, as, as, my, as, as my brother and a bunch of other pilots would say, well, look, you don't have to worry about us having a handgun. We've got the stick of the airplane in, in our hands. Right. We could take this thing down any time. Yeah, and, yeah. So, you know, that's always been an issue, and we've had a couple of other cases where the pilot action has has obviously resulted in tragic circumstances. Mm -hmm. But, you know, then you've got the issues of, well, you know, everybody out there thought that a plane was tracked constantly. Yeah. Now now we find out that it's not. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little uh, frightening, too, you know? I I think... I I think... um yeah, the security risk in this whole thing is going to be the big story after the, all is said and done with uh, finding this asked. plane and whatnot. So, and then uh, we're all going to realize that Russia's already marched into Poland. Uh, yeah, we yeah, at that Russia. point. That's that issue. Yeah, what, what, do you, what do you think of that whole thing? No, I think we, we, so it's amazing. We're like we're raccoons chasing after a shiny object. You know, this thing obviously you know was was fascinating and has been fascinating. It's tragic, uh-huh. uh, but we just we, we can't multitask. So meanwhile. You know, Putin has been engaged in, in, in finalizing the annexation of Crimea. He's done exactly what he wanted to do. Yeah. Um, he's now starting to make noises about, uh, about Estonia, of all places. Uh-huh. Um, and we just don't seem to care at this stage because we're all looking over here. We, just, we can't stay focused on more than one topic at a time, or at least the, the, a lot of the media seems unable to do that. Yeah, this uh, is just another big distraction, uh, while something else a lot more important is going on. Mm, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and not a, not a single major network thought to even interview one shark Wait. during this whole thing. Not one you shark they was interviewed. The sharks get, die, put, put the headphones on. We, this is uh, bad. Lady, die. Why do you, you keep you talking? Put the headphones into which... the mic as as <laughs> as Mike Baker is is, is Wait, is. you can hear her telling us. Yes, you just hear her rambling on in the background. All right, all right. I'll, I'll keep the, oh I'll keep the headphones on. What were you God. saying? Tell me what you were saying. That, that's, what were you saying? Bad. Was it important? That was a very insensitive comment because... We understand. All right. You know what else is insensitive and rude? What? When somebody's trying to talk and you're rambling ah, over them. I'm sorry about that. Okay. <laughs> but why'd you say that, though? That was, that was Cress. She feels very bad about saying that. Well, she should. Well, yeah, that was very uh, tasteless. She didn't get in trouble for that. Yeah, yeah. I don't doubt it. My, Mike. Uh, yeah. You know, I think that it'll, it'll be amazing. If this turns out to be the wreckage, 
Uh, the speed with which we'll move off of this story will be will be stunning. Oh yeah, yeah. No one will give a shit after that. That's for right, sure. Right. What uh, what else yeah. are you working on? You know what? Uh, we're getting ready to film the second season of that uh, Travel Channel show. Uh, oh, first tra- season went very well, so yeah. we're getting ready to, to do that. And uh, what's the name that, of the just, show? Well, it's called America Declassified. Um, okay. Uh, did uh, did very well, and basically we just go around to places and mm-hmm. and uh, you know film interesting stuff, and and I do interesting things and. Boy, I'm really selling the show, aren't I? <laughs> you are. I've seen it. It really what, what is was, great. Uh, hold on. What was the channel again? Uh, uh, travel Channel. I travel think channel. I have that. Do you get the yeah. Travel Channel? Um, uh, you probably travel don't. Travel Channel. Uh, yeah. I don't know. If Isn't that I a don't basic think cable? It's not the one that no. uh, broadcasts oh. No. No, no. Right. It's not, no. Not I think now one. you're just doing that damage one. control yeah. after that comment. Yeah. No. Yeah, I like that show. I, I Like I said, I saw I saw the one... I saw the one you did on the MLK uh, assassination. That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, they wanted us to lighten it up a little bit. Uh, they, they felt like we, we started steering off into dark areas. And I liked so it. We'll, uh, yeah, <laughs> I, so did I. But, you know, you, you, you never know with the taste of, of, uh, of the yeah. network. But, you know, it, it, did, it did very well. So we'll, uh, we'll go out there and, and, and see what we can find. Lots of interesting places to visit yeah. people just normally can't get to. Yep. So that's uh, that's it, and we got to you know continuing to do business on a daily basis with with diligence. Oh, that was a plug. Yeah, and, uh, of course. Yeah, yeah thank you. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, I just I appreciate it. You're right. We're you know we're at the tail end, I suspect, of this of this Malaysian aircraft story. Yeah. Hopefully, I know it sounds odd, but you know everybody wants some closure on it. Yeah, and, they'll just uh, drop it yeah. like a hot potato yeah. once they uh, actually find it and. Mm. Couple what of days. Yeah. No, because then the be NTSB able. report will come out or whatever it is. There's a whole, there's a whole second oh, part yeah, of it. There's like a whole second reports. part. But as far as this 24 hour news cycle on this thing, yeah. um, it, 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 they'll stop. They're yeah. going to start focusing yeah. on her comments about the sharks yeah, and exactly. how tasteless that was. Well, exactly. We got a shark expert on the phone, actually. What? Who's saying that Lady Di's not that crazy with this theory. Uh, Sean in Brooklyn, go ahead. You're on, you're on with I Mike Baker as well. I'm not a shark expert. I'm half retarded. But oh. Oh, if right. you think about it, <laughs> Good enough. if you think about it, they got a lot of sharks tagged in the ocean. They follow the movements of the sharks at any time. El Drunko might be right. If you see a mass movement of tagged sharks in one direction, why not take a look? It's better than what those other assholes are looking at. Boy. <laughs> Follow the sharks. <laughs> I know what a shark Follow looks like. That's, great. <laughs> that's not a bad yeah, idea. You know what? It's, 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 it's amazing to think that the experts didn't come up with this one already. Yeah, that's pretty. Um, that's a pretty good idea, Mike. You got to admit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I suspect NSA is already on it. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. So their own mechanical uh, sharks. Yeah, you know, but yeah, yeah. And, and, and Jim's right. They'll, I have a good be, question. You know, there'll be a follow-on <laughs> effort here. They'll be looking at the security issues. They'll be looking at a variety of other things hey, related this to this. But uh, I just think it's it, it is amazing that you could have a, a network. Not Ex- to mention excuse me, Frank. Sort of twenty-four hour coverage. Yes, can I help you? Yes, uh, I just wanted to find out: Are they sending scuba divers down? Oh. Uh, where they think that the airplane might be, yeah, as, as want, opposed to hot air balloons. You want, yeah, you know, to, to yeah. see if uh, you want the plane you want is a, there. You want a scuba diver going down ten thousand feet. That's what you want, Frank. That is yeah. a good idea, though. You got to admit. Yeah. Yeah. I think they're, they're putting them right over the edge of the vessel now. Uh, yeah. It's a very, very deep part of the ocean. It's, and, it's a deep uh, part of the ocean. So, yeah, uh, well, yeah. I don't think scuba. The Titanic is in a deep part of the ocean too, and they. You know. I can't believe you're making fun of this. I'm not making fun of it. Oh my god! Did you god, ever see scuba senseless. divers around the Titanic either? Um, <laughs> oh, uh, no, no, no. Step careful. No, exactly. when, when I see that movie, all they do is send down um, uh, some kind of machine or something like that. Right. They don't oh, send, you okay. know, way to joke about a tragedy. Really? What? <laughs> a lot of people died on that ship. What's that? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Okay, was it we, over uh, three thousand or something? Oh boy. What I'm I'm flustered I, right now. Yeah, I don't know where I don't know where to go with this either. Uh, hey, uh, excuse but, me, Frank. Uh, again. Oh. Yeah. How much money do you make? <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> what a rude question. <laughs> that was bad as some of the other things we've been going through. Well, that's now. true. Trying to build well, Frank, this has been a wonderful phone call. Yeah, I, I, don't I, wanna, I gotta say, I don't want to subject <laughs> Mike to any more of this horse <laughs> shit. <laughs> I got But this I, is just I, like I, being on Fox, right? Yeah, what yeah, is your yeah. last name, Frank? <laughs> I'll, oh. say, I'll say this much. It's a lot easier being in studio with you guys than being on the phone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be part of the whole friggin' debacle. Excuse me, uh, Frank. Uh, oh, His God. name is Mike. Uh, it just never ends. I'm gonna, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, Frank I'm gonna, or Mike or whoever you are. His name yeah. is Mike. What's, what is your last name? Mike uh, Baker. 
It's Mike Baker. Baker. Yeah. Mike Baker. Thank you for uh, checking in, Mike. Uh, yeah. All right. We'll have talk a good to day. You. We'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Thank Mike. you. All right. uh, goes, one more. Mike. There goes Mike yeah. Baker. Did you yeah. say the last thing? What? Mike Baker. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. No, yeah, she was asking some pointy uh, questions. God. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Sharks. <laughs> What a friggin' disaster. Can I say hi to uh, Wendy for a minute here? Wendy, what's up? Hi. Hi. I'm, hi. I think we might owe you an apology, <laughs> but we'll see. Go ahead, Wendy. I'm just wondering why Lady Di can't shut the fuck up ever. Yeah. Yeah. We do, too. Lady Di? Comment? Annoying. Annoying. I'm sorry to annoy you. I'm trying to listen to Anthony and Opie talk to somebody. But... I'm just Sit there and talk and make it about yourself. Mm. But, but Wendy, I'm make it about myself. Ooh, How do you figure that? Shit. I'm not doing that. Ooh. But Wendy, this is all right. she has. Uh, yeah, but it's this is all she has. Oh man, she's got to go back to what, whatever she does after this week. <laughs> Drinks, right? She needs to learn to shut up for five seconds. Ooh. But this is all she's got. Oh man, learn to shut up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. People listen to you guys for you guys, not for her. Yeah. True. All right, Wendy. Thank, thank you, you. Wendy. Lady Di looks like when Jackie Gleason played that clown. <laughs> yes. Was it Gijot or Gijot yeah, yeah, yeah. or whatever his name was? Gijot. He played a clown one time? Yes. That's he why did. he brought oh. it up. And my first girlfriend, Michelle, made me watch that because she loved it. And me and my Jamaican friend just laughed at it because we were stoned. Really? She it was like a really poignant movie. We just, she, she wasn't happy with your she laughter. She was none too pleased with our laughter. Mm. That happened with me with a girlfriend when we watched Bill. The one with Mickey Rooney as the retarded oh, guy. Yeah. Hilarious. And she's like, you got to see this. And she was crying at some point. And I just started laughing. And she was literally punching me. She was so angry that I couldn't, like, get the, into the the. the you you didn't get sad when he it. sang the Sister Sarah song? Oh, uh, Sarah, where have you gone, Billy boy, <laughs> Billy boy? <laughs> oh, uh, and song sucked. Stupid Dennis Quaid's playing the harmonica with him. And they end up friends. Sure they do. Yeah. It's exploitive. I hated fucking that song. And then he kicked me in the guts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Great movie. It's it's terrific. <laughs> yeah, a lot of laughs in Bill. Oh yeah. What what's the matter, uh, Lady Die? Is that Don Imus? <laughs> yes, it's Don Imus. <laughs> yes. Why? No, I was She's just looking at Sam. <laughs> how how are you, how are your glasses today? They uh, back no, to be they they still have to they you know they're, they're smeary. Sure. Yeah, 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 they're smeary because. Um, yes. Usually, usually I tear up a little bit when I get up in the morning. So. Why? I don't know. No. So I was always like that. More leakage. Uh -huh. That's a race. She's rubbed all the makeup off of her nose because she wipes her boogies all the time with her uh, hands. She's got a little allergy. She's constantly all. wiping her boogies. You got a little boogies today? <laughs> it's okay. And what are you looking at still? Uh, now I'm looking at uh, NASCAR racing, whatever that is. Oh, racing, racing. You know. Sure. Why? Why would you study it like that? I'm just looking at it. I, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Should, should we take a break? Gonna, yeah, I have to tinkle. Are you going to capitalize on this whole thing that what? we're doing and, and use it as a, a little springboard? A to, launching pad. Right. To get a job. and, and do, now do, you you're want me, do you want me to go get a job you're with makeup like this? Well, Absolutely. Yeah. You're, uh -huh. you're, you're waking up early. You're coming in. You're, right. you're being you know productive. Don't you want to continue doing that and not yes. go back home to just sitting on the couch and... Well, there's Drinking. no reason we can't make this a two-week job. Whoa, well, slow down. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's a one-week job. There's no reason it can't be two weeks of uh, productivity. Yeah. Well, That's up to you guys. Did yeah. you hear that groan? That's up to you guys. Yeah, the collective That'd groan nice. of the audience. Right. Yeah, I mean, if we want to do something, maybe we could really help Lady yeah. Die out and give her a second week here oh. at Sirius XM. Oh, no. All right, we're doing a good think job. Think about it. Well, well just yeah. think about it. Think already, about it. Yeah. We've already interviewed that, that a, is already another up to you guys for the job. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, the makeup artist. What's their plug again, there, Sam? Oh, it's uh, Deadly Deadly Darling. Deadly Darling oh. on Instagram. Yeah. On Instagram, you can check out the work. Good no, stuff. Yeah, good good really stuff. good. Hey. Very fast. Yeah. Yes, very fast. And we tagged her Instagram and Twitter accounts, both on ONA Show on Twitter. Very nice. good. Just click from there. Nice. Very, very lovely, cool. lovely girls. Yeah. All right, we're going to get into some other things after the break. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trying to think what it was. Yeah. There was something. You guys get paid good? Ah, we'll figure it out. Oh, enough about the money. <laughs> hey, it's Lady Die. 
Unless you're wearing a diaper like me, you probably have to go take a shit. O and A will be right back. Don't go anywhere. I won't be. Back to the Opie and Anthony show. I hope Ant becomes the second guy to anally penetrate me. See, they're hinting. Search officials call discovery of possible debris best lead so far. Yeah, or considering all the other leads were no leads. Right. We're fucking Courtney Love. That was the next uh, more credible lead, Courtney. I hear uh, this new satellite thing. Yoko found this. Yeah. It's amazing. Did you see the one, uh, the picture of Bigfoot? And no. it was the same type of you guys. Oh, really? Hands, legs, <laughs> sign CL. That's funny. That went around yesterday on the old Twitter. Courtney CL. Love. Courtney Love. Courtney Love. Oh, fine. With her baby handwriting. Why are we making fun of her? She was great on this she show. She sexy, dude. She turned me on a lot. She was amazing on this show. I hope she comes oh, yeah. back soon. Uh, we got, uh, who's coming in next? Rick. Yeah, Rick from Pawn Stars. Yes. Rick Harrison. Rick Harrison. He's a little late, but he'll oh. be here in a few minutes. Cool. From, uh, Pawn Stars, of course. He's the, you know, he's the guy, pretty much the head guy. Right. I it's just heard Chip got a pet. What? Really? Yeah. What? <laughs> uh, does I it... got a pet wolf. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> No, you don't. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> yeah. I got a wolf. A wolf? Where'd no. you get it? Fucking found him. <laughs> you didn't. Chip loves to lie. <laughs> no, I ain't lying. To try to sound cool. <laughs> His name's Wolfie. Wolfie? Yeah. My pet wolf. Full grown. <laughs> He's an attack wolf. Oh, yeah? Fuck yeah. Protects you? Yup. Yeah, of course he does. <laughs> this is all bullshit. It's not. Chip imagines things like this. Yeah, it'd be cool if I had a wolf. <laughs> you don't think Chip has a wolf no. and a wolfy? No. I used to know kids like when I was growing up, and the, they were the lying kids that always had to be cooler than everyone else. And they'd have like a German shepherd and try to tell you oh, like, geez. he's half wolf. Right. <laughs> Shut up, he is not. It's a fucking German shepherd, dummy. <laughs> you know how dogs came about, don't you? How's that? I don't know. I was just asking. No. Oh. I don't know. I think They've that, been domesticated for quite some time. Right. They come from wolves, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Neil Tyson was talking about it on Cosmos. Oh, was he? When he wasn't dramatically walking away. Walking off frame? Or walking out of the shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we pretty, pretty much created uh, doggies. Yeah. Well, uh, was there a purpose, or was it just uh, to I think it started with pals. unnatural selection, and then we turned into natural selection. I but believe. to have pals? Just to have, like, a dog pal, or were they useful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Generation after generation. They, they kept mm. the good ones, got rid of the bad ones. You keep doing that, and guess what? Most dogs become good. Then you get good doggies. Yeah, you get the good doggies Aww. to help you out when you're one of those gatherers. And then every so often, 
There's some little fucking primitive thing in one of their heads, yep. and they decide to tear your fucking throat out. They're not good anymore. <laughs> it's amazing how that instinct like, is, is still there for a, a, as a wild animal. Got to tell you, that Cosmo show, you watching? No, I haven't seen. Not, I mean, I make fun of the fact that he walks into matter. Right? He walks out of, out of frame, but yeah, yeah. man, that's well, well done. The production value on it's amazing, too. Yeah. Hell I'll yeah. catch it. I'll check it out. I'm so... Uh, I'm a, I'm only a one show at a time guy. I can't watch other shows. <laughs> I can't watch other shows. <laughs> I, I watch one show at a time. <laughs> Some girls just like to wiggle. This place is hilarious. Some girls just like to wiggle past our window. Yeah. It's so obvious. They put a little wiggle on their step. <laughs> oh, wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> Old still. This shit's, hil shit's hilarious. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, where were we? Oh. Uh, before we were so rudely interrupted. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we're, well, we got the Pawn Stars. Mm. Pawn Star guy. Now, I guess uh, Lady Di has brought in some stuff. Yes. That Rick is going to look at and assess. Yes. And make an offer on. Well, he can make an offer if he wants. That's for I sure. Know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, I've watched the show many times. I think I've seen every episode. For real? Yeah, for reals. Wow. And um, I can't imagine Lady Di having anything that he would want to uh, purchase or he would think he could purchase and make money off of. Because that's what he's all about, making well, money. Well, she's going to surprise you today. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she's going to surprise you. Somehow. She's got a few things. I don't think uh that she's willing to part with for the right money yeah yeah is it uh, memorabilia he likes memorabilia ah uh, yes any type of historical stuff war related stuff a little memorabilia he really yes does, uh, enjoy that yeah mm. yep. <sighs> somehow i don't think she's gonna have anything mm. uh what are they doing with the rob ford video can we see this video yet oh, are they yeah. just talking about it? oh them smoking oh. What's he doing? Which Smoking one? some crack? The new one that came out, or where they're talking about it. Cop says video shows Rob Ford inhaling from a glass pipe. Oh, oh I shit. haven't seen that video yet. Glass pipe? Wait, there's another new video? Sucking the I glass dick. Talking, I thought you were talking about the video I was talking about earlier this week. Uh, which one was that now? The Ford Brothers YouTube show where they're uh, bashing, uh, what's his name, from House of Cards because he wouldn't take a photo with them. Oh. Who wouldn't? Uh... What's it? Kevin Spacey? Spacey. Kevin Spacey wouldn't take a photo with who? I guess I guess the, the Ford, Ford brothers? brothers were told not to ask Kevin Spacey for a photo at Kimmel, yeah. and so they made a YouTube show. Why would Why would who told them not to? Kevin Spacey. They told them not to. Yeah, probably producers. I don't know. Yeah, producers probably said no. Stay away from fucking Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is Kevin Spacey a dick when it comes yeah. to that stuff? And then he tweeted Does he have back a reputation? He had, he had to, tweeted back, all you had to do was ask. Oh, yeah, that really? was probably some jerk-off publicist. Right. Or some dickhead. They shouldn't have listened. Right. Yes, exactly. Some dickhead publicist. Mm -hmm. That house of cards is fucking good. Yeah, it is. I think it's over, though. No, they're doing another season. Of what? Him the, as the president? Oops. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> Travis throws his hands up in the air. Why? Why? <laughs> Why? What happened? I can't just not watch anything anymore. <laughs> watch what? Uh, How's the cards? Did he give Kevin it away? Kevin Spacey. Just skip oh, right to have. season three, right? Oh, yes. you gave something away? Okay, just watch season three. Oops. <laughs> I'll just start okay. from there. What? What did you say? I didn't, I didn't say anything. Uh, I listen, didn't listen to the replay. Yeah, I don't... Uh, <laughs> wait, are you, are, you, are you mad that he blew that for you? I'm, I'm, I'm a little upset, Jeff. Oh, well then. Oh, who couldn't see? Like this Seinfeld brackets thing yeah. where they show. have like, uh, they have Jerry, George, Elaine, and Kramer taken up like quarters. Right. And uh, have uh, episodes that feature each of them pitted against each other's other episodes. Oh, wow. Okay. And it goes down and down until you get the best uh, Who's doing that? Seinfeld episode. I don't know. I saw it online. Um, some Fox affiliate. Is it a Fox affiliate? Yeah. That's pretty smart. Yeah, it was pretty big. You know, way, way to basketball. capitalize on the March Madness. Brackets. 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 And then what is it? That millionaire d dude? The billionaire dude? Who, Warren Buffett? Warren, Warren Buffett. <laughs> oh, if you, if, do a, if you have a perfect sheet? A perfect sheet? He'll give you, what, $1 billion? Billion dollars. 
a billion dollars, but it's impossible. It's pretty much impossible. Never been done. No. No, I guess it's like quintillion or something. It's in the one in some odd quintillion uh, odds of actually being able to do that. So he's an asshole. Right. Buffett's just an asshole. We could have done that same bit. Yeah. We're giving away a billion dollars (laughs) for the perfect bracket. I got him once. Did your wolf help pick him out? No, I guessed him, right? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Just guessed him. Yeah, it's a deduction. Good, good, good job. Mm. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, Obama has to pick out his uh, his brackets because nothing else is going on. It's fucking. We got to follow his brackets. Uh, as Putin's goose stepping his way across uh, Eastern they're, Europe. You got to let him. They're saying. Yeah, I don't care. They're saying that's like. Canada fighting with the United States. Yeah, that's how ridiculous uh, the situation is over there. It's crazy with Crimea. It's Crimea. Crimea. Yeah. Crimea. They uh, they just annexed it. Russia's like, yeah, they want it. They want to be part of Russia, don't you? And uh, you know, we'll send in a few soldiers and everything. Mm. <laughs> See, you do right. <laughs> and they pretty much um, voted and decided, yeah, we want to be Russian. Uh. But, you know, the Ukraine's sitting there going, hey, this is part of our shit. Right. You know, that's like Mexico taking Texas. Right. Mexico takes Texas and says, no, it's ours now. Right. That's what that's yeah. what they're saying. And uh, we'd be pissed off at that. Sure. And then you got to wonder if they're going for New Mexico next. Oh, boy. Yeah. It could turn out to be a problem. It could be a problem. But uh, we, now Jimmy doesn't want us to get involved or no, concerned. No, it's not our business. But I, And I agree 100%. There's nothing we really can nope. do either. Mm-hmm. I would love for Putin to bring back the Soviet Union. Just Absolutely. bring it right back to the way it was. We have our one uh, big enemy back again, and all this little peripheral shit could just—they could just shut up. And the rest of the world who hates right. us now can suck our dicks, gentlemen. Look at this, sirs. Fucking feds. Important uh, people in studio <laughs> right now. Oh. They just came here to see Lady Die. <laughs> yeah, that's her comments. <laughs> it was very funny, actually. Well, what happened? Well. Oh. Last night I get a text that's pretty much just like, oh, I'm going to stop in tomorrow. I want to see that fucking retard. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. she's, a, she's a big star. Oh, a big star. I'm looking for my wolf well, permit. Oh, shut up. They're not looking for your wolf permit. <laughs> Rich, Chip. Rich, uh, Rick Harrison is a little late, so why don't we get Lady Di to show the items that she's got up? Ooh. That'd be good. I would like to see what... Uh, Can we get Lady Di in here really fast? What she thinks is going to uh, get some cash. I've seen people walk away with uh, tens of thousands of dollars. Right. When uh, when they come into the, the Pawn Stars place. And it's amazing. You know, it's just some crap. It's like, oh, I bought it at a garage sale for 10 bucks. Oh, it's worth, you know, five grand. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. And uh, with, what, do we have any experts? Because I know sometimes Rick has experts come in. And oh, looks it over because sometimes I, he's like, I don't know what to offer you. Uh, we, I, 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 I think, know a guy. I think we could be the experts. We on this can one. be the experts. Yes, I know a guy. Uh, he'll come down and check it out. All right, here. Oh, look at her. She looks scary when she, she's walking down the hall. She really looks with that makeup from Saw. We figured her face kind of looked like the Saw dummy thing, so so we just decided to make her up like the Saw. Uh, dummy. dummy thing, <laughs> and she she really does look like. <laughs> oh hey, it just goes. Oh hey. <laughs> yeah. All right, lady, die. To hear about your comments. Come on, with the take shark. a uh, take what? a seat. There, we got lady Rick Harrison die. coming in from Pawn Stars. You watch Pawn Stars, uh, Lady Die? Yeah, that I watch. Oh, you do. You it's do on, watch. It's on, that's on basic that. cable. Right, but they have like. Were you talking to the microphone? That. You've been here all week. They have all antiques on that show. I mean, old old things. Clothes oh, are a big well, seller yeah. too. They have like a lot of weird things with like. Right. Weird, hard to get clothes oh, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. That was the weirdest thing. I was I threw out all my old concert shirts. I'm like, why? Th- those are worth thousands mm, of dollars. Some, really? some of these weird you shirts. Know, if I had my concert shirts, or any kind of shirts, I had I had, yeah. a, I, had I had I had a lot of Billy Joel shirts. Those are, those oh, are very those valuable. Are huge. Yeah. Those are extremely and, valuable. Um, what else did I have? Oh, those uh, are big. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Especially in XL. Seller. Yeah. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, I had Elton John's uh, shirts. Oh, uh, not yes. Back no, could you imagine time Rick from Pawn Stars going like, the Billy Joel shirt, look, yeah. I'll give you 15000 for this. I know you probably even, want twenty five. I even have an old, I, I had an old monkey shirt. Oh, yeah? A real old one from uh, when they first came out. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> 
Could you show everybody what you brought in today? <laughs> yeah, what's have yeah. Yeah, Rick let's Harrison. Say. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you do that, because uh, hold on, put it back. Look at this Pepto oh, in the bag. <laughs> yeah. And you've, you've seen every me. show. So oh, yeah. what are some right. of the items uh, has Rick Harrison got excited about? Oh, it's amazing! Like uh, old, uh, old, uh, old posters, artwork. He likes that. Yeah. Um, things from like uh, original things from Woodstock, kind of Ooh, a thing. Okay. Uh, military memorabilia. He loves things like that. Okay. Uh, but I did see somebody came in with original denim blue jeans. Right. From like the seventies, even, and that was worth a lot. That of was money. worth money too. Yeah. So clothing can be worth uh, All right. money. Also, uh, I've seen weird shirts. The highest bid I actually saw on that show was was some weird. Offbeat T-shirt. Oh. That, it didn't seem like it'd be worth much. It was like really? the oddest stuff. Yeah, because people don't collect them. <laughs> wow. So the ones that make it through, fall through the cracks, are worth a lot of money because they're mm -hmm. rare. And Lady Di, you brought some things in, and you could use the money, so this could be good. Yeah. All right. Which one uh, is coming in today? The guys. The, the, the main guy. Rick Harrison. Well, which one is the main guy? Rick is the guy right next to the guy with the hat. You know, the one that's the front and center. Right. The bald okay. guy. See, there's no, the old man, which you know. is the the grandfather and right, Rick's yeah. father. Uh huh. And there's Rick. And then there's his son, and then there's, uh, you know, Big Hoss, and then there's Chumley. Okay. Well, Who, by the way, you look a little like Chumley. Yeah. Thank you. Just saying. Did we lose oh, Chumley? I say. <laughs> no, that was a hoax. Yeah, all right. Oh, okay. Um, I thought so. I used yeah. to have all kinds of old right, things. Well, show us what you brought in today. Yes. For what? Let's see what you brought. <laughs> Someone said Lady Di looks like John Dale Wayne Earn Casey. Mark Jr. hat. <laughs> Hold uh, on, Di. <laughs> <laughs> Number well, eight, oh. which, he doesn't, which he doesn't drive anymore. Right. Oh, wow. He doesn't drive the, the number eight car. No. The junior one is really, because the, the, the Dale Earnhardt Sr. is very popular. The, the juniors, oh, yeah. they made, I want to say, like 50 of them. Yep. And there was a problem. And so there's, pro oh. there's very, very few of those because they weren't popular. So Probably that's a rare a big item. Big item right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, NASCAR. Big in the back. NASCAR racing. That's, ab that's huh. absolutely an original. Let's How much do you think you could get for that? I. Well, give us a number. What do you think? Uh, all right, okay. What do you want to uh, do? Pawn uh, okay, it or sell it? Okay, all right, all right, all right. Uh, $200. $200 oh. for, the, uh, for the hat. Okay. You'll get more than that. All right. All right, 200 huh? bucks. More. You'll get more than that. 200 well, bucks say for the junior hat. No, don't say 200. No, don't no, say 200. Let him want, say it. If right. you want 200. No, he'll ask you how right. much do you want for it. Right. But you, if you want 200, you don't say 200. You say, say 500. 500? Because then, then he's going to he's he's gonna gonna go you down and say, now, nah, all right, 200. And then you go, no. Three hundred. So you might get two fifty. All right, all right. I'll try that. But I, I, I don't. Thought. You jew him down. I don't know. Right. No. <laughs> jew him down. Yeah. Well, hold on. We got another person right. from Elizabeth, New Jersey, checking in with a lady die sighting. Uh oh. Uh, Dave, go ahead. Hey guys. <laughs> Hi, yes. Dave. Welcome hey, Dave. aboard. It was Tuesday. I went to Bayway Liquors where I saw this monster online without underwear. She smelled like shit. Oh. She was chasing everybody out of the store. That's not true. That's not true, sir. Did you go there with your diapers on? No, uh -huh. I did not. No, I was trying to think. No, I did not. I didn't go there Tuesday. Uh -huh. Lady Di, you didn't park in the parking lot across the street from the school and have them carry your beer for you? No. Monster. Well, why the anger? I don't understand. No. I, I, She's in bad shape. Why the You anger? did say somebody carried your beer out. Yeah, well, that was the person that works there. But that's yeah, what this guy said. Yeah, mm -hmm. your brewskis. I was standing right behind her. It smelled like cabbage and shit. Jesus. Wow. First of all, I didn't have any corned beef and cabbage. And second of all, <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. The vice president of MrPoint.com. <laughs> I have vice no president. idea. And I wasn't there on Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. All what right. Thank you, Dave. I don't know. All right. What's your next item for, for Pawn Stars? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, hold yeah. on a second. Hold on. Uh -huh. I was there Tuesday. <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, no, I was, I was there Monday. I was there Monday. No, you were there Tuesday. You said you spent your money. Yes, we that's true. You for your panties. Oh, uh, that's right. That's that right. Okay. Ah. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. So after all that, you were there Tuesday. And you ate cabbage. No, I did not. Okay. Really? I, I Remember I wasn't hungry? No, I remember that was chicken uh, yeah. fingers at TGI Fridays. Yeah, that, and I don't park in the school parking lot. I park in the Bayway Liquors parking lot. Oh, so I don't know easy. where this guy is That's easy. hilarious. Easy, oh, cheese. All right, what's your next item? Next item. Up for bid. Oh, what she got? Oh, we said to bring in the. Is that a Ron stuff. Jeremy shirt? Yes, it is. Wow! Wow! All right, that's a vintage Ron Jeremy shirt for adults only on the back. Spice that rum. show everybody else mm. is a mint condition original Gem mint, mint ten spiced rum shirt. I knew what that was the minute I saw the top. 
Oh, yeah, because you did. when you go on eBay, I've yeah. seen that selling for six thousand dollars. Jesus, because it's a lot of money. Because it was, it was one of those things that because he's a porno uh, in pornography, yeah, nobody wanted to carry the shirt, right. so they made them and they burned them. Wow, how did you get it? Pornography. Then? Hey, how did you get that? There was a, it was a moral. It was a promotion from the liquor store. Yeah, if that was just a shirt, but the <sighs> fact is. Uh, uh, and it says Ron to Jeremy. It's like it's a whole special yeah, yeah, promotion yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. Wow. Yeah. I showed that on eBay for six thousand dollars, and it wasn't even in this wow. kind of condition. So you could get at That's least mint, at least a couple thousand today. Yeah. At least I would ask for five, probably five. No, you asked for more. I've seen it on eBay for well, six. Mm. Yeah, but he's got to make money also. Yep. Yeah. Mm. You know. Let me see back. What All do you right, think, I'll, Lady Die? Be very careful okay. with that, Lady Die. That's good news. What do you think? Yeah, for adults only. That's the problem. Oh. Nobody wants to be. This was a bootleg shirt that was done um, by these by these rum people. And they <laughs> used Ron ah. Jeremy's image, and uh, the, the 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 promotion people did it, but yeah. the rum did not want to be associated oh. because he's a pornographer. There's a weird stigma with porn. Yeah, so just fold it up nicely. All right. Okay. Um, but so that's careful. why it's such actually, a rare item. Actually, I'd ask for five. Um, six grand. Actually, Ron Jeremy gave it to me. Wow. Oh, okay, that's probably why he had yeah, one. Uh, one of the people that uh, um, uh, is associated with him, you know, was uh, follow me down the uh, down the aisle, and uh, he just gave it to me. He says, "Here, here's a shirt for you." Wow, that's cool. I'd ask for okay. five grand. Yeah, careful folding that thing. Yeah, it's crazy. Don't don't mess that it up. That way, now. he can put it in his uh, shop. In good condition. Are you willing for like to give 7, that? 000. You're willing to give that up today? Sure, I don't wear it. All right. What else you got in the bag? That's it. <laughs> no, I mean, that's it, as far as... Uh, that's it? Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy, where'd Jimmy go? You don't want to <laughs> sell your my, my bagel, My bagel with cream cheese and... Uh, okay. And uh, my pepto You brought a t-shirt and case. a hat. <laughs> All right, a NASCAR All right. hat. All right. so it's so rare, though, because you, you have the Dale Earnhardt Jr., and the uh, the the Ron Jeremy with the with the spiced rum. So ask for yeah. five hundred for the hat, and yeah. then five five grand. For You're not going to get five hundred for the hat. You might get three hundred. Yeah. And for the, the I say I think you can get more than five G's for the shirt. Wow. Anthony's saying ask for five you G's. You want a quick sell on that? I you think. can ask for more. You can ask for sixty five hundred, and then go down right. to five. It's stupid. Right. That's true. All right, I'll six, I'll and, ask for sixty five hundred. What do I got to lose? And, yeah, yeah. and these are yeah. the most valuable things you had at your house. Yeah, you know, wow. I, I also have a I, I have a Michael Nesmith poster. What? You know what? Why did that, you bring that in? I decided wow. not to let it go. Uh, a signed poster from wow. Michael Nesmith. Oh, that's huge. That's a yeah, lot of cake right there. Yeah, I paid for that. I think I paid 40 bucks for that. That's a lot of cake right and, there. And uh, I just decided not to oh, bring it boy. in because, you know. They're amazingly rare yeah. signed because he doesn't sign. You're lost. Michael Nesmith yeah. doesn't He's, sign. Nope. Well, uh, well, he, he He's signed. No, I know, yeah. but that's why that's He's rare. He's notorious right. for not signing. He won't not sign. And I even, wait, hold on. I even asked the person that was uh, selling the posters. Mm. I said, are you sure this was signed by Michael Nesmith? Did you see him sign the, these posters? And he goes, yes, they are. Oh, yeah, because well, he would never say no yeah. and no, then try no, to sell it. That would be no, well, well, a certificate of authenticity right there. Yeah, he sold that's it all at, you at, need. At the concert. He sold it at the concert. I'm sure he did. I'm sure his you word know, the, is the, good. The, the, the same place I got the shirt, Opie. Oh, so, so you, you, you bought yes. that signed poster at the concert from a guy, but he promised. Yeah, he promised, okay. he promised right. me oh, that it's... I thought you saw Michael Nesmith sign it. No, I did not see him sign oh. it. I asked the guy that was selling the, uh, right, the, right, the right. posters there. Gotcha. Yeah, and the and, guy would uh, never lie. And, no, and, no, and no, just no. one more thing. Mm. This person is is uh, Michael Nesmith. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, he, he works for Michael Nesmith. Oh, he does. Uh, so in other words, they go around you know, concerts and everything like uh -huh. that, and, and they sell these things. So it had to be a Michael <laughs> Nesmith poster. Yeah, it had to be. So, sure. Uh, you know, signed by him. Who told you he worked for Michael Nesmith? I just know that because you know the, he was in the in the theater with the uh, the other people that were selling the um, right. What do you call it? The the t-shirts and stuff. Uh -huh. So they're associated with Michael Nesmith. Uh -huh. Oh, all right. Well, we got Rick coming up in a, a couple minutes here. <coughs> yeah. He's downstairs. Rick oh, Harrison. Yes. He just got here. Yeah, it's a little yes, late. Yeah. Should we do a quick break? Yeah, yeah because, we'll do a quick uh, break I want to see Diane make some money. Right. It's good for you, Di. We'll do a quick break. Quick and, uh, break. Hide that stuff. Don't Rick Harrison that from in. Pawn Stars next. Hey, it's Lady Di. Anthony, if you're listening to this, you're the sexiest man in radio. I'd love to wrap my lips around that big Italian hog of yours. I, I would love for you to fumble the, these flapjacks and get a taste of dye juice. The Opie and Anthony Show will be right back. Hey, it's Lady Di. 
Now back to the Opie and Anthony show. I gave him my ass in the car. When that happens, oh my headphones! You lose the pad off of the headphone. Oh man, now what? Wrap a diaper around it. Yeah, that's what we have to do. Where's uh, Rick? I don't know. What the? We've been kind of like just stalling. Here. Yeah. Came in with a stalling to find uh, Rick. Um, Rick Harrison from uh, Bon Stars. Let's see. I think I do. You got it. How All right, it we're back. Else? Huh? Takes everyone else like fucking an hour to get that <laughs> well, pad on there. Oh, well, we've been at it a while. Yeah. Hey, uh, you Will you a- shut up? Oh God, she's just. <laughs> I'm at that point. She's rambling on without a microphone. Right. I'm, I'm at that point. Are you guys going to come out with another CD? Yeah, it's 20 years in the making. <laughs> yeah. 20 years in the making. We're like Boston. You're right. <laughs> Takes forever to come out with the second album. <laughs> oh. Just wondering, that's all. I'll it. buy it. Oh, you wonder. Oh, you will. Thank sure you. Sure I will. It's nice to know. Maybe we'll put that up on the podcast, our yeah. CD. Maybe we'll do that. Yeah. Hey, I didn't know you guys were on the air. That's why I was... That's why I pulled the microphone away. <sighs> yeah, we're just talking into microphones. <laughs> I think I hit my limit with this. <laughs> I hit my limit with this thing. You did? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You got one more day. It hit like an hour ago. <laughs> and it was done, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah, I started feeling like, ah. Shit. <laughs> totally. I'm surprised. I thought it would happen, would have happened yesterday. It happened. I was thinking I think it officially too. happened today. If she wasn't in such bad shape. Right. Uh, it well, probably would have. I feel yeah, better. Well. I feel better about her being in really bad shape, though, because she doesn't feel like listening to anyone. So now right, I'm that's good. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know I'm heavy and everything, but, you know. What? Heavy. Yeah. Well. You're dying from alcoholism, but you don't want to uh, listen. But I feel okay with that oh now. Oh boy, oh boy. I went from I don't care to caring a lot to oh okay. She yeah. she doesn't want to hear it. I think that's what happens with you, people, right? You're heavy? No, I'm I'm skinny, okay. Because you are a disgusting <laughs> fat body, private pile. <laughs> Didn't he say he was heavy? <laughs> I'm, I'm heavy, sir. <laughs> See here, we're uh, just stalling here. Come Roland. on, bring him in. He's a half hour late. I know he's a big bring star. Bring him in. There yeah, we go. The guy. That's the of guy. Of course, oh, that's the is? guy. Thank I'm you. I'm glad you're verifying. Right. You're verifying the glad guy. You verified Rick. There he is. How Rick you doing, Harrison, How you doing, man? big Pleasure. star in Pleasure. studio. What's up, sir? There he is. How's it going? Pleasure, buddy. Pleasure. Take a seat right over there. We're actually on the air. Yeah. Okay. We do it that way. I watch yes. porn stars a lot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> yeah, perfect <laughs> reaction. Just looks over at Lady <laughs> Die and uh, perfect reaction, sir. Uh, she's been our paid intern for the past week, and uh, and she's dying been, from alcoholism. It's been a joy. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a treat, a joy, and a That's pleasure. That's all I need to know. I just don't know what to say. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. So Rick Harrison, of course, from uh, Pawn Stars. Uh, we uh, w- w- when when's the new uh, the new season starting? Now? Well, my seasons don't end anymore. They don't. It's just uh, one continuous. Uh, literally, I am on fifty two weeks this year. Wow, fifty two weeks. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I uh, I love the show. Been, I've been, tell, tell probably seen every, every episode uh, since the beginning. I haven't seen one of them, Please and uh, you me. haven't watched any of them, huh? <laughs> oh, no, it just completely <laughs> weirds me out to watch myself. Does television. it really weird you out? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you did. Uh, God, we talked with. Um, you did an episode of Insomniacs. Oh yeah, years way back. Ago. It was like two thousand three, two thousand four. Yeah, was that your first foray into like television? As far as uh, no, for for lack of a better term, I have always been a media whore. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, so well, uh, you're doing it right. <laughs> um, no, I, I I got PBS to do a documentary on me. I was I oh, was always did. getting okay. on some kind of news. Yeah. It's because I put world famous on the side of the building years ago. Just out of nowhere. Well, yeah, people used to say, why is, why is it world famous? I said, it's because it says so on the side of the building. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's great. That's great uh... Excuse me, Rick? Oh, yes. I'm yes. not dying of alcoholism. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm just scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'd, uh, I'd be. She's wearing the saw yeah. puppet makeup. Yeah. That's Jim yeah. Norton. Yeah. Oh, I, I know. Hi. Yeah, yeah. Hi. 
Give me Norton. What? Where were they? Oh, oh by the way, in by Vegas, the way, Rick... uh, when David Tell was doing a. Uh, <laughs> oh, right, right, right. Yeah, she's doing the guest David. alone. She's tapping him. Oh nice my God. Oh my nice God. Nice meeting you too. How about you leave the studio for a few minutes? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, we did the uh, with the David Copperfield Theater. Oh, you did. Dave. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you guys have met. Oh yeah. Hey, <laughs> what did you do on Insomniac? Oh, it was told my pawn shop. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. Well, Tell came in, and it was late at night too. Well, yeah, it's twenty four hour pawn shop, right? Right. And but, uh, but for, I guess for the most part, the show is based uh, during the daytime. Yeah, it hours. gets a little weird at night. Yeah, at night it got a little weird. I mean, it, it just you're in a bad place right. if it's two a.m. on Sunday and you need money. You yes, should go home. Yes, yes. Yes. You should probably go home. But that would be great to see the weirdness at night. Um, no? it probably it probably would be, but it's uh, it's probably a lot darker than you want the show to be. Um, yeah, I I got a family show. Uh huh. <laughs> right, right, right. right. <laughs> what are some of the things they bring in in the middle of the night? Um, just everything. I mean, you, mm. usually it's jewelry, right? Um, and uh, it's they just want to keep yeah. on going. How much of the stuff that people bring in, as far as jewelry goes, is fake? Uh, as far as Half of it. Half? Oh, it's absolutely great when they walk in. And it's not always necessarily fake, too. I mean, when a girl brings in a diamond ring, or grandma's diamond ring, this, her whole life she's heard it's like this oh. perfect diamond, and I go, no, grandpa was cheap. Oh. <laughs> this is bad. Oh, no. And they don't want to hear that, man, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I am the big uh, bleep, bleep, bleep. Right. Oh, this is serious. They don't bleep. Yeah, they yeah, don't bleep. You, you can say whatever you want here. You're, you're not only you're not giving them the money, you're just ruining their fucking lineage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cheap grandpa. You're shitting on their heirlooms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're a big, uh, you're a big war buff too, like war uh, memorabilia. Um, yeah, I like, I'm, I'm just, a, I'm a complete history nerd. Yeah, history, uh, history nerd. But I notice you steer clear of any Nazi memorabilia. Yeah, just nothing with any bad mojo. It's just with a little weirdness. Is that, is that because of like a karma thing, or, or you? Just... Oh, yeah, it's just karma, dude. I mean, yeah, it's just yeah. it's like a creepy shit associated with that. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And rock, you like uh, rock memorabilia too. I, I see. Um, yeah, I like a little. I just like anything that's cool and fun. I mean, I got everything. I got pictures of Jimi Hendrix hanging in my house, and I have uh, yeah. eight hundred year old maps. That I, I, a lot of times they, uh, when people bring in those old maps, like from the sixteen hundreds or something, mm. I'm wow. thinking they'd be worth more than they are. How much are they worth? Well, uh, from the sixteen hundreds, anywhere from like a hundred bucks to. Twenty, thirty thousand dollars. I would think wow. anything what? from the sixteen hundreds would be worth more than a hundred yeah. bucks, and that's what a lot of people think because it's old that it's worth something. Oh, no, people, yeah, people are saying that it's old, it's worth something. I got three million year old rocks in my backyard. I can't <laughs> give away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, a, a firearms buff, also. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, I love my guns. I yeah. live in Nevada. We can own anything. You you, well, you probably have to be armed there because you're working. You know, it's everyone knows you got cash there, so you probably are smart to be armed. Uh, yeah, yeah that's uh, my pawn shop's never been armed, and that's because half my employees got a bulge on the side of their underneath their shirt. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. You. Okay, absolutely. Yeah, Vegas is great. I was out there uh, a few months back, and I went to one of the uh, places to rent some fully automatic uh, guns. It's just a pisser, man. What a blast! It's the greatest city in the world. I was 28 years old. Uh, down in L.A. before I ever knew what the words last call meant. <laughs> <laughs> I was literally oh, really? I was like yeah. 28 years old. I'm like, what do you mean the bar closes? Right. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, were, you, were you born and raised? Uh, uh, no, I moved there when I was 16, 16. and uh, you know, lived there ever since. So I've lived there for well, about like 15 years. Eight years? No, no. Uh, 33 uh, yeah. years. Did you, were you traveling around a lot because your, your pops being uh, in the Navy? Uh, no, my dad had some really good gigs in uh, San Diego, refused promotion and everything. Oh, wow. Uh, because in the late 60s, early 70s, he was the first guy you saw when uh, you got transferred to San Diego. And the first words out of my dad's mouth is, well, son, you bought a house yet? And he goes, no, we'll go see my wife. Uh, so my mom was selling like 30, oh, 40 shit. houses a month because he had this one gig <laughs> in the Navy. Okay. Oh, he wasn't going nowhere. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> wow, wow. What, a, what an arrangement. Yeah. That's really nice. <laughs> so, so how did uh, you guys then get into, the family get into the, the pawn business? Uh, well, like uh, there, that whole Jimmy Carter thing happened. And, uh, uh, yeah. My dad uh, had a lot of real, was doing a lot of stuff in real estate in San Diego. Back in the late seventies, early eighties, everything went kablooey. Yeah, in. yeah. Just one day, he walks away. We're moving to Vegas. Wow, the land of milk and honey. That that <laughs> quick. <laughs> Damn. And then uh, there's got to be a lot of competition uh, in in the pond, especially uh -huh. in Vegas. Yeah, especially there. Uh, the pond business, no. There's really they're really really limited on the licenses there. Wow, uh, I really? lucked out when I was 23. I found a little flaw in the city code, and I got mine. <laughs> Before that, they you know there were I think. 
the uh, last one, the last one sold before I got mine, I think, was six hundred thousand dollars for the license. Mm-hmm. That was back in the eighties. Man, wow! When, when you when you buy and stuff, because people are coming in, your job is just to buy it and, and if you like it. But you know, like, do you ever see people and go like, ah, oh, God. I feel almost bad for this person because their desperation is what's... No. No, you don't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> he's... No, no, he's yeah, all, the, no yeah. but that's an interesting thing you have to, I guess, think Well, that. a pawnbroker of the heart is a pawnbroker out of business. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, I hear a million s- sad stories. I mean, I've worked at uh, you know, the graveyard shift at the pawn shop plenty of times, and I've uh-huh. had him come up, and I need... You know, I need food for the baby, and then an hour later, I need diapers for the oh. baby, and I get, and then I need I I need medicine for the baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then baby needs a new pair of shoes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> exactly. So you, you, know, you just you don't know if it's true or not, and you don't care. Um, you know, the thing is, when it comes down to it, it's just stuff, um, and uh, it's business. Yeah, yeah. You uh, obviously Vegas. A lot of people they're gambling. They're losing their oh, money. Other people gambling. That's uh, it, it's a. It's a weird town. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I get a lot of people coming in there. This is where people go to retire. Yeah. So I get people, kids from out of town saying, Grandma, Grandpa just passed away. They got all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I, they, uh, I mean, who really eats with silver flatware anymore? No, no one. Right. You, so you get rid mm. of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 have, you, have you seen? <laughs> uh, she just was rambling on. I'm trying to talk with Rick. <laughs> You're a big fan. You've seen every I've episode. I've seen every episode. I love the show. And, and this, she's just <laughs> babbling on and on about. God knows what. So if you're an intern, what university do you go to? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. oh my yeah, god. Excuse yeah. me. Excuse she goes me, to Rick? a swollen liver you. <laughs> excuse me. Uh-huh. I'm a fan of the show. Okay. 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 Um, I have a hat to sell. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right. Uh, can, can I show it to you? Sure, go ahead. All right. Here this we go. A, all right. This is a very rare hat. All right. Do you buy hats? Um, NASCAR champion Dale Earnhardt Jr., number eight. <laughs> Sell it, say something about it. Die. Okay. What he do doesn't you? drive the eight car anymore. So, this, oh, this, this, that's this, why it's... That's okay. just, so, um, what can, so what can you tell me about it? Um, it's a really nice hat. Uh, uh-huh. And uh, I bought it I bought it a few years back. Okay, do you know who owned it before you did? Nobody owned it. It was brand new. So uh-huh. this is your sweat. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Just a thought. <laughs> you know, nobody really Might ever be some heard liver of that. Juice. It was in the bedroom uh, for a long time. Right. Yeah. So then yeah. I don't know, want to know what these stains are then. Uh, yeah, yeah. You probably don't if it's been in the bedroom. I'd say priceless. <laughs> priceless. Priceless. That's good news. Wow. wow. Um, so, how much do you want? Tell them. Tell them how much I, you want. I wanted seven hundred and fifty dollars. Seven hundred and fifty bucks. <laughs> he's not the number uh, eight anymore. <laughs> I know he's so not, that's, he's he's a uh, number eighty eight right now. He don't even drive the Bud car anymore. He drives. So uh, you should get seven hundred fifty dollars for that. So uh, you know. Okay. Uh, yeah. You want to throw a counter offer at her? Um, no, nah, I don't want it. <laughs> that's that's okay. about it. All right. <laughs> All right. You well, got the other item. Uh, right. Well, that, now you got the big I item. Tried, I tried, I tried. She's a big. Now you got the big yeah, item. She started with a small item, Rick. All right. Here's the big item. This is this is a good one. Careful, careful handling it. Yeah, careful don't get handling any makeup it. on it. Oh. Wait. Jeez, watch. Okay. Here's a... Ke- what? Oh, no. What? No, don't blow Don't blow your offer. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. It's a Ron Jeremy Spiced Rum uh, t-shirt. <laughs> it's an original. Rick's just um, shaking his head. Well, what, do you, what can you say about the shirt? Tell us about the shirt, Lady Di. It, it was never worn. Uh-huh. Brand oh, so, new. Okay. And That's probably a good thing. The, um, he was promoting rum. All right. Okay, at a liquor store, and uh, you know, never it's, worn. It's rare, right? Yeah. And Ron, I, Ron Jeremy was the one that actually gave out these shirts. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, and, that's uh, a big actually one. a few he, years he is, ago yeah. at the mixed martial arts awards. Sure, uh, I actually gave out an award with Ron Jeremy. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It was for the best equipment. It, wow. <laughs> wow. Hey, we've all seen him use his. Uh, so, Lady uh, Die. What? What? Do you, first of all, you're looking to uh, pawn it or sell it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What do you want to do? You want to pawn it or sell it? What do you mean pawn it or sell it? <laughs> oh, How much do you want for it? Seven, seven, uh, seven thousand five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a buck. <laughs> Seventy five hundred. Seventy five hundred for the shirt. I'll give you a dollar. A dollar. 
Nah. Okay. That's a well, she's right. gonna, she's right. gonna so keep much it. For that. Uh, is yeah, it check okay. around. Isn't it sad? <laughs> Isn't it sad when uh, hey. when the people have to leave with their item? <laughs> uh, it happens. You know? It it really is funny when these people are talking up their items and uh, and it's a big cumbersome thing also. What you don't see on the show though is so many people come back and say, "Yeah, oh, give me the money." And they say, "Yeah, I assume that a lot of times." Okay, and, they're the, like, and the thing is, I said, "Well, can I get you on camera?" No. <laughs> no, I just, I, I've, I've had it. Uh, <laughs> That's why on my show, you, uh, uh, you never see anybody pawning wait, stuff. They just on. sell stuff. Right, no right. one wants to admit they got to pawn something. That they're pawning oh, right, something. It's right, always right, right. Yeah, yeah. because you ask them all the time, you want to pawn it or sell it, and they're like, sell it. Yeah. I yeah the people, it. people are broken it alone. They, we found out like the first three days of filming the show, they don't want to be on TV. Excuse they don't want to be on TV. Oh, Excuse well. me, Frank. <laughs> yeah, Frank. <laughs> His name's Rick. His Rick, name's Rick, Rick Harrison. Okay. All right. Yeah. Just remember what, remember what it rhymes with. You'll never forget it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sick. Okay. Okay. She is. No, no, I'm not sick. All right. All right. Now, um, I at home, I didn't bring it in. Okay. I have a a, a, a signed poster, Michael Nesmith. All right. How much would have that been worth? <laughs> signed Michael Nesmith from the monkeys? From the monkeys. Yeah, from the monkeys. You do like rock memorabilia. Okay. Oh, so, that's true. So who, when did it get signed? Um, it got signed in November of last year. Tell him how you know it was actually signed, too. Yep. Uh, yeah, it was at a Michael Nesmith concert. But nope. tell him how you know and, it was and, actually signed. And, and the people, all right, I, I decided not to bring it in because it's I valuable. really don't want to sell it. Okay. okay. And the people that work for Michael Nesmith, uh -huh. that travel with him, one of them was uh, uh, the poster person, mm -hmm. and one of them was the t-shirt person. And he told you? Did Michael you ask Nesmith? him if it was signed? He told me. Yeah, oh. he told, but he told me. Did he, he give you a truth. certificate they're, they're of authenticity? Um, no, they I didn't. He, they I, told you that he signed minute, it? Hold on, yeah. hold on. I think they were available. <laughs> I think that the, authentic, the, the tickets were available, but it was more money, so I said, <laughs> oh, I just want the you had to pay Almost for your certificate every single of authenticity. rock and roll band has uh -huh. a guy... Sitting backstage signing autographs. I just want everyone to know that. Uh -huh. yeah. So if unless I mean, you see oh, oh, okay. like so every single words, maybe... Beatles photo. Well, I gave it to a guy and he brought it backstage right. and he signed it yeah. for me. And I'm going, okay. I yeah, hope you didn't yeah. give him a lot for this. Yep. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me. One more question. Oh, oh, oh. all right. So, all right. <laughs> I used apologize to, have, to Rick. Wait, wait, hold on. I used to have signed <laughs> baseballs. Oh. Actually signed by the players. Because I know, because I, I met them and, they, and then they signed oh. a baby. How much would they have been worth? How many Babe Ruth balls did you sign? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's like, it's, it's, that. <laughs> what players? Yeah. Uh, Derek Jeter, Joe Torre, Whoa. Um, Jim Not Larence, a lot of Jeter out there. The guys that are still Jose. alive next to nothing. Yep. Yeah, that's shit. Say. Wait. Hey. Yeah. You got a Billy think. Martin? Maybe a Thurman Munson? Um, there you go. No. Wait. Luke Gerg. Michael Nesmith? Uh, Ty Cobb. All right, all right, all right. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look, Roland is, Roland's closest, going nuts out there the because uh, he says get, Rick's got to go. He's a very busy man today. The closest I can uh, get to yeah, that is a signed so. picture that was taken of Cleet Boyer. Cleet Boyer? <laughs> what the hell are you talking about? You have he the used best to be a New York Yankee. memorabilia. Roland, what's uh -huh. the matter? Yes. He's got to go? Uh, yeah, because yeah. Fox uh, kept him the time constraints. How oh. much for one of Bob Apodaca's used condoms? How much for one of those? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, all right. I'm glad I'm going right now, guys. Yeah, See yeah, ya. Would, Rick, <laughs> Rick Harrison from Pawn Pleasure. Stars. Thanks so much. When, uh, Rick Harrison's very It's nice on uh, History Channel. History Channel, uh, Thursday nights. Great, man. Nine o'clock. Love the show. Thanks so much. Listen, um, <laughs> the, the thing with the hat. Listen, Rick. No, he he's got to go. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Um, you guys can go picture with him. Okay. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tell what? Him. what? Tell him so much. Tell him. This is your chance. Tell him. Die, tell him. It's, it's your chance. Tell him. Die. Just what? tap him on the back. Die. It's his chance. Okay. Tell him. Tell him. Um, well, here, here, here. Wait. Oh, what? What? Wait, 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 wait. What's the matter? Die? I just had to. What? 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 Oh, okay. You anyway. He just. Waves are off like bad. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. See? <laughs> He's shaking his oh, head. Wow. No, I was gonna take He's my horrible. camera out. <laughs> you don't know how to. You don't know how to do the picture thing you with celebrities. It. They're not gonna wait for you. You gotta like do it right away. Right yeah. away, yeah. die. Yeah. Right away. I think uh -huh. he liked you. Yeah, I wanted a picture. Let's all run her down and get her picture. Yeah, go oh, get gosh. go get a picture. Run her down towards the elevator. Come go. On, go fast. Go run. 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 Wait. Right. That's all she wants. No, a picture. Go. Go. Die. Go. 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 Hurry. Go. Oh, you take curse. forever to oh do my anything. God. If it was a natty, if it was a natty ice getting on go that elevator, you'd fucking run.
<laughs> run, you motherfucker. Run. That's right. Yeah. Put me on a pay me no mind list. Run. Get my fucking drink. Step and fetch it. Look at him. She said she wanted seventy five hundred for a t-shirt. With a complete straight face. She held up a that straight shitty round face. T shirt. That shitty t shirt she got at a liquor store. <laughs> And oh, told God. Rick Harrison she wanted seven thousand five hundred dollars <laughs> for it. <laughs> Holy fuck, that was funny! And seven hundred fifty dollars for the hat. For the hat, he didn't know what to think of her. Oh, she was terrific. Uh, he was horrified with her sitting next to him. <laughs> horrified. Did you hear her talking while he was? Oh, talking? Yes. yes. <laughs> Do you understand the dregs of society that come to pawn things in Vegas? And he was horrified by her. <laughs> Uh, Travis has the clip so he could relive it. Yes, Travis, please. Yeah, yeah. what do you want to do? You want to pawn it or sell it? What do you mean pawn it or sell it? Uh, how much do you want for it? Seven, seven, uh, $7,500. <laughs> Give me a buck. Oh, oh is God. that fucking funny, man? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 7500 7, $7, <laughs> My, her, I love her, shitty, her <laughs> fucking shitty Michael Nesmith poster story. <laughs> Some roadie side. <laughs> fucking Michael Nesmith is a cunt. Nobody cares about him. Uh, He's not signing it. No, no, not at all. I love it. Did she get her picture? Yeah, just barely. Okay. I was, feel because I feel. Couldn't run, so. She couldn't. Was he happy to do it? No. <laughs> Where's he going now? I don't know, but they were in a rush to leave, and but we yelled for him. He turned around, saw her, and he just went, <laughs> Horrified. But he was late coming here, man. Yeah, I guess his whole schedule's off. His schedule. Oh, know. that's cute. She, I'll put oh, it up on uh, ONA Show on Twitter. Okay, good. Here oh. she is. Oh, hey, you got a Twitter. picture, did you? Yeah, your picture. Put it huh? up on Twitter as ASAP. I got to say it. Yes. Oh, where do I sit? Right here, my yeah, dear. In the chair of honor. Mm -hmm. The chair of honor. <laughs> no, I didn't get a picture with my camera. Doesn't matter. We'll it's get a okay. better one with this one. It's a high res. What you don't do you need your shitty camera. <laughs> I love the way your old lady the wincing look. Vinny <laughs> <laughs> just made. It's like, okay. ugh. All right. Very good. There you are. Back, yeah. back, back where you belong. Are, are you right. sure? As our guest of honor, yes. Yeah. We... I we look like uh, Ace Freely from Kiss or something with this makeup on. I don't know. What? Or something like, something what? like that. What? Yeah. Well, not even close. John Wayne Gacy's painting was a better oh. one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's yeah. a really great artist. All I need is a wig <coughs> and some more pa uh, ma paint. Well said. I look like one of the, kids, <laughs> one of the guys from Kiss. <laughs> well <said. laughs> Wait, uh, maybe uh, the one that's going to be on that show, the, the VH1 show. Right. Um, yeah. What's the name of it again? Ace Freely. What VH1 no, shows? Not Ace yeah. Freely, Peter Chris. Oh. Mm. That guy. Yeah, that metal oh, show. Whatever yeah. it was. Yeah, the metal show. <clears throat> the one I don't get. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Let's go to the phone and talk to no, I get the Art That's in right. Pittsburgh. I get that. Art. Huh? Hey, guys. VH1 uh, Classics. That's the name of it. I don't know how you're pulling it off. I'm oh laughing my, my ass God. off, but it's time to shut the oh, okay, okay. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it finally hit me today. Back to I thought it would hit me yesterday. I'm right but with you on that. It definitely hit me today. I am right with This has run its course. Oh, I, I think another full so week is necessary. Another, that is not another happening. Another full week of Lady Die. I mean, we'll try to get through tomorrow. It's Lady Die week. Right. It'll I have hopefully had le it. Hopefully lesser so time tomorrow. Privileged. Oh, what's the matter? What's wrong? Lady Die week? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, what okay, whatever. That's what this has been. What's wrong with that? What's Why the matter? There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. It's just that... You're getting a little agitated. What's the matter? Yeah, let's go to Kentucky. You're agitated. Okay. Mikey agitated? wants in. Huh? Need a drink? Oh, no. No, I don't need a drink. Get him a drink. Mike. Bad phone. Oh, he's got one of those phones. That's a bad phone right there, right? Sure is. Sounds like he's underwater. Yeah. <laughs> My, yeah. yeah. Might be oh, one of your family members one? trying to <laughs> communicate. Oh, yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, there's no krill here. <laughs> right. Frank. Good morning, guys. Uh, Frank. Frank. I'm <laughs> trying again. to communicate. I just know them by seeing them. Who? Oh, what? Oh. I don't yeah. think you know much about that show. I, I uh, When I flip the channels. Sometimes I turn it on, especially when there's something interesting Tell that they want to. Oh, like what? You know, what, what, did you, what? What grabbed your interest one day? Yes. Oh, well, yeah, I, a I like bug a commercial. Ah, <laughs> uh, like real old jewelry. Right. Yeah, I've never um, seen that. 
Uh, let me see. What else? What else? It's been a little while since I oh, saw the show. Sure, uh, well, sure. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I'm oh, trying to I'm, think well, right we, now. We love holding on on the radio. <laughs> sewing machine. A real old one. A sewing machine. Yeah. That, that, uh, I, I that thought stopped maybe... you in your tracks as you were going around the dial. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yes, we like yeah. to use and, it for your um... lips. <laughs> 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 All right. Before, she said, Old she dolls, said I need I something think. to take this makeup off. And Jimmy goes, how about a shotgun? <laughs> 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 Fucking killed me all day. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> a shotgun. Not many bathroom runs today for you. Uh, I only had one bathroom run. Actually, two. That's it. All right. <laughs> She's got to be taken out to Starbucks, though, remember. Yeah, so. right. No, I don't. What? I'm all right. You're using this bathroom up here? I'm no, not using no, any bathroom. No. I haven't used the bathroom at all. Oh, go use our <laughs> bathroom. No. Oh, go you what? I haven't no. I haven't used it at all. Not allowed. I didn't have to. Okay. Pepto Bismol. Is that what you you're doing? Yeah. Yeah, it's healthy. No. Well, you know, Pepto. so this way you don't use the bat. I ate, and uh, I had a ginger ale, and then you know the Pepto Bismol. And then what? what TGI Fridays after this? No. A little bit. Just oh no. For a couple. No, 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 no. I will can't you, afford it. When will you crack your first Natty Ice today? Yeah. As soon as uh, Bill starts yelling at me. <laughs> Bill, her roommate, will start yelling at you. He'll start yelling at you? As soon as I walk in the door, ah, hey, you, know, you know, whatever, whatever What does he, he yell says. at you about? Huh? What does he yell at you, you about? You just want to do that when she comes in. That's yeah. true. Yeah. You know, so, so you walk uh, in. What could he so, possibly so what, be mad about? What do about? I do when I, well, let me tell you something right now. Uh -huh. I avoid him. When he does that. Okay. I, it's like I block him You're out. You're in a small hovel. How do you avoid each other? Oh, very easy. Just go to the next room. Yeah? Ooh. Yep. Is there a TV in he, that room? He's usually, no, he usually sits in the kitchen. What? Okay, and what I'll go in. Awful I'll, I'll go in Miserable man. What's I'll he go, doing in the kitchen? He watches TV. Oh, in the kitchen? Wait, smoke? wait, wait. Hold on. Hold, hold on. I, well, yeah. I picture him like Carl well, Childress to, you know, and uh, his father we, sitting we in the chair. Outside. We I'll smoke be, outside. The world will be shut of you soon enough. <laughs> yeah. And he, no, he just uh, sits in the kitchen and watches my TV in the living room through a mirror. Wait, wait, wait. Watches. Well, wait, hold on. So everything's And I'm like, backwards. how could you watch television on a, when, I know, and he watches in a Jeopardy. <laughs> so he doesn't know what the categories are. <laughs> right. We got he it, watches, Jim. he watches, you know, uh, the watches TV. Watches baseball. Why do they always run to third? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the, right yeah. off the fucking How long has Gita been a lefty? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he well, watches the TV through the mirror, and then if he has something to say, he'll say it. Into the mirror? No, he'll he'll tell me. Oh, maybe it's because you're like Dracula and he can't see you in the mirror. <laughs> Long way to go for yeah. that mean yeah. joke. I was trying to think of a good vampire joke. Let me ask you yeah. though, why is he yeah. watching the mirror and just sit in the kitchen? What's he do in the kitchen? Yeah, nothing. What's, just tug his prick. Does he does no, he have a cup of not, coffee or something no, or his he, beer? He, well, he starts out with coffee and then he then he goes on to drink. I picture a real seventies looking uh, fucking kitchen set slippers. with like a ashtray from the Storks Club, and it's full of cigarette butts. He's just drinking in a wife beater tea. Yeah, Bad. boxers looking in the mirror, yelling at you. What an existence! Yeah, sounds fascinating. Unless <laughs> unless he um, uh, goes into the bedroom and just uh, goes to sleep for a passes little bit. Passes out. Yeah. Well, no, does he doesn't he, pass out. He just goes in there and he just goes to sleep. Does he ever uh, leave out. the house? Huh? Does he leave the house ever? Not lately. No. Why he's built an agoraphobic. Mm. Every mm. once in a while he looks in the mirror and he thinks Gamera is in his house. <laughs> <laughs> he, sends me, he sends me out for everything. Every time I come home, you got to go out. You got to go. I don't like, I ain't going anywhere. I just got home. Do you realize you two enable each other? Yeah. You two mm. are enabling each other's fucking worst aspects of your lives. Yeah. He buys you beer. He buys, you fly, That's right. you get to buy you all the natty ice, uh, ice you need, and you're there to, for him to yell at, and then you're there to buy his beer for him, mm -hmm. and, and, and you, you, you're like this but, uh, wait, wait, wait. horrible cops type couple. He doesn't have a problem. What? He doesn't have a, a, a drinking problem. He's How? a full-blown alcoholic. <laughs> wait a minute, hold on a second. How much he does claims, he drink a day? He claims he does not have a drinking problem. How much does he drink I don't know, about day? maybe five, six, sometimes seven. A day? A day. He's a full-blown <laughs> alcoholic. Well, he, he won't tell you that, that's for sure. He doesn't need to. Five, six, yeah. seven a day, that's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, every yeah well, day. That's, that's, that's the usually... average, too. He probably goes higher than that on some days. Perhaps more than uh, that. Well, you Whatever. know, what can I tell you? It's his life. That's Pro it. Hopefully nothing. 
Right. <laughs> That's the way he wants to live. So yeah, I like well. your hair like that. It looks like. Um, Schwarzenegger's hair in the first Terminator when he's taking his eye out and there was that like weird shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, what you, can I say? You look good with that makeup, Lady <sighs> Di. Oh, please, Opie. Uh, you do. You look good. Uh, yeah, everybody be looking at me. That's a new type That's of for uh, sure. yeah. mullet. They have the mullet, the skullet, all those things. You, you have yeah. a dullet. <laughs> Okay. I thought it was funny. <laughs> she just goes on. Okay. I said it. Because <laughs> she's dull. Yes, I understand. And it's, her hair is uh, dull. I think her hair has yeah. a lot of bounce and, and, and oh, luster to it. Bounce. Jesus Christ. It had more yesterday. Yeah. I'm no, sorry. it's actually cleaner today than it was even yesterday. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't know why. Okay. It was pretty greasy that first day. Holy shit. Uh, it's like you washed your hair with bacon. No. But, no? Well, no, no, no. No, you didn't. I just use regular shampoo. No, I didn't shampoo. wash my hair. I didn't wash my hair with bacon. No, no. she hasn't right. done a lot of that. This no, week. she no. hasn't. She does it on the phone. Yeah, more so than yeah. she Absolutely. does live. All right, we'll All right. We'll, <laughs> we'll take a break and uh, finish the show next. The show. Jimmy's going to Virginia Beach today. Oh, yeah, I got Virginia tonight through Saturday. Yeah. Tampa, the tenth, eleventh, and twelfth. Eleventh and twelfth only. Is that uh -huh. lady that's then, phone ringing. Uh, yeah. New York, April twenty fourth through twenty seven here at Caroline. That's your phone. That's your phone. It's not ringing uh, anymore. What's up, Ty? We gotta grab it an hour later. That's why phones work. <laughs> they ring and then they just pause and wait for you to answer them. She remembers the old days when, like, people had house phones. Right. Just a phone in your house, and you would like you were told, let it ring ten times. Oh that's right. Make right. sure that somebody shit. can get there. And you're like, brr, brr, and sometimes after nine oh. fucking rings, Marion, call her back. Yeah, call that wait, pig wait, back. Wait. What's Marion want? Put her on speaker. That's her. Wait. Oh my God! Watching her try to use a smartphone. It's it's, it's infuriating. It's really the phone is good. smarter than me. Well, yeah. That's right. Exactly. Self-deprecating truth. Yeah. Okay, it's got your headphones. Unplugged rotary mm. phone. Yeah. <laughs> Marion calls. <laughs> Calling again. Hi. Mm. Hey, you're on the air. Hey. What's my hey? Pig. <laughs> She's jealous. She's jealous. Lady dies getting on the same time. Yep. She is very jealous. Should we call her back after the break? Yeah, Marion, like. we're going to call you back from the studio phone. And what's going on with her? What, what is oh, you're not, you're not going to you're not going to believe it. You, you, you make sure not, you answer your phone. You're not going to believe what Di did today. Just pick up your phone. We're going to call you in a minute or two. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, call him back. Call him back. Bye. Right. Good cycle. Hey, it's Lady Di. Unless you're wearing a diaper like me, you probably have to go take a shit. O and A will be right back. Don't go anywhere. I won't be. Hey, it's Lady Di. Now back to the Opie and Anthony show. I hope Amp becomes the second guy to anally penetrate me. The stuff's already, thank God. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Wow. Babbles during the commercials. Yeah, yeah. I remember in the good old days, we used to remove her from the studio during breaks. Yeah. So we can, you know, take a break. Yeah. But now she's just rambling on and on. About yeah, it's exhausting. I, uh. Listen, listen. listen, listen. She just. What? She has these conversations with Sam on mic while we're, while we're on. Am I doing the after show? If you want, yeah, we don't care. I won't be listening. <laughs> I'm sad of shit. Of course. Okay. Well, putting in a little OT. Yeah. Through the after show, a little uh, overtime. That's o overtime. A little overtime. Uh -huh. Trying to yeah. upload a quick video of yeah. Lady Die with Rick from Pawn Stars trying to get seventy five hundred dollars for that a Ron Jeremy fun. shirt. Her he, dead fucking yeah. straight face. He hated her. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, Roland came in and said, "Rick liked you, and you, and you." But did not like her. Oh. Aww. But he's oh, seen, well, he's, you can't please everybody. He's seen some crazy <laughs> people, would be though. Nice. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's just it. He's seen plenty of crazy people, but... Well, let's get Marion on the phone. Marion. Hey, how are you guys doing? <laughs> I always have to pull my headphones yeah. off a little bit with Thank her you. That well, voice. Why yeah. do you keep calling us? No, you called me. No, you called first, remember? No, Adrian called me, because I wanted to ask Diana what she got for that t-shirt, because I had the same one. Oh, uh, well, she asked. I didn't get it. $7,500. Right. <laughs> 
Diana, what'd you get? No, don't tell her. You should have been here well, with your whatever shirt. Whatever it is, I hope you put it. Put Marion's it away got the same Ron Jeremy yeah. shirt there, Jimmy. She oh wants to know God. what Die God. And God wants for to know it. what Die God from oh, Rick wow. from Pawn Stars. I hope, got, I hope you got something that's gonna <coughs> at least yeah have, have some money in the bank for a little while. <laughs> well, I think you could say that. Yeah, definitely. She did pretty good. She scored pretty good on that shirt. Mm -hmm. Was it five? Was it five or four? Five or four what? Four thousand. Well, she went in with seventy, an offer of seventy five hundred. That was a little high. <laughs> it was Rick. high. For yeah, he, he was trying to. He trying to. You know, I lost. I ran out of steam. In my thoughts. I just realized who I was talking to. I'm like, why am I trying? <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I hope he got five for it. Five thousand for the T-shirt. What do you think it's yeah. worth? Uh, about that. Are you going to sell? You're going to sell yours? Like, Wait, why do you think? Uh, hold on. Very interesting because you're pretty close. Why right, do you think the shirt is worth five thousand dollars? Because it's signed by a porn porn star. Mm. Well, there you go. Dice. And you know why? He's he's semi retired now. Right, right. Retired porn point. stars. That's you true. know those are gold mines. Oh, for autographs. Yeah. Sure. Marion. Marion. Yes. The the shirt was not signed. The bottle of rum was signed. Well, yeah. Well, he signed. He signed yes. some of it. And she signed. drank that before she got out of the store. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't buy a bottle of rum. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm not allowed to Sorry. have anything uh, like yo, that in the ho, house. Ho, ho. <laughs> Jesus. I bought the bottle of rum. Yeah, you oh, did. But, I, but I'm not allowed Great. to. The point. If I walked in, if I walked in with a bottle of rum, <laughs> yeah. Bill would Bill would kick me out. Why? 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 I bought the bottle of rum and it yeah. lasted me a long time. Good. Well, it's all about you again. Good. Right I'm back to saying, you. I'm just saying I'm not allowed to bring any kind of liquor like that in the house. Why? Hold on a second, Di. Marion wasn't finished talking about herself. Uh, Go yeah. ahead, Marion. More about I, your irrelevant story. I don't story. know, but I, I cannot mm -hmm. bring any liquor in that house. <laughs> Why not? What happened? Yeah. That yeah. Who's Bill to try to keep you from getting all liquored up? All soused. Uh, <laughs> what happened? I, I don't know. You know, he just doesn't. He just doesn't want me. He just doesn't want me buying. You know, <laughs> bottles of liquor and bringing well, them home. Something must have happened. No. Right. No, he just doesn't want me to mm. do it. No. So he's looking out for you. He thinks beer is okay. Uh, yeah, he thinks beer is okay, but uh, um, you know, any other any other liquor, he doesn't think it's okay. No. So I I just didn't buy it. He probably knows you get really frisky when you drink hard liquor, like when he's no. sleeping. You ever wake him up no. by like just pulling his no, boxers down no, and eating because, his ass? Uh, he snores. <laughs> what? He snores. Correction. Yeah. Correction. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Marion, correction. You both, you both snore. He doesn't snore. I snore. You snore. You that, that's snore. what I heard. These are one of those conversations. Yeah. These inane. Well, let them talk for a little while. Yeah, yeah. You two just, you two just We hate the listeners. <laughs> yeah, how you doing? Are you having fun with them? Sure. I always have fun with them. Good. I always have fun with those guys. I'm you're enjoying yourself. I'm yeah. really happy for you. Tell wait her about your makeup. Wait till you go home and see this makeup that, uh, that I got made uh -huh. over. Uh, what'd you do? <laughs> You'll see. I'll see you on the computer later. I'll, yeah, I'll then you're going to call me up and say, how'd you let him do that? I already know. Ooh. Well, you know what? You did it for the show. You're having fun. You Thank have you. Have fun all week. And you know what? You guys are going to have her back next week, right? Yes. I, that's no. What, yeah. no. No, no, no. Make Still, it a two week. Make I it a two week. I promise you will The listeners are loving back. it, though. The no, listeners are digging it. I'm finally Make listening it to that. Make it a two week. No. no, I'm finally listening to that. Maybe I wasn't listening yesterday, but I'm all in now. No, this is not continuing past tomorrow. Oh, okay. Eh. Boosting your ratings. We don't get ratings. That's no, why we don't call it in every I day. Bet you, I bet you she's boosting the reviews. I bet you reviews. What reviews? Uh, yeah, yeah, what reviews are you thinking of? Reviews. Is Walter the Winchell going to talk on about it? Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> I can up. hardly wait <laughs> till I till I get on that train oh. and see all these reviews that I'm getting. So let me tell you, she's having a good time, and every and you know what? Let me tell you something. She's one of the better guests I've heard. And what happened to Bobo? But we didn't ask Bob to come up this week. Listen to this day. train wreck of thought. Yeah, it really is just a I, tongue and teeth fighting. <laughs> I think she's a bit <laughs> jealous. Uh, a little yeah. jealous. A little jealousy. A little jealousy. I could see. I could hear the jealousy uh, in your voice, Mary, and that you oh, are. Sandy has. A I don't jealous. think Sandy has called them. All right. Not this yeah, week, anyway. Well, either. I hope she's okay. Wherever she's at. Hope she's dead. I no. Who? Sandy oh, Kane. Oh, I didn't know you were She's, no. she's no. a very nice person. Like no, don't yeah. say that. Oh, you guys yeah. are back for another oh, thing. Oh, shut up. Right. So. Yeah. Oh, it just goes on. You're going to tell me, Opie and Anthony, you ain't having fun with Diane this week. 
It was kind yeah, of fun for the first two days. Us. First of yeah. two weeks. This the is going to be great. No, it's not happening. <laughs> that would not yeah, happen. You know no way. <laughs> Yesterday, today, and tomorrow you'll have a play. And you know, you, maybe you'll have it back next week, and I hope you do. Yeah, maybe I'll stick Wolfie on a... Whoa. Uh, don't have a wolf. Hey. <laughs> that's that's, up to, that that's up to those good, guys. Good. I've been that listening it? to every three plays, and everything else is good. Yeah. And I'm glad that you're having fun, Diane. Right. Thank you. And you, you know what? I got I got a phone number. Wait, wait, hold on. I got a phone number from a cab company because I did ask for a job. You know, yeah. being a cab driver. Well, they remembered really? you as the dispatcher yeah. in taxi. Maybe they can hire you part time. Maybe they can hire you part time to do this. Three yeah. days a week, four days yeah. a week. Think about it, Opie and Anthony. You have Diane answering the phones and doing all the. No, stuff. that ain't happening. We have interns do oh, that, doing friends. tasks. Yeah. yeah. Oh come on. No. We have interns that do that. Yeah. Give them a part time job. No, that ain't no. happening. Think about it. No, no, I'd rather have her driving a cab. Okay. Um, oh, no. What? what about when you guys do road shows? We can come with you. We haven't done a road show in over <laughs> a year. I know you haven't done, haven't done a road, road show. show in years. <sighs> but, but, you know, at least I could, you know, come with you guys and help no. you out. Surprised no one is annoyed by Marion's phone call. Too. Weird. <laughs> at this point, you would have a lot of people calling. Oh, no. <laughs> it's so strange. <laughs> you know really funny? liking her phone call this time around. Yeah. You, huh. you, would have, you would have the whole gang back. What happened? The whole gang would come back. It'd be you nice if the whole gang show. came back. What? A lot of, a lot of yeah. are you talking about? <laughs> the people that used to go on your show years ago. Yeah. All right. Well, they're long yeah, gone. They're Is anyone calling in about uh, the call? No, they kind of like Marion this time around. Oh, cool. Talk, okay. Let me talk to a couple fans. No, Marion changed her tune. Now. People are really digging Marion on the on the phone right now. Frenchie, guys. Whatever, whatever happened to Frenchie? I don't know. It didn't translate. Yeah. Put my C in your A. <laughs> yeah, it's like, um, not quite. You know, he wait, 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 away, hold actually. on, hold on. Um... Okay, while I'm on okay. while I'm on the air, all right. Anybody, ask, ask anybody for a job. From, any, well, yeah, well, you know, I I've been looking no, for, a for job. No, uh, ask for a real job because I think job. you've shown a lot of people he this died, week that uh, you, you got your, your shit together. So how do they get a hold of you if they want to offer you a, a real job somewhere close <laughs> to Elizabeth, New number. Jersey? No way. Frenchie no, no, died. No, 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 <laughs> uh, no, no, no. All right. Um, um, what was I going to say? Um, any, gonna, anybody that uh, records the shows, if you could find the show, one. if you wait, hold, hold well, on a lot a of people do. Hold on, John Diana, wants in. Diana. Hold yeah. on, Marion. Fr- Frenchie John, died, Marion. John from South Carolina wants in. John he died. He passed away. This is what I want to know. Why is her face not on a poster? And at the bottom says, "Do you qualify for disability?" Mm. Who, who are you talking? Whose face? Yeah, whose face? My face. face. Ooh, he means Marion. No, not my face. <laughs> I, Mary, I, I think they're talking about me, Marion. Yeah, I, mean, I know they are. So so, answer them. Uh-huh. Well, you should have stuck up for your friend of uh, uh, 80 years. She can answer for herself. Yeah, he died of cancer. It was really sad. <laughs> Frenchie. <laughs> Listen, friend, uh, uh, speaking of Frenchie. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, well, okay. Well, I don't know. How would I'm I know? I'm telling you. I know he's dead. Oh, the poor guy. All right. Well, <laughs> he's very much Jesus. alive, I'm sure, someplace. He passed uh, away. If anybody if anybody has um, uh, the, the audio... To the show where we were in the limousine before we went to that Philadelphia show. What? The audio, the audio when we were when Frenchie, Frenchie, Mary, and I, I were in the limousine. We, we were in the limousine on the way to but Philadelphia. You're supposed to be asking for like a the ju- Kennedy limousine audio. If, any, if anyone had, <laughs> you're I supposed to be asking for a job, not for uh, audio. When we, yeah. when we did YSP. Yeah, well, all right. right. When we did YSP. <laughs> right. Okay. I mean, I, I have the part when we opened up for Rich Voss, but I don't have the part when you we were in the limousine for Rich Voss. Somebody got to have that. You were the cartoon before the show. That hey, that's who you should have had in the studio. Oh. You consider me. You, you consider Sounds like me, we have him on the phone, <laughs> right? Could, you know, if you consider us a cartoon, we open up for Rich Foss. But I, I, the, I wanted the one when we were in the limousine on the way to Philadelphia. All right. Remember I'm, when uh, you guys uh, were, were talking to me? I think Big Al Remember has Remember when you guys were not Al talking to me? I think Big Al has it. And you were talking I, I, to Marion. Remember Al that? Has it. Right, I'm go. done. Big Al. <laughs> I wasn't Done. allowed on that show. I don't know. It was eight o'clock this morning for me. Yeah. I tapped out at eight. Yeah. Just totally tapped out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Al, go ahead. And I apologize you know, I, for that. When I called earlier, she turned me into a alcoholic. I'm a fucking heroin addict now. Hang up on that bitch. I'm gonna kill myself. Marion, he don't like you. <laughs> hey, you know what? I wet he's a heroin addict. Keep shooting up, buddy. Hold on, Keep let me shooting up. Let me go to Tom. Uh, come back. What about cocaine? Keep putting that up your nose too. What? Good one. Let me go to Tom <laughs> yeah. in Westchester. Tom. 
Hey, guys, the shows have been unbelievably great this week, but get these disgusting cunts off the radio. Oh, wow. Do you mean us? <laughs> uh, don't listen to it. That is not nice. Oh, my God. Got they can babble get all the radio day. off. Shut up. You shut up. Make me a motherfucker. Make you. Thank you, you Marion. Make no. me. Come face to face. You don't know where I'm at, but from face to face, I put my fist down your throat so goddamn far. You know what the hell is here? Oh, oh my God. I'm going to go throw myself in front of a train right oh, now. Oh, that's die comment. That's, that's, that's insensitive. Good. Tomorrow, right? <laughs> oh. oh, man. Bye. Asshole. Uh, 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 no, I, I mean, some people are still enjoying this, though. Uh, Bob is one of those people. Bob in Georgia. Bob? Oh, God, for the love of God. Do one of two things. Either yeah. get them off or at least <laughs> put the Roper's theme music on in the background so we can be entertained in some fucking way. Please. You love us. You don't uh, like their you conversations? Lo- you love us. All right, Andrew's got Andrew's something for you. Uh, uh, Andrew. Calling and calling and calling uh, and calling and calling. These are fans of the show, up. aren't they? I know, how to, I know how to shut you up. Remember you young, the N-word in that video with your who kid? That shut Maybe you right Maybe you should shut your fucking mouth, okay? Maybe you should shut your mouth. I'm going to go to Elizabeth and beat the fucking piss out of you. Jesus. Yeah, but where, where do you live? <laughs> I don't live by Bayway Liquors. You know, I don't live nowhere near Bayway Liquors. Are you talking to the wrong person? Well, I'm by Liquors. I don't like the one. Hey, say the N-word a couple of times. No, why don't you? Well, good comeback. <laughs> Yeah, yeah she's full of the good comeback. I'm speechless my, over here. I don't know what to say. Unfortunately, ass. you're not. All right. Yes. Yes. You're lifeless. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, help hey, us, Diana, please. Fun, all right? like hold on, one more. Thank L- you Louis, very much. I don't, hold pay, on, one more. I don't pay attention to these jerk-offs <laughs> too much. Oh, you know? damn it. Hey, I'm having fun with this. You oh, no, know I know, but can. I don't pay attention to these phone calls. Fuck! All right. Lou, I think it's fun. Lou if yeah. you're still there, go. Uh, Mary, you're a fucking disgrace to New Jersey. Honestly, will you shut the fuck up? Why don't you shut your mouth? You're a disgrace. You got a problem? Turn your radio off. She's good. Fucking enabling her and stepping over. You don't. You, you don't know me. Fucking talk. You shut the don't fuck know up. me, buddy. The entire you fucking state can fucking hear you're a disgrace. You're yeah. giving us a bad fucking name. Shut your mouth. You don't know me, okay? Wait, wait, hold on. So, Mary, Mary, hold on, hold on a second, hold on. Why don't you have us two come up Marianne. one day, all right? Have us two come up one day and do our own radio show, like you did, like you did years ago. Remember, you did that years ago. Sure, our own radio show. Uh huh. Sounds yeah. great. Maybe sometime next month, I. Why not? Well, they're sometime scheduling it do themselves. Our own, do our own show for a little while. How long is a little while? Yeah, how long of a show would you want to do? Four hours. Maybe two. Uh, yeah, well, like like she said, Four two hours. hours. One hour. Could you imagine? Well, one hour, two whatever, hours. you know. One hour. One, yeah, you know, because you, you one did that years ago. Babbling. We enjoyed doing that. You did it? You remember, don't you? Not Next really. time, I think. You don't yeah, remember? No, no. Are you no. serious? No, when they, were, when they were on WNEW. Oh, really? And what did you talk about? I... Uh, the, we we took callers, we, we you know, we took callers fight. and we would answer their questions. This. I don't remember this either. Oh, no. well, well, some people do because you're on regular radio. Right. Uh-huh. Yeah. What does that mean? You were, you, were not as you were on regular now. radio. Love advice. You were on a regular radio. Jeez, yeah, I, I, I remember that. Barreling People were calling over us. over anyone that's talking. <laughs> you go ahead, uh, Marion. You just... Yeah, you go ahead. You, you I take was just making a suggestion. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You just take the reins. Yeah. You just I'm just making... I was just making... <laughs> I think she waits to hear a voice and then that... And then has to talk to over it. You yeah. talking? You talking to me? No. Oh All right. Um, Marion's mind panic triggers conversation. Yeah. Like she'll hear a voice and then over my will just go, talk now, quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I love you, Jimmy. I love you too. That was yeah, that was a, that you know was that. even before Jimmy was coming into the studio. Oh, that was a yeah. long time ago. Okay, he you know. That. Yeah, well, it was only you two for a while. Oh, yes, it was. Yeah. And, hey, look, uh, I'll let you go. Damn, okay? lucky Jim. Lucky you Jimmy. Later. All right, lucky all right. Jim Norton. Hold on, hold on, Marion. Bye. Oh, will you Bye, be next week? Talk to you later. I say Diane and Marion all week next week together. Yeah, in the studio. You are well, that so would be lucky nice, but she has tomorrow. to work, you know? 
This has run yeah, its course. One more day of this shit. Uh, yeah, imagine yeah. marrying and dying all week. All right. Love you, Anthony. Love uh, you. Uh, right. yeah. Tons of love. love Tons yeah. of love. Right. Well, well Mary, when you go on vacation, we could do that. When they go on vacation, we'll oh, take over. Oh, God, I thought she was going to When you guys go on vacation, we'll take over for you. Yeah. Bye, feds. Bye-bye. <laughs> Call me. Call me. All right. Yeah, I, I'll get her number yeah. for you. Call yeah. her in the ass. <laughs> uh, I, I think he's going to email me or something. I don't know. Boy, go ahead and say it. That Marion's a hunk of shit, huh? I'm not saying it. What are you talking about? We're, we're best a, friends. I can't say anything about her. She is a real fucking piece, right? But she's so, so jealous of your about? attention. Mm -hmm. She's all jealous she's of you. Jealous of, uh, she's nobody's, gonna, nobody's jealous of anybody. She's going to hone in on your fucking uh, action no, here. No, no, no. No one's jealous of anybody. That's okay. She's, what are you doing yeah. with that big dumb fucking oh. square bob sponge pants <laughs> purse? <laughs> I hate it. It's my purse. Square what can I tell bob you? Sponge <laughs> pants. <laughs> this purse, that name this purse has a... This purse has a compartment for everything. Uh huh. All right, Lady Die. So, how do they get a hold of you to give you a real job? Because yeah. this has to end tomorrow. Um, it really does have to end tomorrow. Email me. All right, what's your email? Diana Orbani777 at gmail.com. All right. Seriously, we're trying to get her some kind of a job. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. So, so, if anybody has someone they need evicted, uh -huh. just put her in the room with them. Right. Somewhere close to what? Elizabeth? Uh, uh, tweet me. Yeah. Well, uh, I prefer being close to Elizabeth. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Um, you never know. You know, tweet me or or Facebook me or however you want to do it. All right. Okay. Yeah. Looks like my I know this is getting exhausted, <sighs> isn't it? Yeah, it's too bad you're not gonna be here tomorrow. Yeah. What but are you talking about? I'll be here tomorrow, right? You sure? God. Yeah. You will. Well, be. it's up to you guys. Jim Norton, luckiest guy in the world. <laughs> he gets yeah. To go sit, on a plane. Sit next oh. to me and. You worried about oh, flying that's, that's after right. all this weird flying shit? I wouldn't be worried about flying over the Indian Ocean at this point. I'm rooting for something to happen after this week. <laughs> Are you not going to be, Jimmy, you're not going to be here uh, tomorrow? No. Oh, no. okay. Having my age treated. Busy yeah. guy. But they still say flying is really safe. Okay. It is. I know. <laughs> safer than walking. Yeah. Uh, than walking. Yeah. Yeah. I'm much safer. That's a statistic. Than walking. <laughs> yep. Jimmy's leaving us to go to Virginia uh, Beach. Tickets available? Yeah. Tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday? And you can get my special on jimnorton.com if you want. To. Yeah. But no, if you don't. Catch up to me, Lumsdale. What happened, don't. Jimmy? Huh? What happened? No, I'm all right. Nothing. I'm just enjoying languishing. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all right. Yeah. You know, okay. You all right? Yeah. What happened? Yeah, I'm just fine. What happened? <laughs> Rambles uh, on what? and on. What My happened? favorite guest, Colin Quinn. Uh, oh, I forgot Colin was man, here. Man, she was he all escaped over hours ago. Colin. Right. Of course. You were about that really part. a little slutty. It was kind of hard to watch. Yeah, well, you, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's beautiful, though. He's a really nice guy. Somebody's a little oh, thank jealous, you. guy. And were you trying to lip kiss what? him? What? She was trying, trying to get some him? tongue. You were trying to get on some mouth. lips? Yeah. He was yeah, siggy breath. Because you were uh, kissing him on the cheek, and then you kept going... Over, closer, closer to his mouth, closer to it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You don't do that. If the guy wants to kiss you on the mouth, he'll turn his head. Would you have tongue kissed him? Yeah. How about if you want to press his crotch on yours? Um, well, I don't know if I go that so far. So you could feel your liver uh, yeah. moisture. Yes. Uh, <laughs> a little of that liver weeping. Yeah, maybe you, you want to hear the crinkle of your diapers. I'm you right now. <laughs> Tell who, kid. We got the latest thing. Liver moisture. <laughs> liver moisture. Yeah. Liver moisture. Niggas get that. <laughs> this is fat. That's all it is. Oh. Just, yeah. I think that's anyway. a mirror. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm serious, really. No, you got to stop drinking. Yeah. Okay, Please. well, I'll do the best I can. No, no I, that's not. That, that what do you think? We were born right? yesterday? It's right. not the best. Yeah, okay. I'm doing a push I ever did. I'm uh, doing a push uh, No? I'm listening. Now go away. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, that's right. You <laughs> picked the perfect song. Go away. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, look. It's been a lovely uh, uh, day. Lovely four days. Uh, this was okay. great. We'll I, see you, uh, uh, you know, down the road someday. Yeah. Uh, All right. Oh, All man. Right. How was that, Lady Di? What do you think of the show today? All right. Hey, don't have any nightmares tonight, guys, about this uh, uh, the makeup thing. What do you think of the show today? It was all right, except for the ma the makeup. No, I have I have to go wash this all off. I, I can't walk around like just this. Just hang out. Just hang huh? out. Huh? No, no, you don't you don't wash it off. You're all right. You should hang out. What? You're getting a lot of good looks from the people around here because of yeah, the makeup. Yeah, good looks like ah, you know. 
You thought you would get more for that t-shirt? No. You don't think so? No, I don't think so. Not at all. I just wanted to show it to everybody, really. I knew I wasn't going to get anything for it. You sure? A dollar? That's nothing. Come on. Well, he was he was joking. I'm sure he would have, if he you know, stayed longer, he would have paid you a couple hundred at least. Marion was being a little annoying today, wasn't she? She's always, she's going to call me later on. She's uh, oh. kind of obnoxious, yeah, right? No, no, no. What does she do when she calls you later? Uh, you know, I don't have to. I, I just Sometimes I just uh, put it on answering machine or whatever, or I don't pick it up. I, I don't pick you don't want to deal with her. I don't pick it up until I'm ready. Because you don't want to deal with her. She gives you the business every day? Mm, not every day. No, I can't say that. But a lot know, of days. Let me tell you something. This, uh, this was a... Uh, how long ago now? Around two months ago. Right. Okay, I went to the doctor. Um, I, I went to the clinic. I got a few blood tests and everything. And I don't know. So far is okay, you know. But okay. The doctor said I got ought to quit drinking. You know, the doctor even said that. Right. But my blood pressure is okay. And uh, what, else? what else? So he says you got to stop drinking and you're still drinking. Yeah, he's a doctor. Right? He's a doctor. Shouldn't you listen to a doctor that actually saw you and yes. put you through some tests? He, he put me through tests. Yeah. And what's this? Wood? Knock on wood. Came out, everything came out. But he said you got to stop drinking. So yeah, he, he yeah. probably sees some signs yeah. of things that are going wrong with you because of the drinking. Right. You know? What type of things do you think are going wrong because of the drinking? Die. Or... Um. Uh, well, first of all, I'm getting heavy. I you know, noticed. And second of all, second of all, I went through a whole lot of money. And by the way, it was not sixty thousand. I calculated it. it was around thirty something thousand. Really? Hmm. But that's still a lot of money. Hmm. So, and I don't, I'm not going to do that ever. Your vagina again. doesn't look too bad in those pants. Huh? The vagina doesn't look too bad in those <laughs> pants. You can't see her. Yeah, look, you got a little camel toe happening. Nice. Oh, really? I do. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Okay. Oaksters on the. Pr you know, die. Yeah. The Oaksters no. used to put up some numbers. Uh -huh. Die. Okay. What? He's looking at your vagina. That's all I'm saying. All right. What? I, I okay, can't. Guys. I can't compl compliment her on her vagina. Were you just being chivalrous? No, just spread your legs. Look. See. Nice. Oh, okay. I see you. Uh, one, one thing, Opie. What? Button up your. Uh... My pants. Yeah. No. No. Are they buttoned? Yeah, but see what happened was because I was looking yeah. at your vagina, it popped the button. Oh wow. Oh. Okay. It's See, starting. It's starting right. to. You know. Okay. There's something happening down right, there. Right. Right. Quick right. rush That's of why blood. I better leave now. All right. A little too crazy. Okay. So, uh, talk to you tomorrow. Nice vagina, though. I guess I'll get paid tomorrow, right? Tomorrow's payday. What? What happened? Uh oh. Uh, yeah, I'm getting paid tomorrow. Okay. All right, so I guess everybody should just stay tuned. The after show is next. Okay. okay. Yeah. Very good. The Opie and Anthony show has drawn to a close. Stay tuned to reflect, relive, and get the story behind the story of the finest moments of today's show. Sam Roberts' Opie and Anthony Post Show begins in moments. Unfortunately, the Opie and Anthony Show is over. Fortunately, we have a hard time letting go. The stories behind the stories. Behind the stories. The backstage drama. Everything that made today unforgettable. Call 866-WOW-1-WOW now. 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 And look back on another legendary day of broadcasting. This is the Opie and Anthony Post Show. Post Show with Sam Roberts. Here we go with the Post Show. Lady Di's still here. With the makeup on and everything? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, you know, I, well Di, who, that's nice. Who is he talking about? Huh? Who is he talking about? He's talking about Anthony. Not bad. Anthony's been talking about you in the hallways, huh? Well, that's what he says. Hey. I mean, I, I, I didn't know. If you could only have sex with Colin Quinn or Anthony, which one would you pick? It would probably be Colin Quinn. No. Why? Because, you think, because who, I, you know, the, Colin Quinn is a nice guy, and he lets me, uh, you know, rub his shoulders and stuff, so it would probably ready? be Colin Quinn. And you rubbed his thigh a little bit today, too. Yeah, I did. You like that? Yeah. Yep. Now, Lady Di, what did you say, Jim? Make sure you tweet him a lot. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. He doesn't see all. Uh, he I know. Doing a lot. He doesn't see all his app mentions. Yeah. No. Uh, I do. I tweet him sometimes. Yeah. He, yeah I tweet and he a tweets lot me back. He doesn't see them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, like that. We're talking about dozens mm -hmm. of times a day. Yeah. That way he remember because otherwise he's not going to see the tweet and he won't remember. Oh, that's right. I was supposed to text you know, die. You know, yeah. Yeah. I mentioned him and uh -huh. Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. Because uh -huh. a lot of times Jerry will tell him like you missed this, you missed that tweet. Right. 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 Because Jerry okay. checks them all. Yeah. So Jerry will be like, oh, don't forget, Kyle, you're supposed to call back Di. Right, and, oh, right, right. thank you, Jerry. Right, right, right. And then how great would that be if you get, hey, sure. Di, it's Colin. Jerry yeah. was just talking, and all of a sudden you're in the industry. Right, yeah. That's you know? true. That's he's true. Been listening. Jerry's been listening and he's enjoying this stuff. So. Oh, that's good. Making powerful friends. Hi, Jerry. Having a powerful yeah. lover. You know, right, who knows yeah. where it could lead. Right, right. I like Jerry, too. I like Jerry Seinfeld. You do? Sure, I, I do. Hmm. Have a good trip, Jim. Thanks. All right, have a good trip, okay? I'll see you when I get back. All right. Good job. Uh, okay, thank you. George yeah. in Missouri, welcome to the Opie and Anthony Post Show. Well, thank you. I've been listening for a while, but I've never heard how Opie and Anthony met, Die and whatever the other guy. Marion, yeah, Marion, who was on the phone a bunch today. That's a, that's, a, that's a good question, George. Lady Di, this has been your week. You've been an intern here. Right. How did you first meet Opie and Anthony? I, I just went up to the W N E W studio. This was before they were on XM, so this was probably yeah, yeah, what ninety yeah. eight. We just went up there, and they liked us, and that was it. That was it. Yeah, they they just took him in. How did they, they took us us in? How did you hear about Opie and Anthony? Um, somebody at my old job told me. Where were you working at the time? I was working at uh, Budweiser with Marion. Ma no, Marion never worked there. She didn't. No, no, no. How did you guys get the name the retarded Laverne and Shirley? Uh, because of Laverne and Shirley, they both work in a brewery. So, uh, right. so, so Opie, Opie turned. I, I heard this in the car originally. Opie turned around and said, um, uh, "You know, they're they're like uh, Laverne and Shirley." And then Anthony said, "The retarded Laverne and Shirley." And I, I, I thought, "What?" <laughs> but you like that. In the beginning, I didn't. But then I got used to it. Did you know that name was going to stick? Uh, yeah, I kind of knew. Yeah. 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 And then you've been through your ups and downs. You've kind of followed the Opie and Anthony show, and the Opie and Anthony show has followed you. Right, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, sort of. You could say that. Hmm, mm -hmm. And I will. Sal, do we have a line of the day today? Yes, we do, Sal. Here, here comes, comes the line of the day. Line of the day. Line of the day. How long before this uh, catastrophic event? That's that's difficult to say. That's kind of between her and her creator at this point. But, but educate, say, oh, educate Dr. Frankenstein. <laughs> 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 All right, Anthony. <laughs> All right, Di, you didn't get the fourth line of the day in a row. You got three uh, lines of the day. Right. Fourth day goes to Ant. It was a joke about you, though, so I will give you partial credit. Okay. But it was a joke about you being a monster. Okay. So that's not bad. I... No, it's not bad. No, it's I, not. No. Are you getting a little exhausted with this internship? No, I'm not. You're not. No, well, you, uh, the only exhausting thing about the internship is waking up early in the morning. How do you feel it's being uh, uh, received by the listeners at this point? It's okay. Can I tell you something, Di? Yeah. I think today may have been a jump the shark day. What's that? What, what's uh, that it's when things start to kind of go south. What do you mean? It's been a lot of Lady Die this week. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. And so I wonder if you worry about something we in the business call overexposure. Do you worry about that? Overexposure? Overexposure. Yeah. Meaning the people are just hearing too goddamn much of you. Uh, if that's what you say so. No, I'm yeah. asking you if that's something you worry about. Well, yeah, sure I worry about that. You do. You spend yeah. you stay up nights worrying about overexposure? No. There are probably other things you could worry about. Right, okay. But do you think about overexposure? Sometimes. Do you think you've been overexposed? I don't know. Have I? <laughs> okay. I, I mean, I, I really don't... Right. Um, I don't know. Lou in Jersey. Sammy, how you doing? I'm uh, not that great. Yeah, I, What's wrong? I no, I don't know. It's just I got... How, you know. how are you? All right. Um, I, I just want to add a question for Lady Di. When you, when you and Marion are having phone conversations, does Marion ever let you speak... I mean, she seems like every single time. I, I, wait, hold on, hold on a second. If I want to get a word in, I tell her, I just tell her, let me talk. She does strike and, and then, me as a little then, overbearing, and though. Then, and then she'll let me talk. Is she a little overbearing at times? Well, see, she can get like that sometimes. So she can, can I. can't she? So can I. I yeah, can but get I don't like that see too. you as overbearing. No. No. Let's go to John in Brooklyn. Hey, 
Lady Diane Sam. What's up? How you doing? How you doing? Uh, good, good. Pleasure to talk to you. Okay. okay. Lady Di, I got a fetish. Mm. I like to lick the uh, vaginas of pregnant women. Ooh. So before you... Well, good luck finding that, one. Hmm? Good, I, good, good luck finding a pregnant woman. Can I tell you <laughs> something about this? Oven, lady mm. Di, what are you I'm going to cut you off, John, because Sal, we made the Lady Di is pregnant jokes when? Top of the show on Monday? Yep. Is it just me? Or does that seem like weeks ago? Dude, I am... My brain is fried right now. Yeah. Like, I, I the way you just said, like, Ugh, don't worry about it, like, I feel exactly like that. I'm fucking burnt out right now. Monday's show does not seem like it was four days ago, does it? No, man. It, it feels like this is the longest internship that has ever existed. Like, when that caller called up and said... You're pregnant. I was like, oh, yeah, I remember back when we used to say that about yes. Lady Di. Yeah. And then I was like, wait, it was three days ago. Mm. This has been a long one, Di. Yes. You're an has. exhausting personality. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not in a bad way. It's, it's a good thing. To, oh, it is? Well, you know why? Why? People remember you. Oh, yeah, they do. Right? You make an impact. It's so important to make an impact, isn't it? They remember me, all right. I just don't want to see you getting mm. down on yourself. Uh, I, I'm not getting down on myself. <laughs> good. Okay. Drew in Louisiana. Hey, Sam. Yeah. I was wondering, you sound a little jealous of all their uh, Dye's airtime this week. <laughs> if I was jealous of Dye's airtime, why would I have her co-hosting the post show with me every day? Uh, just getting that feeling, buddy. A little logic, buddy. Nick the Cop in New York. What's going on, Sam? How you doing? I've been a fan since the NEW days. Mm -hmm. I love the retarded Laverne and Shirley. You, you do? Thank you so much. There it is. See the love okay. that you get from these fans. Yes. That's oh, good. This is great. This is this is the best thing I've ever heard in a long time. So you're loving the whole week. Oh, this is fantastic. This good. separates you guys from every other radio show. Because not only, as a matter of fact, it's where's bad. where's Roland? Sal, can you give Roland a call or something? See if you sure. can find him. Because I'd like Roland to come down here. We haven't really heard from him at all this week. Uh, he has taken the Lady Die thing the worst by far. Um, and Why he's is that? well, he specifically he doesn't like when the weirdos are around. And I don't mean to call oh, you a weirdo, best. Lady Di. That's the best. But it's okay. He, he doesn't like when the super fans are mm. around mm. Uh, because you're all a little nuts. Not in a bad way, but you're a little nuts, correct? Okay. Um, mm. And he also specifically, before this thing started, mm -hmm. said, I'm going to keep Lady Di away from the guests. You remember that on Friday I had you on the phone? Yeah. And Roland was saying you're not going to get anywhere near any guests? Okay. And what's happened? You've you sat mean? in on every interview. She it's, goes near the guest. That's it, what she does. It's been great for you, but I want to I want to hear how Roland's taking it. There's Roland right there. Somebody tell him to come in. Come in. All right. Thanks, Nick. All right. All right have a good in one. studio. All right, talk to you later. <laughs> she just yells. <laughs> Roland, I got to talk to you. I've been waiting to talk to you all week. Mm -hmm. I was just telling the listeners that you have by far because Sal and me were talking a little bit about how exhausting this week has been. Yeah, I, I yeah, I feel like a Friday. Um. I felt like Friday on Monday. Yeah. But you have taken this the worst worst of, of anybody here. Yeah. You specifically said on Friday, when we had Lady Di on the phone, I don't want her anywhere near my guests, correct? Yes. What's happened? It, 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 she's next to them doing the interview. <laughs> yes. As, yeah. the, as a co-host. Did you think in a million years... That yes, when in we my worst nightmares, I did, 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 did pop up. Now, in your worst nightmares... Mm -hmm. Was she in studio wearing the face paint from the film Saw? No, but in my worst nightmares, she asked the Game of Thrones guy, so what show are you from again? So this is Sir Pat. This has gotten to the point where it is your worst nightmare and surpassed it. Yeah. And there's nothing you can do, is there? I just cry inside. You do. Have yeah. any of the guests been mad? It seemed like Rick today, the Pawn Star guy, it seemed like uh, he was a bit annoyed. The Game of Thrones guy, uh, Pedro, took it with a grain of salt. He's mm -hmm. like, oh, whatever. Mike Baker today. Mike Baker, and then um, tomorrow, uh, the meeting of the minds, Greg Guffield could spar against... Uh, Lady Die. Yeah. So. Uh, and who was on Tuesday? I remember. Oh, Bell Knox. Oh, yeah, Bell yeah. Knox. Bell Knox, you were in for that one. And then Wednesday, praise Jesus, there was nobody. <laughs> Do you feel, Lady Di, that your interviewing skills have improved since you started your internship? I think so. I do, too. Because mm -hmm. you know what it is? The thing about it, interviewing is you can only get better with experience. Right. And you've gotten some real interview experience. That's good, isn't it? Sal, would you agree uh, that her skills have improved as the week has gone on? Yeah, I guess, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they really have. Roland, do you think she's a better interviewer now than she was before? I do not. Oh, you do not? No. 
No, no, jumping in and saying, uh, calling them by the wrong names, Frank. wrong projects. <laughs> yeah. Who are you uh, again? Uh-huh. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, the who are you again? Sometimes I don't know who the person is. Yeah, what well, can you, you know, do? What can you do about right. it? Right. Yeah. And you, you just say, who's that? Who's, you know. Right. And, and the thing about an interview is. And the guy just said pawn strike 30 times. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We don't always listen too closely, do we? Right. No. But the thing about an interview is. You ask the person what you're curious about. Mm-hmm. And if the number one thing you're curious about is, what is your name? That's question one, isn't it? Right. I think I knew okay. I was in trouble when she actually had the porn star offended when she goes, dude, seriously? <laughs> she was just trying to be nice. What? Tommy in Texas. What's going on, Sam? How you doing? All right. I was just wondering, man. Colin Quinn had balls going in there, but yet no one attacked him and put him through any kind of pain for her. Putting us to pain with Lady Die all fucking week. You know what? And but what's the, up, Shamu Roland? Don't. What do you say? He said, "What's up, Shamu Roland?" Oh. What do you say to him? I hope uh, your pool boy fucks your wife today. Ouch. Oh, I hope man. that guy has a pool. Oh, well, um, me too. Yeah, uh, Colin Quinn was on today to start the show. If you missed right. any of Colin Quinn, the West Coast replay starts uh, right after this show, so you're going to want to hear that. Um, but yeah, he started this whole thing in motion. And a lot of the audience is upset with him. But the thing about Lady Die is that for every, say, hour of aggravation, there's a good 10 minutes of the funniest thing you'll ever hear anywhere. And I think that's a good ratio. Don't you? Yes, I do. I do, too. I think your math is wrong. You think it's way off? Way off. Uh, Peter in North Carolina. Hi there, Sam. I'm wondering, after this exhausting week of radio, though radio gold it is, um, how forward are you looking to the weekend? And B, are you guys going to take Monday off to recuperate? Monday we're busy. Well, the weekend is going to be a welcomed, a welcome change. But don't give O and A any ideas about taking days off after yeah, this week. Because Monday we have a busy day. Monday we do have a busy day. Lots of guests. Without you, Lady Die, because tomorrow yeah. is payday. You excited about payday? Yeah, or I need. Well, pay I need no the, money. I need, I need the money. You know, I. I I mean, uh, the only thing I'm going to do is come to the studio yeah. and go home. No no stopping anywhere. What are you going to do with the money? Well, I, first of all, I have to pay my phone bill. Right. And second of all, I have to put the money back in the bank because it's running low because the car insurance is going to be coming out. Do you, uh, I mean, here's the thing, and I was talking to you about it. It's kind of hard yeah. for people to feel sympathy to your plight when you already got $140 this week and you just spent it all on beer. You know, let me tell you something right now. Yeah. You know, like when, when, I, when, I, when I think about it, it was really let me tell dumb, you it was really a dumb thing to do. Okay, I was just that, that's that. all. That's all. It was it was a dumb thing to do. I should have never have done that. Right. All right. That's all. So, all right. All right. I'm glad I'm glad you cleared the uh, record on that. Is she well, paid in really cash or a change? Cash. Oh, cash. I cash. <laughs> Sal, did, uh, did you pull a clip today, Roland? Um, uh, I asked Eric, but Eric was our, he was busy mixing that same clip into the promo. Yeah, Roland does have a clip, though. Okay, let's hear Roland's clip. Excuse me, one more question. Oh, oh, oh. all right, <laughs> all right. I, I used apologize to, have, to Rick. Wait, wait, hold on. I used to have signed <laughs> baseballs, Uh-oh. actually signed by I the did. players. I really did because oh. I know because I, I yeah. met them and, they, and then they signed oh. a base. How much would they have been worth? How many Babe Ruth balls did you sign? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's like I it's. Ask that. it's Oh, my God. Yeah. Do you understand that you can't just say, I have signed baseballs, and then find a value? Right. Yeah, I understand. You know, the player determines the value, right? Sure. Yeah, I know Okay, that. so you I get know. that I now. Know. Sal, do you have a clip? I do. Let's she hear. took uh, a pretty monstrous dump in Starbucks. Oh. Yeah. Uh, That's what it's for. Well, not, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to embarrass you in front of Colin Corn. No, is that embarrassing at all? I we all do it. That, Everybody though. poops, I know, I right? Know. I bet they're used to that, though, with the uh, coffee and stuff. A lot of people probably yes. sit there, drink their coffee, and they're like, oh, boy. Right. Is there anyone in this world who's not cast the first stone? <laughs> 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 Starbucks. Colin Quinn, a welcome addition to today's show. And you gave Colin your phone number, correct? Yes, I did. What do you think is going to happen there? He might call me. I think he might. Oh, Colin mm-hmm. just texted me. Can you meet him today at the Olive Garden? Hey, nice. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, Roland. Did you, th- did you think Roland was being serious? No. He didn't trick you? 
You got to wake up he's pretty not, not. early in the morning to fool Lady Di, Roland. Yeah, I try. I know Colin's not. Uh, I know you're not serious about that. Good for you, Di. Yeah. You're you're a little smarter than people give you credit for. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Eric in Tennessee. Uh, Sam, question: Can we have Bobo next week for a guest intern? There's no fucking way. Actually, uh, Roland. No. Okay, yeah, there oh, is no. Why? Please, Roland. Yeah. Roland, please. Oh, do you know why though? Yeah, you you Monday. Yeah. I don't, um, I don't one particular guess I'll type up a with. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, <laughs> oh, would have been nice if I let's clear some of these phones. I need somebody from Washington D.C. that is a fan of WWE. Call up now eight six six wow one wow eight six six nine six nine one nine six nine. In the meantime, Lady Die. Yes. You heard about this? What? Metalheads rejoice! Why? Because Saturday, March 22nd, at 11.10 Central, it's an all-new episode of That Metal Show on VH1. Classic. Left me out to dry there, Lady Di. The only destination for all things hard rock and heavy metal. Host, Eddie Trunk. Jim Florentine. And Don. Don. Jay. Jay. Missing. What? Sit down with rock legend Peter Chris, Chris from Kiss. Yes, the original drummer of Kiss. They'll discuss the band's history, life outside the makeup, and the controversy over their upcoming induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. That metal show is back in the Big Apple for its 13th season. And it's an hour of balls to the wall metal with your favorite rock gods. You'll also see popular segments such as. TMS Top 5, The Throwdown, and the fan favorite, Stump the Trunk. Stump the Trunk, right. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Where audience members get their chance to test Eddie Trunk's metal know-how. It's time to get metaled up. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Don't miss the legendary Peter Chris on an all-new episode of That Metal Show, Saturday, March 22nd, at 1110 Central, and only... On VH1 Classic. You excited for that, Lady Di? Yes, I am. Now, we will go to Andrew in Baltimore. Andrew! Hey, Sam, what's up? You a WWE fan? Absolutely. Who's your favorite wrestler right now? Uh, See, I test him, Di. I'm a little okay. old school. So. I don't, um, Sam, I learned John Cena's a heartbreaker last night. Ray Mysterio. All right. Yeah, yeah. I like John Cena too. I saw that Divas show. <laughs> <laughs> I got hooked in. You watched the Divas reality yeah, show? John Cena, he's a badass. Yeah. It's a good show. All right, Andrew. Yeah. You're an adult, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to give you a pair of tickets to see Raw on March 31st at the Verizon Center. Awesome. All right, buddy, stay on hold. Thank you. And die. In yes. case you're interested, for the latest happenings in WWE or to see when WWE will be in your area, visit WWE.com forward slash events for tour dates. Right. It's exciting, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, Sal. Yes, Sam. Let me hear Eric's clip for today. Sure. I used to get my period every six months. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. All right. Okay. Every six uh, months. Until yeah. Until, <laughs> what are you, an elephant? Were you a cicada? <laughs> 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 no, that's what happens. Yeah. Okay. To answer Opie's question, yes, <laughs> she I, is. I was getting my friend every six months. Your friend. Yeah. Oh, whatever, it's Marion. Whatever you want to call it. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, that's a no, long no, distance friend. No, you know friend. what I mean. You know uh, what I mean. Yeah. yeah. And the, the curse. Um, I bought adult diapers because. It was pretty bad, like, you know, like, uh... Oh, you were really bleeding. Really bleeding. What's the matter? No and, tampon? But the, but the whole... More excuses, no, no, by no. the way. It, Here are the that's excuses. That's not excuses. That's... Fucking that's take serious. it off, it looked like Lincoln's pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh... And by the way, normally I would say we can't just heavy up. Remember when I yelled at everybody for picking Bobo clips? Yep. I normally would say I don't need everybody picking Lady Die clips. But Lady Di, you took over the show today. Congratulations. It was an all oh, Lady Di you, show. Thank you. You really did well. That's right. Give yourself a round of applause. Right, yeah. Tina in California. Hi, it's Tina. That's okay. Um, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Thanks. Hi, Lady Di. Hi, how you doing? <laughs> I'm great. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Okay, great week, by the way. I just want to say on your behalf, I don't see why it's such a tragedy that you stopped off at a bar and had a couple beers after work. How often do you get to do that? A couple beers. She got. She's saying how much she needs money. She gets one hundred and forty dollars, and she spends all of it on beer in one day. I made a mistake. I made a mistake by doing that. 
That's I all. know, but you got to treat yourself. you got to reward yourself. You're yeah, right, Gina. Well. You're right. Never forget, Lady Di. Sometimes it's important yeah. to dip a toe in Lake Die. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. Remember okay. who the princess of right. your world is. Yeah. And that's you. We're going to try this one more day, Roland. And, uh, I, the only thing I'm looking forward to tonight is suits. <laughs> just, oh. got, just something to take your mind off the misery? It makes me happy. One more day, Die. One more day. Come correct I w- I tomorrow. I wish it was one more week. Okay, you know what yeah. I need for you to do for tomorrow? Uh, what's that? Come up with five bits that you think the Opie and Anthony show should do. Can you do I, that I already for me? gave him two bits uh, today. What are the two bits that you came up with the today? The two bits is, you know, to have to have uh, uh, the characters of the show do a radio show for about an hour or so. And specifically, which characters? Uh, well, I was thinking me and Marion. Okay. All right, uh, but but other characters of the show. Okay. Well, you know, I want like, uh, tomorrow. Stalker Patty, Sandy Kane. Tomorrow, you know, and I want you to write it out. What? So yeah. you can read it to them. Right. I want five bits, because that's what we would have an intern do. Five bits. Five bits that you think ONA should do. All right, all Will right. you do that for me? Yeah, I'm going to call Marion up to see if uh, she remembers any of the bits also. Well, brainstorm, but I don't want you to rehash old bits. I want new bits. Can you do that for me? Come up with fun uh, things. You know, it'll be good. Okay. It'll okay. be a great creative exercise for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm thinking right now. Okay, think from now until tomorrow. Will you do that? I sure will. Okay, we'll see you tomorrow, Lady Di. All right, thank you. Stay tuned. You too. You the, too. Thank you. The West Coast Encore uh, starts next. Goodbye. Thanks for listening to Opie and Anthony and the Opie and Anthony Post Show. If you missed a minute, get it later today at SiriusXM.com slash on demand. Or stay tuned. Today's replay starts in minutes. Here on the Opie and Anthony channel. It's It's real. real.